Alrighty, cheers everyone, and welcome back to another edition of the best games on Newgrounds! That's right, it's the show where I go through and play all of the games that were nominated as the best games on Newgrounds for the month. With the special caveat being, I'm going in blind. I'm playing them for the very first time, hoping that we can give the developers some excellent feedback on what their game is like to be experienced for, well, the very first time. <laughs> I'll be trying to verbalize how I'm feeling and maybe offer some feedback if it pops up into my head, but for the most part, I'm just hoping to give the developer some raw footage that they can draw their own conclusions from, like, am I understanding all the mechanics that they meant for me to see and stuff? You know, all this stuff. When I just feel like when indie devs make their games, you know, they're working on it a long time, they know all the rules, and it could be difficult when, to be honest, they might be the only playtester, that when they give it out to the public, they might be like, oh jeez, I never even thought I needed to include something like that, or people would be confused, and so on and so forth. I'm just hoping they can give a lot of wonderful feedback from this game, uh, from the show, that they can move onwards and upwards with more excellent games that I'll be reviewing in the future. But hey, not to put a downer on it, sometimes I don't even need to deliver feedback. Sometimes these games are just awesome in the first place, and I hope the developers can just get a nice ego boost from that as well, I suppose. So, with all that out of the way, Let's get cracking on these games. All right, first up on the docket is <laughs> Shit Rainbows and Piss Thunder by Mig Moog. All right, a hell of a way to start everything off. Soft serve teg goi corn is shitting his way to glory. Oh god. This sure has new grounds written all over it. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got. Shit rainbows, piss thunder. I wonder if that's literally maybe the objective, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, so we're zing. I clicked, uh... I thought I saw something briefly flash there for a moment, but I wasn't sure what it was. Did it say, like, press space to start or something like that? Or, I don't know. Press keys to advance. Maybe, maybe keep that up there. I mean, first you need to click on the game so, you know, you get focus on it. And then, yeah, just... I just keep it on there. I, I don't know why all of a sudden you have to fade it away, you know, lest it, you know, ruin the immersion or something. I don't know. <laughs> all right, press keys. Okay. Oh, you literally just need to keep pressing keys. You're fat and need to go for a run. Okay. What happens if I hit left? Does that also still proceed? Seems like it. Okay. Okay. Right, wait. I'm using the arrow keys and they're not doing anything. S to run, D to shoot lightning, space to ch- <laughs> What? Why were they all like- I, I guess I can't complain about it too much, because, you know, they deliver the controls, so there's not much confusion, but... Why was it using press keys to advance- Oh! It did just say press keys to advance, it didn't say arrow keys. Maybe that was an assumption on my part or something? Hmm. Food for thought, I suppose. Yeah, for some reason I thought of it as arrow keys, but I guess it did just say keys. So I guess it makes sense still. What is up with these controls? S, D, and space? Okay, okay. Concept, the concept of love. Okay. You dead fool. Restart. Oh, art, gotcha. Wait, so I ran. And then he does that. Does it mean I need to shoot it with lightning? What? Maybe I need to jump up and shoot it. Whoops, sorry. Controls are so weird. Okay, S. Uh, no, uh, what the fuck? Okay, S. Sorry, it's just, controls are so, okay, okay. All right, fair enough. Uh-huh. <laughs> huh. Okay, okay. I guess I get the gist of it now. Running. Was this like. Oh! Damn! I. Oh, right. For some reason, I thought like. Okay, so this is like a wacky level where it's like the exit's right behind us, but we gotta go like all around the whole thing. 
All right, we'll do that. So hold S, move forward, zip, and then jump, and then zap. It's kind of weird, like, how the, uh... I really wish the particles that emitted behind, it looks like they're always, like, relative to where the person is. So if you jump up, the spray that you let out follows you. It, it looks really awkward and kind of cheap when it does it like that. I wish, like, the particles were disconnected from where it is. So it actually kind of, like, if you were shitting and then you jumped up it wouldn't just move up it would look like you know like an elegant curve or something like that a little bit of a bummer but in general i get a very kind of like cheap really kind of like i got i gotta admit like at the moment like uh you know it's an interesting concept and i'm going with it but i i probably would have just dropped the game i'm just oh son of a bitch okay i needed a drop something about like like I said, the cheap-looking particle effects and how they follow, the goofy nature, like, it does have, like, a goofy nature that's, like, interesting to see what's going on, but it's also just kind of, like, really cheap-looking, like, fonts are out of focus when the controls were shown at the beginning, it was just really, really cheap and, like, lame-looking, like, I'm assuming maybe this is, like, some sort of, like, game jam type game so i shouldn't be like too harsh on it or something but yeah it's definitely got kind of like a cheap look to it huh do i like zap this and then okay kind of weird so i zap that and that chain reacts to do all that okay fine fine going oh jeez. do i just okay you know i will admit like even though the game does have like a kind of cheap look to it that really makes me feel like I would have dropped it and everything. I got it. Will you shut up about the fucking? This is, it is doing some cool stuff. The way that you're going all around on the walls and stuff like that. It is pretty cool in that respect. Oh, I totally hit jump. God damn it. Uh huh. Yep, yep, yep. I just gotta hold down the run button so he, he can stop, uh, <laughs> just saying all these goddamn voice lines. Alright, jump over. Yep, yep, yep. Jump, jump. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, that felt good. <laughs> just dead at the beginning of that start. I was about to say, it's really kind of lame how when you win a, when you win a level, there's like no fanfare or anything, it just immediately teleports you to the next level, it's just like and you don't even get like a second, no like ba ba da ba, no like pew, like fanfare or something, or level complete, and then like a fade or something, it just like snaps immediately, makes it feel, again, for as cool as the kind of like running on walls and interesting like gravity type of concepts are, and, you know, it is, like, goofy and charming in a weird way. A lot of it is just, like, super, super, like, low effort and cheap that I probably wouldn't have stuck with it. Which is a bit of a shame, because the gameplay is turning to be a little interesting. God damn it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a game of contrasts. <laughs> Alright, got it. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Threw me off. At least, th this level's kind of cool in that you have a threat chasing you constantly. I actually kind of like that, because it forces you to keep running and make, like, split-second decisions, which is cool. I was kind of hoping for that on the other levels. I was kind of surprised that, like, I could just stop running whenever I want. I thought, like, maybe the stamina would keep, you know running down even if I'm not running so it's like kind of like a time trial I kind of like these levels now a bit because they have like a little bit of that threat to it it actually adds a little bit of like strategy and reaction to it or something you know like you'd see in like a ah shit I'm probably dead aren't I because I didn't get that food pickup yeah that's the case all right then again it is kind of now that it's this time trial type thing, even though I think it's the right way to go, I am getting a little bit annoyed at how, uh, kind of, what's the word for it, trial and error it's starting to get, which is a bit of a shame. 
Boink. Do they follow me? Oh, indeed they do. Ah, shit. Was I supposed to jump up and zap that and then proceed? I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Alright. Oh, no, maybe not. I guess I just need to stay with the, uh... Stay on the path. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Go, go, go. I definitely think, like... Even though I do have some, uh, you know, complications with the things. Oh, that really was it? Oh, it kind of, uh, juked me out, I suppose. I really thought it was gonna be the other way. Oh, tch. And that was just glitchy as fuck. It's, I guess it was just... Yeah, that clearly looks like I should have made it. And yet, it was just, like, really unforgiving there. Ugh. The game is starting to get, like... Like I said, I unfortunately probably wouldn't have uh, stuck with the game long enough to get to this point, but uh, oh, geez. But now it's actually, I feel like it is starting to like pick up and do like some interesting stuff. So it's like kind of cool in that respect. Ah, jeez. Cause like, yeah, now the level layouts are getting kind of creative and that you got those time trial levels where you need to keep running. Now you're getting some of these levels where it's like quick reactions. It's cool, it's cool. Unfortunately, like I said, uh, I wouldn't have made it this this far just because the game does have a really cheap look to it. But uh, you know, something. Ah, jeez. Man, how am I supposed to... That actually seemed really rough to get there. I felt like I was pretty optimized in everything I was doing. Anyway, zap, zap, chalupa power, uh-huh. Oh, right there. I needed to jump up and get that. Okay, gotcha. Yep, 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 yep. Like, I'm almost wondering if, like, like I was saying, with the levels where you're being, like, chased, I wonder if the game would work better if, like, your run button was just automatic. All you could do is just, like, shoot the lightning at opportune times. I know that would make the beginning levels really boring, but it's just, like, I'm kind of surprised that the, uh, the lightning doesn't sap energy as well. I really thought- oh, shit. God damn it, that keeps fucking happening. Well, anyway, we're about ten minutes. Anyway. Best summed up as, it definitely hides a really neat concept and ideas kind of late game once you get past it, but it is really kind of clunky and glitchy and could use a bit more polish because I think a lot of people would probably just like, meh, like dip out of the game before they get to some of the good stuff. So uh, yeah, maybe give it a little bit more polish. Maybe this is a game jam type game and I'm being unfair or something like that, but I like it. It's got something to it. It's just kind of hidden in there, I suppose. Alrighty. Doink. Okay, next up is Hamza and the Evil Eye by Selfish Dream. Forgotten Incantations. Okay. Intriguing. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> okay, okay. Really cool, uh... Intro starting off. Oh, is this a cold open? Are we actually in the game right now? It is looking like I can click on these icons. Okay. Intriguing start. Definitely good graphical fidelity. You know, cool, intriguing cold open. I'm sold. I'm sold. Good, good, solid first impression. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the, let's go for the circle. Okay. I wonder if that's like a level select. Oh, okay. And this worm moving around. Okay, fucking creepy. Alright, just following the thing. Oh, what was that? Shooting shockwaves. I'm assuming the shockwaves are bad. But there's no way I can get past the whole thing. I wonder if I ram it, will I like eat it or something? Let's try. Oh, maybe I can go fast enough. Okay. And I can also go through them without colliding. Okay. Ah, shit. Okay, I got hit. I'm not dead. I'm not sure if I have a life bar. Maybe I lost a segment of my uh, worm. It all it all happened so fast, I wasn't really able to get any feedback from that. I'm going to assume something like that happened. Oh, is this guy kind of following me? All right, seems to be following. He emits a laser beam. Fair enough. Oh, jeez, I was about to... I got hit again. 
I don't think my tail's retracting in any way, or I'm losing segments. God, what a gross game. <laughs> no idea what's going on, but okay, we got this kind of obstacle course type thing. Oh, multiple paths. What's the- oh, jeez. Oh, that looked like- that looked like the seal I was looking for, the circle thing. The one that I selected at the beginning. Maybe I needed to go this pathway to get it? Hmm. Maybe, maybe over here there was going to be, ow, like an exit door that I wouldn't have been able to get past. Oh, it's just another one. Okay. So maybe we're just collecting multiple of them? I hope I didn't miss any. Ah, shit. Ah, fucking hell. I keep thinking that, okay, my tail is definitely shrinking. It, it's taken a while, but now I can see it. I wonder if there could have been, like, a little bit more of some sort of particle effect to let you know if that's... I guess they figure it out eventually, just like how I figured it out. I, I wonder if there could have been some way to get better feedback to see that. This looks like it ma Oh, jeez. Alternate paths on alternate paths. Okay. More shockwave dudes. I wonder if there's... Okay, another seal. We got three of them. I wonder how many there are in total. Oh, jeez. Careful. Okay. Try going down. Oh, ah, chia, cheap shot. Ah, fucking cheap shot. God damn it. I hate the I hate the worms that come out of the walls. Everything else I can kind of work with, but they really don't seem to have like any sort of telegraph to let you know. Okay, moving, moving. Oh, jeez, got to be careful. We're on our frickin' last uh, segment here. All right, another. Oh, okay. I guess we got them all. Oh, really? That was it? Huh. Okay. I was kind of expecting a little... I don't know what it is. I was kind of, like, expecting a little bit more fanfare, a little bit, like, of a breadcrumb. Like, something. I was kind of expecting something. We're just back here. I see that I've made progress. I have to admit, like, I was really expecting something. Some sort of, like, satisfaction or breadcrumb or lore droplet or... Or, or anything from that. Like, I gotta admit, even though I like this, like, my desire to keep playing, like, kinda, kinda dipped, dipped right there. It, th there was a noticeable dip where I was just like, oh, I guess I'm making progress, but for what purpose? I'm just like, you know, I, I played the first level because I was like, ooh, intriguing, but the game isn't really offering me any, like, tidrits to keep me hooked. So it's kind of, because, you know, the gameplay wasn't like, you know, Whoa, this is the greatest game in the world, so addictive, or something like that. I, th I think something, something should have been given there to make me keep going. Because right now I'm like, I'm clicking this and I'm like, ah, oh, geez. And now I'm just seeing it's like, okay, so it's more of these, just drift around and collect things. Like, it's, it, it's definitely starting to lose me a bit, but I'll keep going. It, it's still, it's still intriguing and, you know, I give everything the full ten minutes. So let's see. Ow, son of a bitch. Okay, hang on. Let me go back here, maybe. Nope, that's just spikes. I mean, it's cool, but now we're just kind of getting more of the same. Not seeing any new obstacles. And I don't really expect to see any new obstacles because the game already kind of showed that you can do it in any order you want. So it'd be like, why would it introduce, like, harder enemies, because then you might encounter them, like, out of order or something. I don't know. Anyway, son of a bitch, really? This, those guys always really surprise me with how long range they are. Maybe I need to, like, juke them or something? I don't know. Whoop. Okay. Hang on. I want to kind of go back here, because I'm like, I wonder if there's something... Shit, I just wasted my time. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay. All right, all right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Try going this way. This looks like an optional way. Ah, oh, fuck you! I needed to go fast! I was fucking... I'm just... Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah! The, it's because you can't really, like, I guess, turn around on the spot. Or at least, sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. I took a lot of... Wow. Really? I've taken so much health. I feel like in previous levels, I haven't gotten hurt this bad, this fast. Fucking God damn it! I really thought I got past that. Or did my health carry over? 
I, I might not have been paying attention. No, I thought I started this level pretty long. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, now I'm back at the start. Ugh. Yeah, it, it's about here, if not earlier. Like I said, that uh, I probably would have quit the game. Like, the intrigue is kind of worn off. It, it hasn't really supplied me enough little things to keep me going. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting game, though, and I'll keep playing a little bit more. You know, just to give it a go, it, it might still surprise me. Wait. Hang on, did I? I think I forgot to get a uh, seal back here. Yeah, there we go. Fuck! That's so annoying, I'm just trying to like turn around. But sometimes it turns on the spot like that, and sometimes it turns, it, it has to do like a full, uh, like a U-turn or something like that, like a truck with like wide turns. It's kind of annoying. I guess like if you go slow enough, you can kind of turn on the, ah, uh, fuck off. God damn it! That part is really fucking annoying. It's just a shockwave thing. Like, there's so little safe room between those sons of bitches. Alright, I guess I need to slow turn. Yeah, do it like that. Zip. Okay. Zap. Okay. Zip. Okay. Ah, oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, I got lucky there. I kind of panicked and I only just got lucky based off just instincts there. Okay, zip is up and another seal. Sure. Looks like I could have entered through here as well. Go faster, go faster. Must go faster. Ow! Fuck! God damn these laser fuckers. Hang on. Shit! Where else are the seals? Where else are the seals of Metatron or whatever the fuck? <laughs> okay. I, I actually kind of feel like I've scoured everywhere. That was up there. That was over there. This was... No, that's up to that spot. Oh, what am I... What am I missing? This is back here. But all that was back here was just this thing, but we've already picked that up, yeah. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, maybe up here? Did I not go up here, maybe? Ah, there we go. Okay, got it. And another one. Okay. <sighs> Man, this is a bit of a bummer. It's like, I am, like, even though I am saying not intrigued, and it's true, I probably would have quit and not, like, stuck with it. Now that I'm getting a little bit deeper and I'm, like, a little bit more, like, committed, I want to keep going, but it's a bummer because, uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to beat these levels before the 10-minute the time limit is up. So I probably just got to stop now. And going back, and let's just see... If I refresh the page and I'm like, I want to go back, like, later on, I like going back to these games to replay them. But if I'm going to guess, it's probably just going to start me at the very start. Fuck! No save load continue or something? I knew it. I knew when it started with this cold open thing that it was always going to start fresh. It wasn't going to do a save load or something like that. Darn it! Ah, because... Even though it was short, you know, we've just been at it with 10 minutes or something like that I, I gotta admit going through those levels and doing that, you know, the gameplay is like kind of fun But it's not that fun to make me want to redo all that stuff to see if we get anything in the end Especially since the game is already kind of shown that it's really holding its cards and not giving any rewards or something So for all I know, maybe there is nothing waiting at the end. I, I don't know yeah, this is a weird one. This is a weird one. Like, uh, it's definitely cool and intriguing, and it has an all right gameplay. You know, it has little annoyances like the wide turns or the small turns. You know, it's difficult to get that. It's intriguing, but I'd say it, it, it is kind of a case where you might just want to scatter a little bit more breadcrumbs, a little bit more bait, you know, small rewards as you go. Because uh, you're asking for a lot of commitment. I know, I know, in the back of your mind, you're thinking, like, a lot of commitment? The game probably takes, like, 10, 20 minutes to beat or something like that. You don't have that time in your day? Nope. Trust me. People got people got Twitter to check. People got freaking Tumblr to check. People got to work on their own games and stuff like that. Yeah, you're asking a big commitment. You might have just given a bit better. But it is... Uh, it is very intriguing. I was definitely really hooked at the start. So, 
definitely great steps in the right direction. Pretty cool game, pretty cool game. Doink. All right, next up is My Favorite Place by Zazax. Challenging click-to-dash platformer. Ooh, okay, I'm down with a little arcade action. Let's see what we got. My Favorite Place, click to start. Boop. All right. Looking good so far. I love the, uh, I, I don't really love this whole, like, uh, CRT filter you got going here. I know, I know. It, it makes it look cool or whatever, stuff like that. For me, it just hurts my eyes, and I don't think it's really necessary unless you're specifically making some sort of game where the CRT monitor helps. Like, say you're some sort of security guard watching security footage or something like that. Then you can use the CRT. Otherwise, it looks like you're just some sort of poser trying to make your thing look cool. Okay, let's stop <laughs> with the whole uh, bashing on filters and stuff like that. So far, I will say, though, the game definitely does have a really good, like, intro. Like, I loved the, uh, let's just go back. Like, I loved, it booted up. Really cool the way the title screen pops. Really good, like, title graphic. It's got a little bit of animation to it. You click it. Nice, smooth transitions and stuff like that. It looks really dope. It looks really dope. And, you know, you didn't even need a CRT to get that effect. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll just stick with it. A or D, left, right to move. W or up, space to jump. Okay, wait. Didn't it say it was a click-to-dash platformer? Why, why is it all this stuff? Well, whatever. Stick with it. Oh, it's kind of weird how he's looking in the direction of that. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so now we're doing the click to dash thing. Plus one dash. Okay, well. Okay, fair enough. Huh. S or down, fall. Okay, so you can do like a fast fall, I guess. Fair enough. Good luck on your journey. Sure, sure. So if I click this way, okay, so he clicks where the, the cursor is going, not like where your uh, things are going. Okay, escape. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, level one down, whoosh. I love that little transition between level one, then it whooshes down to the game and your guy falls from the sky. Looks really cool. I love the look of that. Like I said, it gives it a, like a real kind of like professional feel to it. Okay, whoa. Uh, what's up with these guys? Maybe I can like dash at them and that hurts them or something. Okay, so dashing at them hurts them, okay. But if I just stand there, okay, that's about what I thought. So if I just stand there, I get hurt, but if I dash at them, it hurts them, okay. Figured that out with some experimentation. It wasn't too hard to figure out because, you know, there are many controls to assume. So yeah, that worked all right. Bash, doosh. Down again. Okay, these are just spikety spikes. Oop. Okay, didn't even need that. Intriguing that there's a thing that, oh, that's cute. Even has a little uh, hanging off the edge animation. I uh, can't get it to, ah, that's cute. Nice little, uh, nice little touch. This, those things are cool. Oh, phew, I totally hit the button, god damn. That was really hard to react that fast. <laughs> All right, doink. Also, I was intrigued. One of them was like red or something like that. I wonder if that was like hit them multiple times or maybe we need to like jump on them instead of dashing on them or something. I guess we'll figure it out. Hear it. Okay. Whoop, jeez. Ah, it didn't get a double kill like last time. Okay. Oh, he was going down. All of a sudden he was on the middle of the screen or something. Wild times. Okay, so we got this guy. All right. Oh, it, it just took one hit. Okay. Not sure what was happening there. Okay. Jeez, this is a lot to go through. This is just room two. All of a sudden. Oh, I like the, uh, I like the telegraph. I actually wish the other enemies would do that telegraph as well. I like the telegraph to let you know he's coming. Really cute, uh, nice detail. Helps I totally hit dash. Come on. But yeah, this is really weird. It's like the first level was nice and short, whereas all of a sudden this level, it's really long. You got a lot of commitment, like so many rooms to go through, all with fights where a little like chance could like really just obliterate you. Yeah, all of a sudden you need to go through a spike gauntlet. It, it feels like you're kind of overloading this uh, room or something like that. I don't know, it's just really weird. 
or, or level, I should say, sorry. Like, this level has, like, I'd say way too many rooms all of a sudden. Okay. Ah, that's fucking cheap. Come on. Oh, right. We do, we do have the fast fall. I guess I should have used the fast fall to avoid that uh, consequence. Okay. I guess maybe it's my fault. Doink. Doink. Alright, then we go through this. It's also kind of weird to have this spike room in the middle. It's like the this level seems to be like themed around, you know, these fights with these ghosts. And all of a sudden it just throws in a spike room for good measure. I guess you could say it adds some variety. But like I said, it, it just feels kind of like misplaced. Like it just messes with the theme. Oh, fast fall! I even knew to fucking fast fall. God damn it. Alright, maybe go for the top guy. And then go for the, uh there I, I gotta say like if i was uh if i was going with this game just like uh if i was just playing this like as if i was someone who wasn't committed to give it like you know 10 minutes or something but was instead like reviewing it part of me like probably probably would have like uh quit by now like i said just all of a sudden this level just ramps up the difficulty a lot it's just kind of got this weird, inconsistent theme where it just seems to be just introducing these weird, all of a sudden, spike rooms in the middle of what seems like a boss gauntlet or something. So, I d uh, Yeah, I definitely probably would have quit from, like, frustration. And I don't feel like the game has, like, given me enough idea that of like the cool things, the cool levels to like anticipate or something. So far I've seen like just some basic like really short arenas and these little like spike rooms or something. Like I don't really have much promise for the future and it's already been like quite frustrating. So yeah, I, I, I probably would have quit uh, around here. Okay, fast fall. Got it. I'm surprised I, I must have did that right the first time. Okay. Like, at least this is kind of cool. Like, a little bit of an intriguing boss fight. Sure, sure. Okay, okay. Come on. Wonk. Sure. Will you just die already? It's like we get the gist. It's... Okay, that time he was, like, a bit of a longer... Ooh, a shorter telegraph. Okay. Long telegraph. Short. All right. You are dead. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. All right, right, sure. Dash up. Uh, can I like not touch those or something? Oh, I can dash through them, okay. Retry. Uh, I really thought those were gonna like hurt me and I needed to like time my jump or something. Does that just mean I can just go right through? Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe, maybe it's just I do have some invincibility, but it kind of wore off uh, with that, I guess, maybe. Alright, something like that, sure. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, like I said, like, even though I'm mustering and getting through all of this, like, the levels aren't really, like, intriguing me or giving me some like nice bait it's like i feel like i'm just seeing like same old same old just it feels like all the rooms are like kind of like maybe too small that in the back of my head i'm like what 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 else can they do what else can they do to make it look cool or something like that and even if it is doing new stuff like that like oh you got to fight this guy in a spike room or something it just felt kind of like frustrating i just feel like uh i feel so claustrophobic don't know what to do here the dash doesn't really feel like that satisfying and now i'm kind of like uh a little bit like feeling like cautious and like kind of annoyed because of the uh the weird what you call it what bullshit i hit those spikes i was adjacent to it i was flush with the wall that should have stopped me and there was no collision uh. All right, one, one last go, one last go, just to see if I can take this guy out. Doink, doink, doink. All right, screw you. Uh-huh, jump. 
see if we can oh but he goes that way okay got him okay uh fuck god damn it i was afraid to do that okay one more go just because i really just want to see if i can see something that kind of changes my mind I, I feel like even though the game ain't that bad or anything like that i feel like i have been a little bit negative about it i'm just hoping i could see something that's like haha like shut your mouth it was gonna get cool or something like that now you're gonna feel bad and definitely want to come back and play some more Oh, are you fucking kidding? <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> like I said, and in uh, like kind of cool looking game, definitely professional, smooth kind of like polish to it. Although I'd say the polish is only kind of graphically. Some of those uh, spike hit boxes and uh, when I hit the dash, I swore I hit the dash in time and stuff like that. Some of that felt like a little bit unpolished and wonky. I don't know. It's definitely a mixed thing. I, I think it's overall, even though I felt like I was pretty negative on it, overall, I feel like it's kind of cool. I, I just feel like the levels are kind of frustrating. You have to go through them. Maybe the levels are overly long. They could like reduce the rooms. Also, I didn't have much faith that the rooms were going to keep introducing new stuff. It felt like they were just too cramped, not allowing for any sort of cool obstacles to be made for them or something. I don't know, seed of doubt in the back of my head that makes me feel like part of me wants to come back and play some more, but part of me is like, eh, well, what else can the game even show me or something like that? And it hasn't really given me any, like, you know, oh, what if it does this or something? It just seems to already be, like, recycling a lot of stuff. And even when it introduced some new stuff, like the red barrels popping up, it's like, Okay, it's red barrels, but it's it's still just another th another pattern that you just dodge by. It's kind of the same kind of concept, just a little bit different. You know, it's smoke and mirrors. Anyway, like I said, even though I'm yapping a lot about this game, overall, I think it is, like, good, but, like, just a little bit, a little bit something. <laughs> yeah, wonderful feedback from me. Sorry. Sorry, sometimes it's difficult to articulate this stuff. It's just sometimes it's like... I don't know, it's just a bit. <laughs> Alright, next up is Casino Clash by Lee's Pick, an incremental game for GMTK 2022. Oh, that's actually a good point. We're probably going to be getting a lot of uh, GMTK stuff here. Hang on, let me just look up what was the, uh, what was the theme surrounding this, just so I know how to kind of like rate this stuff theme was roll of the dice so is that pretty much it it just says like roll of the dice okay roll of the dice roll of the dice fine and dandy fine and dandy um let's check out casino clash and how it helps roll the dice <laughs> all right casino clash all right looking good a little bit like mixed impression with the title screen on one hand it's got a nice title graphic. It's got like these characters there. They look really cool. But then kind of the start button looks super fucking bland default. Like it's not like Unity default. Like a little bit of work is done into it. But it just looks a little bit lazy or something like that. But it's a game jam game. I understand you probably, you know, put a lot of your work into the game game and not the title screen. But, you know, just if you can, title screen... Like, if you have a good title screen, sometimes I find that it just plants a seed of, like, hope in the mind. Like, ooh, title screen, like, looks really good. That, like, if it's professionally done, that gives someone, like, a subtle, like, seed in their mind. That, like, even if the game is bad, it'll be better because they're kind of, like, the, the initial impression makes them kind of lift it up in their head or... Or want to stick with it longer or something. Oh, what the hell am I going on about? Some weird sort of diatribe. Anyway, let's just let's just fucking play. Okay. Okay. Look, good animations and stuff. One, four, four, three. What's happening? Am I supposed to be doing something? Okay. One, four, four. I've already kind of lost track of what's going. It's just. What's it? Um, I got these things down here, but they have things. I don't know what they do. It says a thousand. Maybe it needs like a thousand bucks. Okay. I don't know what it's doing. Oh! 
Wait, hang on. That one's green. I see now. It's green. Is that showing that it's like active or something? If I click on this, now now this is active. That looks like a, a casino chip or something. And this looks like a, a bomb. What exactly is going on? Hang on. Um, I know, I know, I know. You're probably yelling, why don't you read the description, you goddamn idiotness? But I just, trust me, a lot of people, they play these games, they don't read the description. They just go off what's in the game. It's just, I've had it happen so many times. I give these people games and they just play it. They don't read the description. And then you just gotta, you just gotta put as much in the game as possible. Anyway, maybe I'm supposed to click one of these. Uh, five, you know, because it does say enemy HP five. All right, wait, what? Oh, okay, so... Oh, Jesus! Damn! The, what the fuck was all that? Okay, enemy HP... Okay... Uh... I don't quite understand. Now we're getting these dice, but they have, like, numbers on them or something instead? The enemy HP? So am I just supposed to wonk this again like a pool cue? And it does that. So then he gets hurt by that much HP. I'm kind of confused. Is there any reason why I can't just sit back and let the dice table fill up like I did unintentionally? But, like, it, it's not like he's attacking me or something like that. You'd think what would be happening is that the enemy would be, like, attacking me. So I'd be like, oh shit, I gotta scramble to uh, try to make a really good shot to make like the most of what I have or, or something like that. But I could just do that and Jesus, I had like 800 something and now I have like millions of cash. Now he's got 12. I don't understand. And also, yeah, we only have 997 of those moves left or something. I don't, anyway, what do these things do? We got cash. Well, what did that do? It, it got rid of money, but I don't know what it did. <laughs> For all I know, I'm investing in the stock market. It's doing nothing. I'm investing in... And what's this do? Is that like more... More dice faster or something? That seems like it's the case. I don't know what this does. And now I just do the pool cue again, and then... Watch as I get a million trillion gajillion damage and just fucking destroy the guy and get a million dollars. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on. I don't I don't know. What happens if I do this? Oh, uh, that also fires like something. Okay. What was What was the difference there? Do I do I do it again? Hmm. What about the bomb? Do I just like put it there and it hits all of those or something? And now I do a million, gabillion, gajillion, hojillion damage. Yeah, I don't really get it. Is this kind of like a half finished like prototype or something like this? Because like I said, it feels like there should be like, I don't know, some sort of combat or attacks going, but it just feels like it's all up to these stacking up, and then I can just easily do something like that, and that'll hit them for a million gabillion damage. I mean, it's got some nice juiciness to it and stuff. It's got, like, I, I like the numbers popping up, and that the way they stack and the numbers just get fucking enormous and almost swallow the enemy or something like that. I, I, don't, I don't get it. What is that? Okay, so we maxed out, I guess. And then just do a fucking bomb and just eliminate the fucking world. Jesus! <laughs> that guy is... <laughs> I always like how cataclysmic that was. It just blew everything the fuck up. Alright, let's do it again. Sure. And then uh, do another bomb and this guy's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Jeez, it just keeps looping or something? Okay. Yeah, definitely, th this just feels like a weird prototype confusion thingy. I, I don't know. I'm gonna read the uh, description. Maybe maybe it's going what it is. Casino Clash is a game for GMKT Game Jam. And that's literally it. 
was literally it. Nothing like this is an unfinished prototype. I wasn't able to finish, you know, the the battle system or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It it really just feels like just a weird sort of thing. Like, like I could see it being. <laughs> <laughs> Love that fucking slowdown and just how things go fucking crazy with the amount of damage. I don't know. It, it seems like it's an interesting prototype, but yeah, right now it's just aimless and boring and got nothing to it or something like that. But I don't know, this whole thing where it's like, you know, I, I've always liked these kind of like Super Mario RPG like type games, you know, games that move beyond the traditional turn based and made it some sort of like action combat you know this kind of reminds me of a there was like a ds game called like uh crimson shroud or crimson sinner or something like that where i think it was on the 3ds but you could actually like roll the dice as if you were playing like a board game or something and that would determine damage and there was just something satisfying to doing that like this whole like mini game of doing the uh, uh basically whatever I think the idea kind of has merit. This whole like weird sort of like dice based, uh, pool based, like, <laughs> it's so weird. It's like, it's not really dice. It's more like pool kind of. So it should, it probably shouldn't be dice. It should probably be a pool cue and pool balls or something like that. And maybe you just need to play pool effectively to hit like the balls to get like, you know, like, good damage or something like that. I don't know. There's so, there's something really interesting that's making my brain flow about, like, oh, a cool combat system about, like, you do damage to the enemy by playing pool effectively or dice effectively or something. But this just feels, like, kind of, like, silly and slapdash and I, I don't really see the purpose and it's just kind of confusing and... Yeah, I don't know. But... It was a game jam. It was probably just a prototype, unfinished. You know, like I said, there's no back and forth or like time crunch or something like that. So, anyway, it, it, it certainly got me thinking and stuff. So, it's a neato idea. But yeah, for this, it just feels like what the fuck is even going on here? Except for glorious, glorious slowdown explosions of uh, hit points. Yep, moving on. Oink. All right, next up is Maiden Cops by Pippin Games. Maiden Cops is a beat-em-up, ooh, full of classic arcade-style action and ass-kicking. Hey, I love a good beat-em-up. All right, I'm down for this. Uh, it's, although I gotta admit, the uh, the title graphic there really looks like it's just saying, like, I mean, I can't even read Maiden, but it looks like it's just saying, like, oops, instead of cops. <laughs> oops, all Maiden Cops. I don't know, whatever. Let's uh let's check it out. I'm intrigued. <laughs> Super fucking anime looking, jeez. All right, I'm down for a beat 'em up. Let's see what we got. Do we have the next contender to stand face to face with some of the greats like Fightin' Rage, Streets of Rage Four, so on and so forth? Press any button. I'll try Z. Okay, maybe I wasn't focused on the game. Maybe okay. Hmm. When it says A, does it literally mean A? Oh, it literally means A. Okay. Uh, language, master sound, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. Ooh, controller mapping. We should actually uh, test if uh, I do have a controller plugged in. Let's see if... Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's even doing PlayStation buttons. It, when it detects that, I guess I have a PlayStation plugged in. Uh... Well done in that respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, most most games would just be displaying the Xbox things, which is perfectly fine. I'm used to it by now. But the fact that this game actually displayed the PlayStation buttons for my PlayStation controller, very nice. Anyway, Hurricane Flames is X and that. And then we got a Hot Oaken. And we also have a Up, Down. Okay, so fancy moves. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. New game. All right. What? Do I not get to, uh, choose my maiden? There are three maidens on the title screen. I, I thought I could maybe choose one. Maybe, maybe it's just too early of a demo. They only got one at the moment. Let's see, we got run. We got punch. Sure, we got jump up and kick. Okay. 
player two coming soon. Uh, so it's only one player at the moment. That's fine. That's fine. It's just me in this room after all. Walk forward. Okay. Big booby ladies need a knockdown. Where's their uh, health bar? Oh, the health bars are below my health bar. Okay. Usually I'd see them on the right side of the screen, but I get it. There are some games that do it like that. Okay. Punches feel kind of all right. I do feel like these enemies might be a little bit too spongy for starter enemies. I feel like for a starter enemy, they should probably go down in like one full combo. What the fuck was that? I didn't mean to do that. I was just... Oh, I think what happened is I was punching this way and all I was trying to do was just press left to turn around, but I must have hit down really... Oh, that was weird too. I was punching this way. I just turned around to hit the punch. Yeah. I think it's like... That's the dash attack. I pressed left, right. Oh, that's really weird. Yeah, you gotta fix that. Like, when you run, it should be double tap in the same direction. Instead, it looks like what you could do is press, like, right, then left. And that'll that'll count as a double tap. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That's real confusing. That's real confusing. Also, I think you should probably go away from those fighting inputs, like, down, right. Because, like I said, all that was happening is I was attacking this way. And then I was, like, left to attack that way. But what happened was that I kind of smooshed my hands. So it was like, uh, and then, like, well, that as well. But, yeah, I must have just, like, went, like, uh, and then, oh, maybe I can't even do my special right now because I don't have full bar. But, yeah, I think I unintentionally, while turning around, hit the down button, then hit the opposite direction that hit punch to attack behind me, and I did the super. So, yeah, controls are kind of wonky at the moment. But uh, let's proceed. What the hell? There, I actually hit double tap to to run. All of a sudden, it like canceled my run for some reason. Oh, also, we got some weird uh, like seam right here, graphical seam. Like I guess maybe stitching up the uh, graphics. I'm supposing maybe uh, maybe fix that. <laughs> oh, can I uh, attack this barrel? I can. Oh, and a weapon. Can I pick up? Okay, I'm trying to pick it up with punch. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Jump. How the hell do I pick it up? Oh, there's a, there's a circle prompt, but it's hidden behind the fucking time thing. Okay, I got a knife. Okay, it's really slow. And it also pushes me forward for some reason. Huh. Alright, we'll try moving forward. You'd expect that for a knife, it'd just be a really fast, like a really fast stabby stab. Okay. Oh, the cheese. Yeah, knife is so freaking. oh jeez, and these guys just come up to me and just instantly throw. Okay, so we got a new enemy, but... Oh, jeez, they got the old school. Oh, goddamn. All right. I, I wasn't anywhere near the son of a bitch and already grabbed me? It's crazy. Uh, I keep getting thrown off by that, um... You know, I'm facing this direction, I hit left to go... Oh. Why did I do a super there? I don't even felt like I hit down there that time. Was it... Oh, right, I need to hit circle. I feel like maybe you should just do punch. I understand wanting to put it on a button besides the punch, though, because uh, you might want to be the player, like, they might not want to pick up. They might want to focus on attacking, so yeah. Can I also, like, throw this or something? Oh, jeez, that, uh, that was another one of my specials. Jeez, punched me from quite a, a surprising distance. Okay. I... Why am I doing that punch out of nowhere? Like, the only thing I was think I was hitting was, like, right and punch, and all of a sudden I'm doing some sort of super. I don't know what's going on. Can I press, like, two buttons to throw this or something? Oh, did I throw it right there? I'm actually not sure. It was too close. I couldn't tell. Ow. Okay. That animation for the, uh, that, that feels really delayed. Like, the, the hit is happening too late. Like, the hit should be, like, thud. 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 It, it happens way too late. Like, the hit shouldn't happen when I'm retracting my knee. It should happen when I'm hitting them with the knee. Let me try a little bit more of these so I can throw. That's good. All right, right. Popsicle, okay. Uh-huh. Hit him, sure. Now right, let's focus a bit more on the beat-em-up. Uh-huh. Get him staggered. Go for that. Get some crowd... Oh, really? I really thought that throw was going to be, like, fine there. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, is that maybe Silky's? Silky's more of, like, a grabber or something? Should I should have... Again, why am I doing that fucking special move? 
I didn't tell you to do it. <laughs> Whoop, jeez. Okay. Okay, another new enemy type. What the... Okay, so this enemy type's a jumper. So maybe we need to jump at the... Uh... Oh, shit. Deceptive range. All right. Hang on. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's happening again. Is that just me mashing the uh, attack button? Does it just happen naturally if I just mash? Okay. Am I going in like the building now? Yep. Okay. Uh, cool, cool. Nice little transition and everything like that. That's nice. Alright. Let's proceed. Mm-hmm. Alright, enemies coming. I'm guessing. <laughs> they sure are fucking taking their sweet time. Oh boy. One of them's got the knife. Can I... Yep. Disarmed. Okay. Whoop! Ah, shit. I wonder, is there a way to, uh... Get... Oh, fucking hell. Okay, so she's also got... Why did I do that? Why did I do that? This... I don't know why I did that attack. This... I just, I know, I know it may be like, why are you complaining? It was a cool attack, but it's just, I, I, I want to figure it out because I might not always want to do that attack, you know? Ah, shit. I'm trying to figure out how you're supposed to dodge these guys when they do that a jump attack. Can you, like, do a neutral jump to dodge it or something? I'm trying to see. Because otherwise it just feels like it's kind of unfair and potentially annoying that they can just jump at you like that. And I don't know what your recourse would be. Will you jump at me already? I don't seem to be going for it. Oh, there we go. Ah, shit! I tried to jump it by just doing the Y-axis or something. Maybe that wasn't the right idea. Alright, forget it. Just die. <laughs> Alright. Ah, jeez! I feel like their range is pretty deceptive. I feel like I'm pretty good at, like, you know, trying to hit them at the limit of their striking distance. But these people... Get a little bit, like, uh, can hit me from a bit farther than I expect. Usually a game like this would give, like, a little bit more, like, leeway. Like, the enemy would have to push a little bit further before they start attacking. Instead of attacking at, like, the very, you know, end of their, uh, stuff. Again, I'm doing that attack for some reason. <laughs> okay. Can I throw this somehow? I'm trying to- Oh! How did I do that? Was it circle, maybe? I, I was trying to hit, like, square and circle at the same time to see if that did anything. Okay, whoa! Ah, jeez. Okay, hang on. Do that, do that thing again. Ow, oh, shit! This, damn it, this. Oh yeah, I should, can I, uh, what else can I do on a grab? Okay, kick, kick, jump, jump doesn't seem to do anything, okay. I can throw backwards. Circle doesn't seem to do anything. What about triangle? Let's try... Okay, so that's square and X. Yep, yep, yep. That was the, uh... Whatever the hell it was called. Proceeding forward. Do the gates open up or something? Ah, just keep walking. That's fine, that's fine. Hmm. I'm just curious to see if there's gonna be, like, a boss or something like that. Starting to get, no, just more people. I don't know. Alright, pausing here for now, because I think I'm already getting, like, to the limit of my, uh, whatchamacallit. It's a little bit of a mixed bag. Oh, for the most part, it feels like an alright beat em up you know. Punches are kind of satisfying, it's cool to do, like, the grabs and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you got your duh, you got your special moves and stuff like that. It's got all the basic components, you know, it's got some neat stuff going. But um, there is definitely a lot of jank. Like I said, being able to double tap to run by hitting two opposing directions, big no-no. Uh, some of the hitboxes were really weird, like uh, kicking, like kneeing someone in the gut. The hit is really delayed and feels like bad and stuff like that. Also, the game just feels like kind of stiff and slow, like I don't move very smoothly or something. And it's also because of that weird jank with like... Uh, Sometimes I'm trying to just hit the button to go and they'll start a run or maybe all of a sudden end a run. Just a lot of weird kind of like uh, jank or something like that. Also, it felt like enemies were maybe just a tad too spongy. The game 
you know, getting here, like it was starting to get a bit repetitive. I was like, okay, I've seen all there is. And it's like, it, it didn't feel like I had enough like options. Like they just had too much health and, you know, maybe it would work in a game where I can do a more exciting, like long lasting juggle combo or something to take them all the way down. But in this, it just felt kind of a slog. Like each person needs like at least like two full combos to bring them down. Maybe some of the enemies less health just so they can be like, you know, fodder or something. I don't know. Like I said, a mixed bag. It feels like it's got a really good core skeleton to it. That's all right. But um, definitely a lot of jank that kind of needs to be smoothed around in, in terms of controls, in terms of enemy HP, in terms of like, you know, repetitive and like flow and stuff like that. I don't know. But it's definitely got uh, some steps in the right direction. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of this in the future. Doink. All right. Next up is Let the Oink Out by Yane Games. Free your piggly friend from its dicey cage. Ah, more dice, huh? I'm guessing this is another uh, GMTK. Let's see what we got. Okay. Uh-huh. So we've got a button. It says press the button. Crosshair. Beep. Oh. Huh. Is this like... If we hit this, it causes a chain reaction that blows up this, this, and this. And then that causes a chain reaction that blows up, you know, those, and uh, those, and uh, those, or something. Is that what's going on? Maybe we need to find, like, the right place to start the explosion so it blows up the whole wall or something? Uh, let, let's just try that for now, I guess. Okay. It is what I thought. Chain reaction that blows everything up. Okay. And then, uh... Ah, shit. Oh, I see. We, we got five explosive left. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get it. Yeah. Or, or can? Stace cleared? You mean stage cleared? Also, how do we clear that stage? Like, I, I know technically you could say... Like, uh, you know, <laughs> the gamer part of me is like, I didn't get a full clear. Isn't that like a failure? But then the other part of me is like, it was just one brick. So I guess let him go. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? He's not going to be able to squeeze past that one brick. But uh, still, it's a little silly. Well, whatever. Okay. Push, push a block. Oh, is it like we, we press it. And it goes through and... Do we just click everything like that? Seems a bit... Like, why is this step necessary? I, I thought that the first map was fine. We just need to read it. But now we've got this thing. I guess it's trying to be like, now you command your own fate more, but... I actually don't like this. I feel like now it's all completely random that I don't have any hope that... I'm going to get lucky and actually get a winning solution or something. I feel like I'm just going to get screwed now since it's up to just luck of the dice. At least in the first level, I had the idea that the game creator had created an ideal layout and all I need to do is smartly scan the board and look for the optimal like bricks to go for and then get a win. But now it's introducing this rather annoying step where I need to set up the board and you and you'd think that would be nice, but it's it's all random how the board gets set up, so it's like, why why bother with whatever? Okay, so click the button. Uh, we'll just blow that up, I guess. That'll start a big chain reaction. Wow, not too shabby. Okay. I, I can't tell... How does it determine, like, whether the pig gets out? You know? Like, uh... It's like there were still bricks remaining, and in fact there were some bricks that looked like they was really getting in the way. But, uh, it's still let out. How many bricks are... Whatever. Let's, uh... Let's keep going. What's up with these, uh... Those ones. I wonder what's happening there. 
Okay. So what happens if I do this? Does it, like, contain the explosion? It doesn't leak out or something? Huh. No, it seemed to do just fine. So we do that. And that. Okay, a perfect one. I don't know what the, uh, the wooden ones were. What, what was up with that? Huh. That looks like it just means it's going to slice through everything. It, it keeps going or something. What happens if I roll on it, though? Oh, okay. Oh, we got all, all sorts of stuff like that. Oh, okay. This is, this is a little bit different, I, I suppose. Um... Oh, what the heck? Sometimes you can actually just get, like, nothing from them or something? What determines it? Is it like these ones are a bit peach-colored? They don't have as much or something? Again, I just feel like... I don't know, whatever. Let's just play, uh... Try, try going for that. Is that good enough? Oh, okay, more than five dice left. Now it tells me. <laughs> okay. Whatever, just roll it. I just really don't like this whole setting up the board in the first place, especially because it's like random. It just, it doesn't give me any hope. I'd prefer instead the puzzle nature of just the game creators set it all up for you and then you need to like figure it out or something, but whatever, we'll keep going. That seems pretty good, right? Okay. Good. I guess. <laughs> Alright. And I still don't know what these things mean. What do the, uh... Wooden planks do? Anyway, I guess blow them up. Huh. Oh, they have like 2 HP or something like that? Is that what's going on? I think. If I do that, that's 1, 2, 3. If I do that, that's not good enough, I think. Yeah. Okay. So if I hit uh, one of these ones, it dies. But from secondary explosions, it only does uh, a little bit of damage. Okay, fair, fair enough. Uh-huh. Seems like we have a lot more to work with this time. Mm-hmm. So I can blow this up. I mean, we've already won, right? Because we just need to leave at least, uh, five. Okay. Stace cleared. Stage! Stage! Alright, whatever. I guess I'll stop it here. I feel like we got the gist of the game. Like, uh... Like I said... It has a lot going for it, you know, graphics are cute and charming, The if it is fun to watch the chain reaction of stuff explode. Um, you know, it's cute, it's charming, it's certainly a unique concept, I, I haven't really seen anything like this. But, uh, yeah, it's just, like I said, maybe it's just me, but I feel like I, I don't like the fact that that weird sort of tenuous idea that the solution is purely just up to luck instead of some sort of smart thinking or something like that like what what else can i do except like just roll see if it works or something like that roll i mean you you could argue that i'm just impatient maybe there is like some strategy to it if i would just take my time but i just feel like even if I'm like, okay, I'll set up this and this and there, it's like, no, because setting it up is all dependent on, you know, the whole dice roll. I can't really set up my own, like, ideal Rube Goldberg because I have a limited amount of moves and every move I make, you never know if it's actually going to turn out the way you want or something like that. So yeah, I can't just get rid of that kind of, like, sinking feeling or something like that. That it's all just like... I mean, when it works out, it works out, but I don't feel like I did anything, <laughs> I guess. But, like I said, an interesting concept, certainly food for thought, like, I could see it being something. It's really polished, really snazzy effects. It is 
actually introducing a lot of mechanics as it goes. Now we even got some sort of purple blocks or something. I don't know what that's going to turn out. So yeah, a bit of a mixed bag. It feels like good idea going in the right direction, but I don't quite agree with how it turned out, at least for my sensibilities. It, it did have enough goofiness to it that, you know, made me want to keep going. But uh, yeah, if it, if it wasn't for this, uh, you know, giving it 10 minutes, I probably would have just dropped off just because of the kind of frustrating, futile feeling of randomness being up to it. Thankfully, the game does everything it can to kind of alleviate that. You know, you know, you can still leave five blocks on the board. You don't need a full clear and so on and so forth. So I still had fun. It sounds like I'm being really down on it. I still did have a lot of fun. It's a cool concept. It's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I feel like I'm just repeating myself constantly in these types of things, just running in circles. <laughs> Doink. All right, next up is Capybara Quest by Max... Th what? Oh, okay. Maxthetics? Maxthetics. We'll go with that. <laughs> Help a capybara reunite with their baby in this cute Game Boy platformer. All right, all right. It was recently, like, Capybara Day or something like that? Maybe there was, like, a, a jam or something? Let's see what we got here. Capybara Quest. Press Start. I mean... I'm using keyboard, so I don't really know what start is. Enter, maybe? Okay, enter. I guess that works. Uh, sure, new game. Oh, now when I press enter, it doesn't do anything. Uh, Z? Okay, Z. Alright, uh, a little confusing. I wish I had the prompts, but, you know, universally recognized kind of stuff like that. Okay, there was some pigs, or capybaras, I suppose. And then a duck picks up the capybara. Alright, damn. This is some fucking intense music for, like, I don't know if it fits the situation. Shouldn't we have, like, some somber or sad music? Anyway. Okay, so we're plucked off. Do we just get dropped? I feel like we probably should have, like, uh, dropped from, like, all the way, like, up here or something like that to see. Anyway. It's just, uh, were we, were we dropped by the bird or something? Okay, we got something here. Up, down. <laughs> oh, what a cute little, uh, uh Z. Okay, press A to jump. Don't fall in pits. What's A? Okay, so A is the same thing as that, so jump. Okay, oh, that jump feels... Oh, what the hell's up with the jump? It... That feels really fucking weird. It's like... It's like... It's like you feel like you got, like, moon gravity as you jump up, and then right when you reach, like, zero, you know, the peak, the apex of your jump, all of a sudden... It's like you've been magnetized and you start falling really hard into the ground. That just feels really fucking weird and unsettling. Yeah, the physics on that are really, really fucking weird. But maybe the game's built for it or something? Maybe having that weird sort of... Oh, God, that's weird thudding way you all of a sudden fall maybe works out somehow. Okay, avoid enemies. Don't worry, if you get hit, you just go back to the start. Of the current stage. No, Capybara can't hurt enemies. <laughs> Bit of a mouth. Ah, I really wish it was a separate button besides uh, jump to interact with that stuff. All I was trying to do was just jump, but yeah, I guess there. Okay. <laughs> a Bit of a mouthful, but I'm glad that it laid out all the rules, I guess. Okay, proceed. Hold up to climb ladders. Check side paths while playing. You might find collectible Yuzu. Okay. Oh, what's the side path? Is the side path this, or...? Okay, guess we got some Yuzu. Oh, you've collected your first Yuzu. Hidden in every stage. They're always optional. Only collect them if you want extra challenge. You'll see how many you got. Okay. Kind of like, uh, kind of like Celeste or something like that, sure. Uh, what's up with the ladder? Can I not climb down? Hello? I'm even going to the edge, so I'm not, like, colliding with anything. Okay, I'll, I'll just jump down. What the...? Oh, really friggin' buggy. I'm guessing uh, you just put like a trigger point where the yuzu was or something like that and didn't make it disappear once you picked it up or something. That's real fucking weird. You know, I mostly just play these games to give a general impression and not to bug test them or something, but there you go, bug found, I suppose. 
Okay, but anyway, yes. Okay, they're like the strawberries in Celeste. Fair enough. I, I like the strawberries in Celeste as well, and how, like, you know, you could play the game just... Oh, that's also really weird. Um, your character has, like, when you go forward, they have, like, momentum to them. They, like, slide. And yet, despite having that momentum, if you hit the opposite direction, you immediately stop. You don't have to fight against, like, the momentum you built up. It's an insta-switch. That also feels really fucking weird. Though, I bet some people would probably like that they can insta-stop like that, but I feel like awkward. If you're working with this mo whole momentum base, don't have it all of a sudden cut or something like that. Like, you can have it cut, you know, rather, you know, fastly, quickly. <laughs> Fastly, God, what a wordsmith I am, but don't just all of a sudden just, you know, if you built this whole, whatever. Touch this flag to complete this day. <laughs> I don't think I needed a tooltip to figure that out, but whatever. <laughs> the way he goes to sleep actually makes me think it's like a game over or something for a friendly game like this. Because you don't want to show him, like, dying, I suppose. Use a computer to save your game. Sure. Safe to turn off your system. Okay, thank you. Alright, jump. More of these turn up guys. Uh huh. Just walk in. Jump. Jump. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, up we go. Is there anything over there? No, I guess not. Oh, that thing threw me off. The fuck's up with these ladders? Okay, I'm just trying to. What the hell? I'm trying to. Oh, okay. I... Wait, what? Why didn't it. I was about to say, like, okay, I get it. You can climb up here, but once you let go of the ladder, you drop down to, you know, this point that's flush with that. But then all I did was wiggle around a little bit, and all of a sudden I fell for so. Oh, yeah, just like that. What the fuck? These are some jank-ass ladders. Okay. <laughs> okay, another yuzu. Sure. <laughs> if I go back. Oh, interesting. This yuzu... Maybe because uh, the first Yuzu had that special pop-up that happened or something. Maybe that's associated with it. Uh, and caused the real, like, uh, you only need to collect Yuzu once, even if you die, it counts. Oh, thank you. That's nice, I guess. Alright. You know, as nice as this game is so far, I, I gotta say, I, I probably would stop by now. <laughs> it's not really grabbing me, it's being quite slow with the stopping and starting of all these hints and stuff. Seems kind of boring, I don't really have any powers or anything, it's just, you know, really bog standard, you know, these turnip guys show up and just jump past them, uh-huh. Also, just like I said, the movement and the controls feel really jank, weird physics, janky ladders, it's, yeah, it's kind of, it's definitely, I, I, I definitely don't think I would stick with it. If I was playing this and wasn't doing, you know, a review to be dedicated with it. The Yuzus, it, it says it's like, it's a fun optional challenge, but the, these ain't no Celeste Strawberries. These are really boring to collect. They're barely off the beaten path, and you don't really need to do anything special uh, to get them or anything like that. So, yeah, there's not not much to the game. It's really, really bog standard. This is like, you know, Babby's first game or something like that. You know, it, it's cute. It's functional, kind of, despite the jankiness. But yeah, it's not necessarily really any fun or exciting, at least at the moment. Maybe it'll win me over. You know, I've, I've still got you know, like, four, three minutes or something. Sorry, the ladders are kind of janky. Blame GB's t Hey, it's a shoddy craftsman that blames their tools. You need to find some sort of solution for that. That's what being a game developer is all about. You can't just say blame that. I mean, you know, obviously I'll take it because, you know, it's funny and all that. But, like, if it doesn't work, code something else. If it doesn't, like, and if it's not good, just... Find a better solution. Maybe not even have ladders. Just maybe build staircases or something instead. I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. I I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. It's a funny little joke. But just, uh, you know, I'll accept it for this because it looks like Babby's first game. But, you know, don't, <laughs> don't get in the habit of making excuses like that is all I'm saying, I suppose. All right. Whoa. Are you an enemy? You almost kind of look like a... You are an enemy. I almost thought you were like an NPC or something like that. Let's see what's over there. Maybe a, uh... 
I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing that's the side path. I mean, it does introduce an all-new enemy and all that. So maybe it's something... Or then again, the arrow pointed that way. So the arrow, that might signify that that's the main path. So maybe this is the off-beaten path. Shit. Fucking almost caught me. Alright. Ah, jeez. The, the way you suddenly stop, I have to admit. As much as I don't like the sudden stop when you shift directions, it did just save me from a bunch of us. Fuck! I thought I jumped, but momentum kind of carried me. Saved me from a couple of scrapes. But, yeah. Alright, whatever. I'll probably just stop here for now. That's fine. A little bit of a uh, bummer. Well, hang on. We did get the Yuzu. I'll, I'll push a little bit forward. I'm just hoping that maybe at the end of this level, maybe we'll see a little story cutscene. Maybe, maybe, maybe new world graphics. You know, we go to like the snow world or the lava world or, or something. Just looking to see if uh, there's anything this game can really offer as a potential hook to see if I should like revisit or something like that. Because I do try to revisit after these. Hey, okay, not bad timing. A new world. Okay, shadowy forest. Okay, okay. Game progress has been saved. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so we're in a new world. I mean, it's still looking like the old world. We've just got enemies around with these kind of jumping things. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll probably stop it there for now. Like I said, it's it's all right and cute as a, uh, hey, check it out. Like, I'm really young and this is my first game that I made. Or maybe not just even really young, but it's just, hey, this is the first game I made. It's kind of cute. You go around, you know, it's really basic Mario stuff. But, hey, it's cool that I built something. And for that, it's admirable. But if we're talking about, like, a real cool game, it's, like, it's way too just boring and simple and janky and... It doesn't really have much to offer, I suppose, and it doesn't really give me confidence because of its janky design. So it would be a eh, down for me, but hey, best of luck in the future if I'm right in that this is kind of your first game or something like that. Doink. Alright, next up is Ember Skull by Cheese Baron. Battle endless waves of Hellspawn in this arcade-styled roguelite shooter. Okay, okay, interesting. Definitely down for some arcade action. I love it. Roguelite, I guess, is implying that we'll procedurally get these, you know, uh, not procedurally, we'll get this meta progression where every time we play, maybe we unlock new weapons or increase our stats a little bit to make it more e interesting or exciting on future runs or potentially easier. I'm guessing that's what's happening. I don't know. Okay, WASD, uh, movement's a little bit like fast and kind of simple, but okay, moving around, okay, you know, it's not, it's nothing crazy, but it's a little, it's a little juicy, you know, it's not that bad, I like the way the enemies explode, uh, one, from their animation, and two, you know, the little particles they send out that I can pick up, it, it's a little too fast for my taste, too like fast and snappy, it could be like, a little bit slower or smoother or something like that you know like a little bit of slidey you know just very very slidey momentum to your character maybe just a bit maybe the the particles don't instantly snap to you but like have a little bit of like a you know build up or something like that i don't know but uh yeah it's it's, it's okay you know it, it's real basic but uh it's all right. Like I said, it's it's got some juice, not too shabby. All right. Oh, now it's like, uh, I guess the inns for recovering health, shop for getting items. You'd think the armory would also be the shop. Uh, let's just try the armory, I guess. What are you buying? Huh, saw blade. I really wish when you hovered over these things, they would highlight to let you know what you're targeting. Like down when you go here, yeah, it's kind of weird that you can still select even though you're down here or whatever. Anyway, chaotic shooting or bouncing piercing. I guess we'll go for bouncing piercing. Oh, right. We don't have enough money. Okay. Well, that fucking sucks. I guess I wasted a uh, room selection. Okay, I say hi to Jim. Maybe Jim goes down with a grenade. Okay, it looks like I see the cooldown in the corner. I guess I gotta wait for it to go. 
Okay, so Jim's definitely a toughie. Shit. The grenade does not land where I fire. It actually just fires forward, I guess. Okay. So yeah, pick up money. We gotta watch out for Jim. Jim looks like he might be invincible, maybe? Maybe we can hit him with the grenade? Nah, I felt like I hit him right there. I guess he's just supposed to be pressure to make you keep moving. I don't think it was necessary. You know, the guys coming at me and the bullets being fired already kind of gives pressure, but yeah, I don't know. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Uh-huh, uh-huh, bomb. Sure, sure. Alright, keep blowing away. Am I able to hurt this guy? I think he's just invincible. Okay, maybe... Oh, treasure... We'll try the armory one more time, because now we have money. Scatter bombs or cluster rocket? Well, they're both... <laughs> they both sound very similar. But I'll go with a rocket, because I kind of like the idea of that. Select sub-weapon slot. Oh, it's a sub-weapon? Okay. How do, how do I switch sub-weapons? It was right-click, but I didn't... Shit, did it say in the beginning? I thought it was going to be for the, the left, I suppose. Oh, boss time. Okay. We got the grenade. How do I use the other... Whoa, jeez, jeez, jeez. God, these homing rockets are fucking crazy. What a weird, what a weird pattern with these homing rockets that kind of form a, a ring around the boss where you kind of need to stay close. Woo! This is really getting intense. Did I get him? He's kind of blowing up. It looks like an ending thing, but then he... Oh. But then he kind of returned to his idle animation there for a bit. That was strange. Let's try uh, Let's try the shop this time, I guess? We got a lot of cash from that. Uh, living scope. Bull fly. Bull fly longer. Enemies may drop explosive gift pickups. Periodically damage nearby enemies. Well, that sounds nice. Oh, and maybe we can get two. Uh, let's try recalled gift. Sure. Let's just have some fun. Okay, Arena 3, sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do I... is it like middle click or something? No, middle click doesn't do it. E, Q, no, G, F, E, R... I'm trying to figure out what the hell would be the... Uh... Oh, there's the gift pickup. What exactly does the, uh, the gift pickup do? I'm not sure. Do I pick it up or does the enemy- Ah, fuck! I wasn't paying attention because I keep gabbing on. Well, hopefully now we can figure out how I'm supposed to fire my other sub-weapon. Maybe there was like a, some sort of- Oh, I should have checked. I was just checking what button to fire. Maybe I should have checked what- uh, Maybe it's a button to switch. Oh, space! Space, really? I, I didn't think it would be space. I thought it would be like E, F, R, Q. You know, something like that. Whatever. Space. Space works. Make, makes sense. You know, my thumb's resting on the space right now. I guess I should have guessed that. It's like one of those things that, like, it is a good control option, but it's not that obvious. Most games, most games I feel would go for, like, the E, F, G, Q, like, buttons. Whatever, it's fine. I really kind of do wish the, uh, the grenade wouldn't, would, like, land where you point you know, on the screen or something like that. I feel like that makes a lot more sense rather than it just being a projectile you fire out. Because most of the time it goes past the enemies I'm trying to shoot at, I guess. Hang on, hang on. Yep, yep, yep. Pick up the coinage. Uh-huh. I mean, it's not too shabby. It's a decent game. Like I said, it, it, it is a little bit like, you know, it's not anything like super amazing or great or whatever, but it's decent, yeah. Treasure room. Reloads a sub-weapon on hit. So is this just like a freebie or something like that instead of buying? Okay. Death laser. Oh! It's actually changing it up a bit. So it doesn't have Jim. Oh yeah, that's right. We did kind of... Jim wasn't, uh... I guess Jim didn't proceed along with us to levels like three and four and stuff like that. So I guess they don't stack up. I guess just every arena has its own uh, unique obstacle it brings to the table, I guess. Anyway, it's cool. It's a decent, it's a decent little shooter. You know, mindless, exciting, juicy, got some interesting variation to it. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> 
you know, I I'm looking forward to playing it a little bit more, checking out other bosses and stuff like that. It's cool. It's cool. It is... I, I feel like it's missing... Missing something. Maybe the, maybe the movement or the gameplay is a little too simple or something like that. I don't know. Something about it's getting me a little bit. I'm not sure what it is. This time I guess we'll try going for the... Actually, we never got a chance to shoot the cluster rocket, so let's try the uh, the cluster rocket. Mm -hmm. Maybe it shouldn't say skip, but it should say, like, done or something like that. Because I, like, you know, I bought the thing. It's not like I skipped it. Oh, actually, we do still have the lasers now. Unless that's just part of this boss or something. Also, I like uh, these bosses. Some unique uh, mechanics are going on. I like this one with the arms moving about and stuff like that. It's cool. Oh, did we win? That wasn't that wasn't that hard. <laughs> Let's try the treasure room again. I do have cash, but yeah. Okay, three HP. Sure, not too shabby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, cool, cool bosses, cool everything. All right, I like how it's uh, amping up slowly. It's, you know, introducing new enemies. We got these basic little guys that die quickly. We got the shooters, which have like a little bit more health. Then we have these big hulks, which also kind of like explode after you're done with them. So you gotta be careful. It's cool. A lot of good, a lot of good stuff here. Good variation, good sense of uh, progression and escalation of difficulty. Nice little juicy effects. Solid all around. I think the only thing I could probably say is that, you know, it's like, you know, it, it's like, it's not so super great that I'd like, you know, pay money for it or something like that. But it's a, it's a, it's a solid game. Really, uh, probably my, probably my fave of the month so far. Just feels pretty slick, polished, smooth, cool. Yeah, everything's nice. Pepper gun, pop it shotgun, gun helmet shoots out bullets around you. We got enough to get both. I wonder if we can. Oh, we need to replace a... Well, maybe we can do that. Is this going to replace as well? Ah, shit. I was kind of hoping that some of these might replace the primary, but oh well. Oh, I should have tested. I wonder if there's a way to buy but cancel, like, once you realize, oh shit, it's going to replace. Maybe not. Ah, shit, it's Jim again. And Jim's invincible. Fuck. So, pepper shotgun. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Cool noise. I, I like that effect. What happens if we press space? Uh, just another explosion. Okay. A little boring. I was kind of hoping it would be like sustained fire or something like that. Doosh. Oh, jeez. It barely even killed anything there. A little lame. Oh, well. Ah, fuck you, Jim. Let's get the money. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I really wish we would have like maybe some new tunes or something like that. Or like the level graphics would... uh get enhanced a little slightly just to give us a little bit more sense of progression because I mean we beat a boss the game could at least like maybe change the color of the environment or change the music to give us a bit more sense that we're moving forward it's a little a little bit <laughs> oh geez damn okay that's a hell of a thing was oh, this like the final boss or something like that or what this is that seemed pretty, like, surprising right there. I thought... Uh, are we, like, at end boss territory or something? Or is it still going? I got... Ah, shit! Fuck. I, I was distracted by... I didn't even notice there was a health bar in the uh, the upper left. All of a sudden I got swiped. Fuck! This, that can't be the end boss. Can it? Maybe it is. Maybe it is just a short and sweet game, and it just uh, goes that fast, which would be fine, but it'd be a bit of a bummer because uh, it felt like... It had so many champions that it could go through that... I don't know. Also, it's kind of funny. It says it's a roguelike, but... I'm not really... Keeping anything or progressing in any sort of way as I go. It just restarts every time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the rogue light means that... You know, rogue means that you die and you have to start over. Completely fresh. Nothing carries over. Whereas rogue light means that yeah you die and start over but we don't completely you don't completely start from scratch you carry a bit over this game i think would be classified as a rogue like 
not a rogue light because rogue light has progression that carries over to make you better and better each run whereas rogue like you keep starting over and this one i don't think anything carries over so but then again i i might actually be wrong with those uh definitions actually you know what you know what? let me let me look this up because i'm curious because i feel like these terms just get like thrown around and nobody's like not quite sure they just say like rogue or something uh the difference is explained roguelites tend to offer more progression blah 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 roguelike blah, 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 dying yeah 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 starting all over okay it's it seems to go with what i was talking about whatever whatever <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter anyway uh cool game cool game even if it if it's not a roguelike like it says on the tin it's a cool little game fun snazzy juicy good action uh nice little charming presentation and stuff like that it's got everything it might not be it, it's missing some sort of it factor or something like that to make it like really incredible like there's, there's something a little bit about it but for the most part it's probably my fave of the month so far it just feels really cool slick polished well done well done Doink. all right next up is Oh, it's been a while since we had something from Adrian Dietrich and the button verse, I suppose. The void rolls back, I see. When you roll dice into the void. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's, it's been a hot minute. And I'm guessing this is something for uh, the Game Maker's Toolkit jam. All right, click to start. So this was all about dice rolls, right? That was the theme of GMTK. Let's see how this plays with it end of the world again the void has taken over everything and is causing okay blah 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 standard darkness you know entropy plot 101 uh-huh you and your companions know the drill armed with powerful reality altering dice set on a journey to restore the lands and hopefully beat the end of times again <laughs> that font that that's not a good m what is up with that fucking font uh it's funny how i noticed it for times but i didn't really bring it up with some of the other word i guess i was kind of used to it but it still bothers me anyway if i click do i fast forward okay i do Ooh, brought in a new instrument nice I like that. Dope music. I don't know if it needed to do it right now. Maybe it should have did it when I got into gameplay, but anyway. Uh, high health does not miss. Healing deals damage. Balance fighter, range attacks in a straight line. High damage, attack and build ranges are the same. Uh, let's try the hammer, man. Let's just go unga bunga. Uh, let's tab. Oh, start, yeah. Okay, WASD, move. Whoa, what the fuck? What is, oh, is that, that's like representing like my attack range or something like that? It's really weird how when I go up, it's like really short range, but when I point down, all of a sudden it's incredibly long range. What the hell? No, it's the same for left and right as well. What the fuck's going on? Anyway, uh, throw dice into the void. Okay. Do I pick up the stuff that it left behind? I, I don't know if I get it. Huh. Throw. Okay. Weird. It's kind of like I'm uncovering a map. Like, something you'd see in, like, uh... What was it called again? Soul Survivor? No, ne Neo Scavenger kind of reminds me of, but... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Oh, or it kind of reminds me of, I guess, uh loop hero a little bit or something this is just really what's going on what's my sense of progression what are what are these things i'm picking up i'm picking up health and sword and all that a am i like i am running out of dice on the bottom there M maybe maybe once all the dice are down then something happens huh put it down oh okay maybe, maybe that was the case now all of a sudden creatures are moving about do i keep throwing dice or what 
Hmm, I think I made some bad dice throws, unfortunately. Do I, like, walk into them? Tab, switch dice... What? Uh, yeah? Reach the edge of the world and defeat the horror which lurks there. What? I don't- I don't know if I understand. Okay. I guess... Uh, best as I can think is it's kind of like Loop Hero. We're, we're building the world off off of these dice for some reason, but every time we we, we throw dice, we're also... Um, I guess the world is also introducing enemies and stuff. And we got these dice. I guess maybe I'm supposed to be throwing these dice in a... In an intelligent manner, but I'm still not quite sure what, like, the sword... Okay, so the health gives us hearts, sure, and I guess that's my health. And the swords give us EXP? Okay. And I guess with the EXP we start to get more powerful bit by bit, sure. Let's see if we can attack again. So, what do the dice do? Does that mean, like, I'll... I don't know what that means, but like, does this mean like, I'll hit him for 1 HP, I'll hit him for 1 HP, I'll heal myself for 1 HP, I'll heal myself for 1 HP, and then I'll hit him for 1 HP? I mean, right now the, the enemies are, you know, really easy to kill, so it's no problem. We got that. I'm not sure what that's all about. Okay. I mean, it's... It's, it's weird and kind of intriguing in a way, but also it just seems really fucking boring. <laughs> just like, I don't know, pointless at the moment. So this has two and two health, so is that gonna heal us up to 65 and kill him? But then we also have that. Maybe that like summons an enemy or something? I don't know. Well, we did that. Oh, we killed him, I guess. Careful. Wait for this guy to move forward, I guess. Okay, uh, fuck him. <laughs> oh, now he's moving. Okay, hit him, sure. We got a red dice. And now we have green dice? Whoops, that was a bad, uh, placement. Oh! There's the, uh, is that the edge of the world? Is that where we're supposed to be, uh, going towards? Got dice there. Maybe, uh, switch around for different dice. There we go. Oh, okay. Did we make it? We're on a different zone, I guess. Okay, it's got a different tile set. Sure. Whoops, bad placement. Dang it, I need to make sure I'm adjoining these things. Huh. I mean, I'm, I guess I'm getting the gist, but I still feel like I'm really quite lost. Not sure exactly what's going down. I mean, I just keep going. I keep outrunning these things or, or kill them whenever. Hmm. Keep building. Let's just keep heading east, I guess. Uh-huh. I'm actually starting to get a little bit better at building these things. Okay. Yeah, we'll just put it there. I guess, if it's anything like other button-verse type games, I guess it's just we keep making our way to the goal and in the meantime we're, we're leveling up and, uh, you know, trying to prepare ourselves for some sort of final conflict or something like that. Gather enough EXP and all that type of jazz so that- God damn it! I didn't mean to do that. I got a little trigger happy with the controls there. Okay, we'll do it like that. Uh-huh. Oh, we're actually quite close to being up there. Alright, maybe we'll just do that. Shit. There we go. Uh-huh, grab all that. Okay. Now we're in... Water world? No, sorry. Ice world. <laughs> sure? Is there... Am I making progress? <laughs> Not quite sure. Oh, jeez. So he's got nine, so hang on. One, two, three, four. So maybe he'll have five HP? Sixteen? Gee, why did we hit for so much? Oh, I guess we had sixteen there, but... Does... Does that mean... I'm still not sure... 
We, when this happens, what is it? If I just select this, we got one sword and two HP. It still just does 16. What does any of this mean? You, uh, you'd think that each sword icon would be like maybe 17 plus 17 plus, you know, if you have like three sword icons, it would be like 17 times three damage that you would do or, or something. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really get it. <laughs> it's, it's a weird one. I'll, I'll keep playing for a little bit longer just to see if I can get something out of this. <laughs> This is definitely one of the more weird Adrian Dietrich experiment games I've seen. Most of the rest of them seem to have a little bit more sense to them, but this one's kind of losing me. <laughs> uh -huh, just keep going. Like, definitely, if I wasn't doing this for, you know, the review... Uh, Alright, just killed him again. Oh, we got a blue thing of a jig. I don't know what that does. <laughs> like, if I wasn't doing this for the review, like I was saying, I, uh, I probably would have just dipped out. I would have been like, I don't know what's going on, and it's not intriguing or sensible enough to really make me want to keep playing, I guess. <laughs> Alright, ah, shit. Um, whoops. Uh, hit him, sure. Damage minus one. Yeah, whatever. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, da, 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 da. How do we make this work? Just trying to get there. God damn it. Okay, very close. Um, can we place it there? God damn it, we're so fucking close. No. Ah, uh, but we've just blocked ourselves. <laughs> Maybe we can get around and get up to that path I built. Maybe this is supposed to be part of the challenge. We've been having it maybe a little bit lucky so far that we haven't really had uh, any trouble with the paths. But now all of a sudden we're having a lot of trouble. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, shit, hang on. Maybe another... Ooh, there we go. Nice. Alright. Now we're in the three zone. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'm lost. I don't know what's going on. I'm just confused. It, I, I don't understand what any of the symbols mean. I don't understand how the combat works. It's... It, it's really weird. I, I'm trying to piece it all together. You know, I, I tried to share some of my deductions. I just feel kind of lost. I, I don't know where I'm going. If I go back, do I just go... Oh, what the hell? Oh, if I go back, I don't even necessarily go back to where I was. This is a completely different zone from the ice zone. How the fuck does the game work? <sighs> weird. I mean, in a weird way, you know, the game's kind of intriguing. It almost... You know, there have been some games i played, like Hellsinker and stuff, where part of the game is just figuring out the game, <laughs> in a way, and sometimes that could be intriguing, but whereas Hellsinker, I wanted to keep figuring out because it was cool and flashy and it was a nice, you know, shooter and stuff, this thing just seems kind of boring and weird and I don't know. But, hey, it's still quite intriguing to go through this. I, I always gotta hand it to him, like, even if I don't always really end up going with them, I always appreciate just the, you know, they're always unique and crazy and experimental, so kudos on that, Adrian Dietrich. It's definitely bottom of my list for your experimental games so far. This one really ain't have anything for me, unfortunately. Some weird bastard child of Loop Hero and, uh... I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, like I said, good try. Kind of missed out on me. Maybe some other people, they'll gel with it. Doink. Alright, next up is Five Nights at Fulps. Oh, by Frosty Art. Tomar has... Tomar? Has trapped you 
Tom Fulp, inside the new grounds office. But ain't that clearly Stepford right there? And Tomar's getting involved? Or we're getting a lot of people involved in this. All right. Well, I just came off of playing Soma, so I'm kind of horror gamed out, but all right. I'll, I'll see what happens here. Maybe it's a cool horror game. Let's see what we got. Five Nights at Fulp's Team Angel 2. Free whip. It's on the house. Okay. Five Nights at Fulp's. Night 1. Kind of a boring... Ah, come on. At least make the buttons, like, react or something like that when I'm hovering over them. Is it... No, I thought maybe it was arrow keys or something like that. Okay. What are the extras? Okay. Oh, night six. Interesting. Custom night, credits, volume. All right. It's time for me to do my best Let's Player impression and get ready to shriek. I'll definitely jump. I'm a real big pussy with this type of stuff. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, I'm kind of familiar with the basic conceit of uh, a Five Nights at Freddy's game. I've never actually played it myself, but I've seen enough glimpses into it to get the general gist. But, um... I'm kind of hoping it creates uh, some cool twists on it or something. Alright, night one. Spooky sounds, sure. Alright, someone's hello. ringing. Hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to get you settled in on your first night. You know, I'm so glad it's you in there and not me because things uh -huh. are bad. Real bad. It looks like Tomar managed to breach his containment uh huh. So we got the light. Okay. And then <laughs> I like how it's using those symbols. And then we got the doors. Uh huh. Then we got that. Mm hmm. Jesuit Tomar. Uh, What's this Anyways, supposed to be? Uh, I'll give you some tips personally, though don't ask why I never hmm? I would keep an eye on the main three on the stage at this night. That being Stepford, Pico, and Ritz. I don't think the others will activate today, but that really depends on your luck. So Stepford, Pico, and Ritz? Alright, thanks. I can't tell you much besides that, though. I recommend to check the doors often and shut them if anything appears in your doorway. I won't distract you any longer, so good luck on your first night, and hopefully see you tomorrow. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, was that clicking on that? <laughs> okay. Goofy little asides. Okay. Alright, so fuck you. Stepford's gone. Like I said, I'm still not really familiar with how the game works. Okay, so now Stepford's in four, and now Stepford's not in four. Stepford's in three. Okay. So do I just need to... How do I tell when I'm supposed to close the door? Uh-huh. So Pico's not moving, Stepford's over there. Uh-huh, that guy's still over there, they're over there. Uh-huh. Still there. Not really seeing any of them move at the moment. Seems like we're good. I think. Like I said, I'm still not sure how to uh, determine these things. Shit. Pico's gone. Pico's in two. Stepford's in three. No one's in the hallway. Because one thing I was always a bit unclear is, like, can't I always just be watching right outside the hallways or something like that? But I think they introduce other enemies, like Foxy later, which can attack you from a... Oh, it's being kind of weird with the uh, the flip-up. Stefford's there, the bot's gone. Bot is... where the fuck is the bot? Shit. Is that, like... Nope. Okay, so the bot is gone. Stefford's over there. That guy's over there. Bot and Ritz is over there. Pico. Fuck, Pico's gone. God damn it! I really wish that would require me to actually, like, click on it instead of that. Pico's unaccounted for. Fuck, where the fuck is Pico? Stefford's unaccounted for. Shit. 
Does that mean Pico's right outside? Pico's in the vents. Wait, is this supposed to be like the vent or something like that? I don't really understand. That looks like it's just part of the desk. Oh wait, no, it's like the vent under the desk. So, oh shit, and Stepford's right outside as well. God damn it! Don't fucking do it like that. Make it... Okay. So does that mean they're gonna show up on the doors? Or... Is it that they're close that I should have the doors closed in preparation of them showing up? Okay, Pico's now over there. He's not in the, uh, the thing anymore. They're not over there. Over there. Where the fuck is Stepford? Shit. I still don't know where Stepford is. I think I can get rid of that. Maybe I can open that door? I could be totally wrong on that. Vents. Uh-huh. Looking good. Pico's not there anymore. Robot that. Okay, they're back. Okay, where the fuck is... Oh, shit. Um, so Pico's over there. So I guess I close it because he's on the way there? Is that how it's supposed to work? Do I need to close it in advance like this, or do I only need to close it once they get close enough that I can see them with the light or something like that? That's what I'm kind of curious about. So he's still in the vents. Uh-huh. They're over there, Stefford's gone, Stefford's over there now. There's Joshua Tomar. <laughs> Pico's still there. Okay, that's good. I guess I can buy a little bit of time, not waste uh, draining. Just double check, I guess. Is Pico still down there? Pico's still down there in the fucking vents. Am I supposed to like blast him with light or something like that? Maybe that gets him to piss off? Tomar's still there. Shit, I think I lost track of Stepford. Stepford's in the hallway over there. So maybe close this. Okay. Pico and Stepford are both in the adjoining hallways. So I guess just keep that like that. But that's really draining fucking power right now. I mean, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> I mean, this is right, right? Stefford's right outside. Pico's right in the fucking vent. It's nothing I can really do. I gotta keep the doors closed because that's, well, I'm fucking screwed now. Shit, and it's only 4 a.m. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> I'm fucked, aren't I? Yeah, 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 come on. Do I know this song? I feel like I know it. Where do I know that from? It's so distorted, it's difficult to uh, parse it, of course. Ouch. <laughs> oh, that actually wasn't that bad of a jump scare. It was just Tomar came out and just socked me one. <laughs> okay. Alright, well it seemed alright. I'm still not too familiar with the rules, unfortunately. Like I said, I only have a passing kind of like, like from a sideways glance idea of the rules. Was I doing that properly? I'm kind of curious. Cause like, yeah, the cameras, I think Pico was coming from the vent. Stepford was close in the hallway. I'm not sure if when they're there, that just means I should be watching the doors, I should be flashing the lights, and then when they show up, then close, or if I'm supposed to close the door in preparation for them come. I don't know. I mean, this is probably all part of the game, that you're supposed to experiment and figure it out for yourself or something like that. Uh, yeah. Seems like an interesting game. I mean, obviously, you know, I could dock it some points off for being... It, it pretty much literally was just Five Nights at Freddy's or something like that. It didn't seem to have... Uh, a nice interesting spin other than just having a Newgrounds paint job over it. But uh, it was cool. I, I thought it was neat. It was it was my first. <laughs> it definitely like, you know, left a better impression on me because I'm kind of uh, unfamiliar with Five Nights at Freddy's. So it has a lot of novelty to someone like me. I'm, I'm almost a bit worried that for other people, all they'd see is it's just like 
probably a slightly less, you know, like I said, I was having some difficulty with the controls. I would prefer if I would have to go down and click on the laptop instead of going down and it popping up without me clicking. Because a lot of the times it would be popping up or being put away when I'm just slightly, you know, like glancing by it or something. Those controls were a little bit annoying. And uh, like I said, uh, you know, some people might view it as kind of like, we've already played, you know, this, what does it bring? Although, you know, people will probably find the, uh, the Newgrounds paint job quite funny and stuff. I don't know, cute little game. I'm, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to coming back. Yeah, I sound like I'm being down on it, but for the most part, I had fun. I'm looking forward to coming back to it, especially since, uh, <laughs> it didn't seem like, uh, it didn't blow out my eardrums with any, uh, you know, ungodly shrieks or something like that. So, uh, <laughs> you know, thanks for uh, making it a little bit less slightly, you know, on my old man, you know, ticker and my old man ears, you know, you didn't blast me out and give me a heart attack or something like that. So I appreciate that. Kind of makes me want to go play a bit more. Though I wouldn't have blamed you if uh, you did a big, like, Stepford animatronic shriek or something like that. Anyway, enough yapping. Neat. Neat little game. Looking forward to going back to it. It's cool. It's cool. It's definitely, you know, rip-off or something like that, but it seemed, for the most part, competently put together and neat. Alrighty, next up is... Ah, Morb Sweeper by Lumpy Touch. Are you ready to morb? Suck your way to victory in this twisted version of Minesweeper. Well, it's lumpy touch. I think I would take uh, twisted as red. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. All right, Morbius, huh? You know, I kind of missed out on this craze. You know, I've heard of the meme and stuff. I haven't seen the movie, though I understand that the meme is that nobody has seen the movie. Yes, but uh, really, I don't really know much about morb at all, but hey, that's actually kind of good. I really, really am hoping. <laughs> Damn. Definitely a really cool uh, warp mode animation, on or off. Interesting, I wonder what that's all about. Maybe it's like a really like, kind of like in Disgaea where you turn off uh, attack animations because as cool as they are at the start, maybe they start to get complained a bit. Hey, I kind of complained about that in the last Garfield thing. wonder if you took advice? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know much about Morbius, but... As usual, I kind of actually take that as a blessing when I'm usually reviewing things because now I'll be able to view this game as completely, you know, like with no bias or anything like that. It'll just be, will the game stand on its own without any of that type of stuff? Let's check it out. Uh, how to play. Once again, what a lovely title screen and intro animation. Really friggin' love it. Puts its best foot forward. Great. It's just Minesweeper, what with morbs. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I kind of like it because I was about to complain about the whole, like, uh, I think this is a wall of text that's really bad. Come on, have some pictures and stuff like that. But I guess right now it's saying, come on, you know Minesweeper, just play it. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm guessing all of these is kind of just like, I wonder if this is actually, like, legit. Make sure Morbius has a great review score. Hidden under certain mores or review bombs. Revealing a review bomb causes it to explode. Lowering the movery score. This is bad. Yeah, if you use left click, you'll suck it up and it'll disappear. If there's no bomb... Okay, yeah, I get it. It's just Minesweeper, sure. I'll, I'll just take it. I'll, I'll take the joke, and I'll just assume it plays by Minesweeper rules. Uh, alright, let's, let's hit start. Get ready. Ooh! Click a morb to begin. Alright. Okay, so there's one adjacent, and there's two here, so it's right-click this one, so that's got to be good, right? Let's just try... So, how does this work again? So this means, like, there's one within this vicinity, and there's also one within this vicinity, so this is probably one, and this already has one, so this is probably safe, and this has one, so that's safe as well. This has one, so this is safe as well. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, I'm guessing this is safe. And this has three. And this has two, so these are bombs. And this has uh, three surrounding it, but we've already found the three, so these two are safe. Okay. This has two, so it could be this or this. This has one. 
Okay. Let's work over here in a second. This has two. This has just one. This has two. So, well, this has one. And this has two. It's gotta be this. And this is safe. Right? Oh, shit! That was wrong? One, two... Fuck, am I fucking this up? Oh! It might have been... This was safe. And this was the... Fuck, I fucked it up. Okay, so it's like Minesweeper, but you don't instantly die, I suppose. Okay. You know what, let's be a little bit... Let's really be a little bit risky. Bam! I'm just gonna do it right in the middle. Ooh, risky, I suppose. Okay, let's, uh, let's play it safe. Okay, so there's three here. We already know that there was one there. And now there's gotta be... Let's see... There's got to be one here, but we already found that that was one. So... The three has got to be like... Let's see, one... Two... Three? And then this is safe? And then this also has three. This has one. I'm just trying to process all that. Sorry, I'm not really giving any feedback on the game. <laughs> a lot of the time when I'm doing this stuff, I'm like, should I be focused on getting feedback or should I be focused on just playing the game and just letting them draw their own conclusions? I always try to do a little bit of a... What happened with the uh, the music? Do I still have... I still have sound effects. Where'd the music go? It's a bit of a bummer. I, I, was, I was liking it. It's a little bit of a, a bummer. Bummer. Um, let's see. So we have two here. We already found those two. We have three here. Okay, so there's those two, and then one of these are it. And then we have one here. That doesn't really narrow it down. It still could be any one of those. And we have one here, and that could be that one. Oh, and it, it means it can't be this one, and it has to be that one, right? Because that one kind of narrowed it out. Okay, all right, keep going, keep going. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> it's been a while since I played uh, Minesweeper. It kind of reminds me of something like Picross or something like that. Um, I mean, I'm not quite sure how much Morbius is really adding to this. You know, it's like, it's like okay, it's playing Minesweeper. and it, It's just like a graphical mod of Minesweeper. It's like, all right. And usually it's got that lumpy touch, you know, touch where it's very juicy and professionally and stylish. But it's like, did it need to... So why am I being a Debbie Downer? I I don't know. Sometimes these games that are just games, but they're just like reskinned. It's just like, why? Uh, I, I don't know. But <laughs> what am I talking about? I I just spent like what a decade of my life making like pretty much just like a Streets of Rage clone or something back in the day. So who might have complained about like you know lack of originality or something? Anyway, we got three here. Uh, so. One, two, three. So both of these are safe, right? We have two here. So it could be this or this. And we have two here. So it could be, it's gotta be not, it's one here and then that. So it still could be there. And we have three here. Um, we gotta kind of work, hang on. Two here. Okay, so it's that one. So this or this. One here, so any of these. Two here. But we already have two over here. So this needs to be free. And then this needs to be one, right? Because that needs to uh, fulfill the two here or something. And then this has two, so this is free space. <laughs> I'm worried I'm doing this like too fast, so I'm not using like the logic. I, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. And there's two here, so th this is a free space. Uh huh. There's two here, so yeah. And then there's. Oh, we've already gotten two here, so these are both free. There's one here, but we already found it was there, so this is free. And same with this one. There's one, but we already found one there, so that's free. Uh-huh. And then there's... Let's see. There's three here. So we need to figure out... We got these. There's one right here. And then it could be one of these remaining three. 
There's two here. There's one here. And then there's one here as well. This one here could be this or this. This one here could be any of these. This two here, it's already got that one. And then it could be one of these. Does the other ones kind of cancel it out a bit? No, I'm kind of, I, I kind of lost my track for a second there. I was getting foggy. I think I lost track. Um, crap. <sighs> How many review bombs are remaining? Seven. Jeez, we got quite a, a stack of them. Uh, two, three. Uh, there's already there. So it's one of these. One of these. One here. Oh, this one here. This tells us that it has to be this and not this. Right. Okay. So this has three here. Uh huh. So it's one of these. How do we cancel it out? We got one here. It's already that one. So it's not that. And then we've got three here. So it has to be this one. And then we've got four here. So it needs to be one of these. But we know there's two here, but we haven't we haven't figured out. There's one here, and then there's one here. Ugh. Hang on. Maybe hang on. This has three, so this needs to be canceled, right? Mm-hmm. And then this needs to be four. Uh huh. So those. I don't really know. Um, come on, pick up the pace, man. Minesweeper guys can probably do this in like 30 seconds and just be done with it. Like those super Tetris pros. Uh, da, 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 da. Two, four. Come on, come on, look for the magic. Look for, there's gotta be an obvious thing here that we've already kind of canceled out. But maybe not. There's two there. There's four here. In order for there to be two here and four here, in order for there to be four here, and we don't really know because all these bombs are so stacked together. Uh, if I placed it there, that would fulfill the two, that would fulfill the one, and it would fulfill the four. It would mean that there's not, whatever, I'll, I'll just take a guess. It's this one, fuck! <laughs> okay, so that fills out that four, so we know that this is safe and that this is bad. And now this has four, but we've already kind of figured out that's four. And now this has one. We've already figured out that that's a mine. So this is free. This has one. We already know that that means that one. So that's free. This has two. And this has three. And then, so that means if this has two and this has three, that means that, oh wait, there's three review bombs remaining. Does that just literally mean, right? Wait, or is that not how it works? Hang on. Um, dang it. This has three. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't going to be that easy. Um, this has one and two, right? One and two. Three. So is that? Um, if this is three, one and two, and there needs to be one more remaining here. It needs to be this or this. Is it just down to a pull of the dice? Not sure. Okay, this has three, two, three. Okay, so that was the gamble we needed, because now we know that this is bad, and this is... Okay, right? Oh, did I get it reversed? 
I'm a fucking idiot. Wait, now what? Wait, do I not understand the rules? Shouldn't it shouldn't it end right now? Or have I have I tomatoed something that's not uh supposed to be tomatoed? Wait, what? I mean Oh, okay. Wait, what? Review bumps two. So I placed it. Wait, I'm kind of confused. Shouldn't it, shouldn't it be over? Haven't I found everything? Or is one of these... Did I fuck up one of these? What are they for? Uh, I, I don't get it. Isn't this a winning situation? Or have I... One, two, three... But I, I, I think all the math has been checking out too. Two... Three, three, two, one. M maybe I fucked up something there. Because, uh... I mean, if I click this... Oh, wait a minute. I was wrong. This is three, and there's one, two, three. This is... And then this is three, that's one, two, three. This is... Hey! safe sorry okay so that was the case as soon as i heard the movie was hated by the critics but loved by audiences i knew i had to see it for people questioning the science behind it grow up we barely understand dna maybe in the future bat people will be real who will be laughing then anyway our spider-man's webs are scientifically plausible stupid double standard i gave the movie 3.5 because it is predictable to me <laughs> what the fuck is... Alright, fair enough. Alrighty. Cool little game. Definitely, like, uh... Definitely pretty neat. Like, but, like I said, uh, I'm a little bit mixed on it. Like, it... Uh, whatchamacallit. Not to be a downer. Like, it's super cool. Like... You know, it, it's it's juicy, the graphics are nice, the animations are neat, everything's really neat. But part of me just thinks it's... Maybe I'm being in an ironic twist that I'm being too critical, you know, in a, a stupid ironic twist, I suppose, being too critical of something which just having fun. Part of me just views this as just like... just really bad pandering and completely unnecessary or something like that. I don't know. It's just one of those things where it's like, hey, I, I recreated this in Lego or something. And it's like, and it's cool, but it's like, it didn't really, I, I don't, mm, whatever. I, I'm taking it too seriously. It's just a, a funny little joke. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm just, ugh. What am I trying to get at? That maybe it's like... I just prefer you did something like... Like, even though the Garfield thing was like... You know, you could also say that that was just like... A meme Frankenstein cataclysm pandering stuff. But it just had a lot of craft and stuff to it. And a lot of unique. There was a lot of like work. And so I thought it was really good. But this one, it's just... It's just Minesweeper, with just painted over. And it's just like, you know, it just makes you feel like it's kind of just like lazy and just like, I don't know, it's just like, oh man, this is going to get me so many views and votes and stuff like that and keep me in the public domain so I can keep grifting or grafting or... <sighs> I don't know what I'm trying to get at. I'm getting to, I'm obviously thinking about this. It was a cool game. Very professionally made. Love the professionalism and the style and the animation and stuff. It's goofy. It's funny. It's cool. It's perfectly fine. I'm thinking about this too hard and thinking about, you know, gig economy, what the fuck ever, social media pressure or something. I'm obviously taking this too seriously. Let's morb on. <laughs> All right. Next up is Gimmico by Tomb Dude. 
fend off hordes of yokai using magical gimmick dice made in 48 hours for GMTKJAM 2022. <laughs> uh, all right, let's check it out. I'm curious. Click to focus. I shall. Boop. Mm -hmm. All right. Still got that uh, snazzy menus and stuff that I'm known that Tomb Dude is known for. I love that style. Oh, I gotta say, come on, man, come on. You're not gonna have the buttons react when I hover over them. Big known. Uh, it's fine. What was that? So you can just click. It's kind of weird because I clicked over like here. I guess maybe it just has a, uh, a bounding box for clicking on it. You'd think I would actually need to, like, click on her or something like that. But yeah, why are you putting all this life into actually clicking on them, but none over here? Yeah, oh my god. The buttons didn't even react when I clicked on them, let alone hover over them. Whatever. You know, obviously I get it. Done pressure. It's probably... Uh, a miracle that the title screen is as stylish as it is because frankly under such incredible time pressure okay I, I won't yap further let's just play Gimiko okay good luck out there what Neuron spawn a cat jalapeno spawn a mine short fuse kaboom 8 RT tiny splash fires 4 bullets good luck out there Want to buy an extra dice? Want to refresh my stock? Kinobori, Tiny Splash. Uh, I don't know what any of this means. I I'm guessing this is a shop. This is like my current power-ups that I have equipped. And I hit go to start, I guess. I kind of wish like go was like down here or something like that. Like to keep it kind of separate from like the shop menu. And I wish like, I guess this is like our current status or something. Maybe this is like loadouts or number of, di I don't know what the fuck's going on. I guess I've got, also this cache is just shoved in the corner a bit. I wish it would, some of this menu arrangement is just a little bit illogical. I find it really confusing to parse at first. I think it would be better if like the money was somewhere like, Maybe like right on top of his head, or maybe right here, right above like the things you can buy. Or maybe like right here, actually. Also like, uh, I wish these things, just like the others, had like, I don't know, an icon or something. I wish the go button was on the corner so it doesn't look like it's an item you can buy in the shop or something. I wish this had like, maybe like, stiffer outlines to kind of make it pop and separate from the rest of the things to let you know like this is your equipment this is a shop you know a clear delineation all right <laughs> i think i'm falling on my bad habit where i'm critiquing too much instead of actually just playing so let's uh let's just play let's just go in raw okay wave one uh oh really i, I thought i thought clicking i could fire i mean it's a fucking crosshair really okay so wasd move around Okay, I got that. Oh, maybe now I can fire? Okay. All right. A little bit. Okay. A little bit dissatisfying to hit these guys and they just kind of glow red a bit and that's it. The death animation is satisfying, just the hit feedback isn't the best. I mean, it's okay. Wish they would get like shoved back or something like that. Okay, so I made it. Uh, sure, I'll buy an extra dice. So, oh, okay, so this is like different loadouts. I actually expected when I bought that dice for this to say two, because it kind of makes sense. Anyway, let's go. How do I uh, use those things anyway? Okay, so I have dice now, I guess. Oh, wait, I get it now. It's not loadouts, because all, all I could do is throw the dice. I think it's that you throw the dice, and then at the end of it's, oh, maybe not. I thought it was going to be like, you throw the dice, and then at the end of its roll, uh, whatever you have equipped on that dice, then happens. But this, I just seem to throw it. Maybe it's random, what power-up it does? Or maybe it's cycling through them, or something? Not sure what's happening. Uh, yeah, it's it's gotta be random. If it was cycling through them sequentially, it wouldn't have done that crossfire and then another crossfire. Okay, so I think I get it. We have 
we have two dice. And then when we throw the dice, these, we've got six abilities that could randomly happen. So then I guess we can be like, you know, that and wait, what? Oh, son of a bit. That didn't waste my money, did it? Hang on, let me try buying. Drop. Okay, thank God. If that wasted my money, I was about to be pissed. When you said RMB to drop, I thought you meant like drop it in there. Like, okay. I guess that makes sense. That would be like placing, not dropping, I guess. Okay. Um, maybe let's just, uh, let's stack big on this thing. Sure. I mean, why not, you right? And then I guess we don't really have anything we can put in there. I want to refresh my stock. We're not going to have enough money after that. It's fine. Okay, so we got a dice. And now it's loaded with all sorts of power-ups that'll happen after we fire it. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Actually, I guess that's why we have two dice. So we can fall back on something. Because naturally, throwing the dice at something gets you into uh, trouble. Because then you need to fetch it. But usually it's right on top of where the enemies were. Looks like the Tanuki, he's pretty tough. The dice bounce off of him. Interesting. Okay, this is a this is a cool game. Actually, I, I'm having a lot of fun. Really, really confusing to figure out what the fuck is happening in, in the first place. But uh, yeah, it's neato. Sure, sure. Let's just load it up. Just load it up, baby. Okay, so we got our dice. Yeah, it's not it's not bad. It's an interesting little. Weird, I don't know, twist, I guess. Uh oh, is the balloon? Uh, the balloon is an enemy. Okay, I should have guessed that. I wasn't sure. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh. Boy, kind of lure him over, sweep around. Ah, jeez. But I did go blue. Did that mean maybe I was, uh. Oh, that miasma stuff. That's. That's the power we got, right? Enemies run into it. Oh, that's awesome. That's, yeah, fuck you guys. This. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Summon the bees. Bees! Let's... Okay, the big guys again. They kind of bounce us off of them. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh... This is dope. Confusing at the beginning. A little bit... A little bit weird and stuff like that, but... I, I kind of like it. Alright, alright. Um... Summons a critter. Hell yeah, Miko Stick, Pocky, and Rocky, baby! And then we'll do that. Sure. We have just enough to summon another die. Sure. The only... Now, like, uh, yeah. The game's cool. The The only thing I'd say missing at the moment, I feel, is that, um, ouch. <laughs> is that, uh... Oh, cool, you can pick up, a uh, multiple? Oh, maybe not. Oh, it was just glitching because, uh, I was... I guess I was shoving it into the, uh, the edge of the screen. <laughs> with impunity. Oh boy, oh boy. Come on, come on. I just want to get to those dice. Uh, I was saying, okay, like uh, like I was saying, game, really cool. I like it. It's definitely pretty groovy. It's an interesting fusion of these kind of like, you know, horde survival arena type thingies. The dice where you throw it and then, you know, you got to run to pick it back up. But also it's like doing these weird bonuses that you've loaded onto the dice, I suppose. Loaded dice. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I guess the only thing complaint I would have at the moment is that, uh, pawn is, uh, well, what would I have? Oh. It's mushrooms versus, uh, bamboo sprouts. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, it is a little bit directionless. Uh, I, I always like it, you know, no matter how little it is, I think it adds a lot. If there's just some sort of narrative like story or or goal to strive for you know like i, I always feel like with these games that they're fun but i kind of have a bit more fun if i'm like you know like take enter the dungeon like you're going to find the gun that can erase the past and face the drag gun and stuff like that that's like a kind of cool goal that like keeps you going but when i'm playing this i'm just kind of like i'm having fun but Without some sort of goal or narrative or something, it, it all starts to kind of feel a little pointless. And that's also kind of doubled by the fact that we are getting some, uh, some variation in enemies. 
but um, it's not really anything incredibly significant. They're all kind of operating on the same very dumb AI that kind of chases you. You know, they have little differences, and some of them have armor. I'm not saying they're terrible enemies. They're, they're decent enemies. But it is kind of just like, you know, since there's no narrative or goal to keep me going, now I fall on nitpicking. That type of stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's just kind of like that, where I'm just like, how long is this going to go? And the enemies, yeah, they are kind of just dumb, and they just go towards you. And it does feel like as much as... I'm uh, getting hit, it kind of feels like I'm only getting hit just because I'm being impatient. Because these guys seem to be very easily, like, I, I instead of, like, forcing myself to jump into danger and reclaim my dice quickly, uh, I could just easily run circles around these guys, just lead them into a big group, and then just smacking them, I suppose. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and this isn't just me being some sort of sore loser saying like, I could do this perfect, I just wasn't feeling well or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Also, that is kind of a problem. We have a lot of these dice that are uh, summoning, uh, you know, allies, but I can't really tell they're allies. They kind of get lost in the hubbub. It'd be really nice if maybe like, the rockets that I fire or the allies I summon have like an outline to let me know that they're allies. Otherwise they kind of get lost and I'm like, oh shit. No, like that Miko stick flying like that. I actually thought that was an enemy earlier and I was avoiding it. But then I realized, oh right, I got the, uh, the Miko stick power up. It's actually totally on my side, isn't it? <laughs> And the stuff I was saying about, like, easily circle strafing the guys, I mean, like, okay, now they are starting to get, like, you know, some of them are faster, some of them are move a little bit more erratically, so it's not the easiest thing in the world. I'm just saying it, it's still, like, could be a little bit cooler, uh, I guess, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, lure him into the, lure him into the miasma. Wonk, wonk. Alright, done and done. Okay, this is wave 10, like, come on. We gotta have some sort of new, uh, thing going on here, right? Just buy all this stuff, I don't really care. Return punch, cool. Tiny splash. We'll go with Neuron. Let's... Alright, wave 10. Anything? Hey! Okay! So we're actually getting a, uh, a cool boss. Okay, down for that. Oh, once again, like... <laughs> This is stupid. The little wisps, the ghosts of the wisps, are like only slightly tinted differently. So it's like every time I I'm almost feeling like I'm hitting the ghost, I'm like, oh shit, is that an enemy? And I'm like, no, 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 it's the ghost left behind. It's just a very, very silly. But yeah, definitely could stand for a bit more helpful visual. Ah, fuck! It moved a little bit strange, caught me. Damn. Aw, oh, man, I was so close, too. I was surprised. I wonder. Let me check the, uh, start the game. Beat wave, beat wave 10. Wave 15, wow, okay. Pet the shopkeep. Oh, I didn't do that. Loiter around. Die. Wave 15, huh? I wonder uh, how far it goes. Is wave 15 the ending? Or would it be, like, wave 20 or something like that? Or maybe it's just an infinite loop or something? Anyway. Really cool game. It, it definitely had some nitpicky stuff, like I said. Uh, you know, shot menu, not exactly the most intuitive thing, and the gameplay, not exactly the most intuitive thing at first, but eventually I found it out. I had a lot of fun. It was pretty cool. Uh, you know, it felt a little bit pointless in that, you know, it had some sense of progression and that the enemies were evolving, but, it, you know, I still was kind of like... I was actually kind of surprised that we had a boss on level 10 because I was about to say like, eh, this is probably just a game jam type thing. It's probably just going to keep looping until I get bored and, you know, I felt bad. But no, it actually was kept going. Really fun game. Yeah, probably the uh, the best. Uh, I'm trying to remember all the ones I've played, but probably the best game maker uh, jam game I've played so far. So uh, yeah, well done. Doink. Alrighty, next up is Ascension by Rainbow Cemetery. Oh, 
Been a while since a Rainbow Cemetery game. Destroy the house before it destroys you. Okay, okay, what do we got here? <laughs> Is it going to be something like, uh, if only it was something like Teardown, where we just take a sledgehammer to the house, huh? I'm guessing it's not going to be that, though, huh? <laughs> See what we got. Oh, I don't recognize that. It looked like a new, like, logo or something like that. Maybe a new version or something? Ascension! Okay, start options. Cool, uh, cool title screen and everything. Um, I'm guessing Z, maybe? Okay. Up, down, left, right, Z, X, A. Really? Why A? Also, gamepad works. Let's see if, uh, my gamepad works. Got PlayStation controller. Ooh, it does look like it's accepting it. The only problem is that it says J1, B2, and B0. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? That could mean anything. I'm assuming it's these face buttons, but just kind of curious. All right, X, uh, circle, square, square, really? Why was I looking for square? I hope this isn't one of the, I'm kind of worried this is one of those cases where the default are like for an Xbox controller, but uh, a PlayStation controller is done differently. I mean, it's not, it's not completely out of the ordinary for square to be a confirm button. It's just a little odd. Uh, let's start. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Fire. Fuel. Things. Okay. So that's hit. That's jump. That's dash. Oh, weird. So we go in here, we're some sort of kid under a blanket or something. When we go out here, we're some sort of creepy ghoul or something. I don't know what's going on. Alright, wandering around. Wrecking shit. Did we... Ow, jeez, hang on. Do we, like, bonk these, and then we pick up their kindling or something like that, and we bring it back to the fire? Is that what's going on? Not sure. I think that's what's happening. Let's just keep going around and wrecking shit. Bam. 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 Not bad. Definitely gives me a cool kind of, like, a retro vibe. Oh, what's... Oh, I see. Kind of do something like that. All right. Are we supposed to be doing that? Oh wait, there was like a chest down there. Did we get that chest? Oh, I might have already gotten that chest. Okay. Are we supposed to light these fires, you know, separately? Or are we supposed to, uh, I don't know. Kind of cool, this weird filter that's going on where things look differently when they're in the light. So we go over here, fire. I don't like how the fire's red when it's increasing like that. I guess I put fuel in it, it's increasing. I get why it's red, but that makes me think that something, and also the sound effect, it makes me think that something bad happened, but I feel like I'm doing something good and that I'm increasing the fire. I almost feel like when you do this, when you feed it fuel, it should go like green to say it's like going up or something, or maybe not even color it at all. I don't know, a little, a little odd to think about, I guess. I'm not sure. Are these fires actually not uh, separate things? Put that. We got it. Oh, okay. Whoa. What the fuck was that? Okay. Freaking like released some sort of like angel. It just blew the roof off the house. Okay. Still a little confused. Okay. So we got the fire. 5%. Okay. Ow. Son of a bitch. The only thing I'm kind of confused about the game is that like... Uh, I guess I get it. I wander around, I wreck monsters, and I pick up uh, their wood, feed it to the fire. The only thing I'm kind of confused at is I would almost think like there's, you know, some sort of time pressure or something like that, but it seems like I could just take my time and there's not really much penalty for dying or like, it's not like, because usually, when you're tending a fire, you'd think you need to, like, race before the fire goes out, but that that doesn't seem to be a problem, and whenever I get hit, I just kind of spill out my, my rings like I'm a Sonic character, essentially, so it's not really an issue. I, I don't know. I'm a little bit, a little bit confused on the, on the rules of the game. It's like, it's like I'm winning. I think I'm understanding it, but... I'm just kind of worried because it's not doing things I think it would do, and that's making me worried that maybe it 
is doing the things I'm thinking it's doing, but I'm just not noticing and I'm gonna get a game over or something like that. Does that make any sense? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it is kind of cool, like, yeah, once they're in the light, it's just like, look, it's just a TV. It's nothing spooky. Also, I'm wondering what those... What are those hands? I'm not quite sure about the, the hands. Are they an enemy or is that something else? I'm going to assume it's an enemy. But, yeah, I don't really know. It's just a little flower. Hit it. Hit it. Okay. Pick up all that fuel. Got it. Here come the hands again to do whatever. Got it. Is that everything? I feel like we picked up everything, right? 99%. Do we, like, leave one stick on the ground somewhere? Or maybe I need to... Oh, it was. Yeah, what is up with those hand things? Are they gonna come attack me or what? <laughs> Alright. Toosh. Off goes the roof. Burn the house down. Yeah, it is kind of weird. I don't know what it is. It's like, I'm enjoying this game, it, it's cool, but it, it's around now that I'm kind of like, like, it, it's cool, but I am still have a little bit of confusion on what it is, because like I said, it feels like a win is almost kind of like guaranteed. It's like there's no way to, to lose, I can just... If I wanted, I could just turn my brain off and just keep throwing my body at this over and over. And you never die, because you can just recollect everything. So, what's kind of the point of trying to go hard? I mean, you know, I, I, I guess I could get... I, I guess maybe every time I'm getting hit, I'm like losing points. But like, who, who, who gives a shit about points <laughs> in today's age? <laughs> okay, people do give a shit about points, fine. But, yeah, it's just... I don't know. It, it, it's here that, as much as I'm liking the game, I feel like if I wasn't given this the 10 minute review, it's around now that my attention would start to wane and I'd probably just quit. I'd be like, okay, it, it, uh, I, I, it's just something, there's no pressure or something or strategy needed, just going around clobbering things. You know, it, it just starts to feel kind of boring and also repetitive. All the levels have been the same. It hasn't really given me some sort of progression, like maybe some sort of like story cutscenes or something. Oh, got caught by the hands. I oh really? I I actually was about to say like oh damn. Okay, maybe uh, I don't even know exactly how I got attacked there, but maybe that is a game over or something. Maybe that's what I've been waiting for. But uh, no. Now I have just gone back to the start, just as if I was killed with any other enemy. So again, feeling a little pointless. <laughs> How do the hands work? Is it like, if I'm in the darkness too long, the hands come out and like, slap me? I don't really know. Mm-hmm, bonk, bonk, bonk. Uh -huh, fuck you. Take that. I like that I can hit uh, projectiles. It's pretty cool. Whack. Come on, fire. Yeah, fuck you. Alright. Let's just get those remaining sticks. Kind of annoying how they scatter all around the place sometimes. Alright, and got it. Another, please, give me something. Some sort of like Pac Man esque like story cutscene. You know, something, some sort of progression. Okay, a music change. A little bit late, you know, like I said, I probably wouldn't have... And it's looking like it's just more of the same, unfortunately. I mean, it's a music change, you know, that's that's nice, but it's too little too late. I, I would have already quit a long time ago, and the music change, I mean... It's insignificant. It's not really doing anything to keep me playing. I just feel like, okay, the game's just... It's still more of the same. It's just got a music change, you know? But that's it. We're still facing the same enemies. We're still pretty much in a game where it's impossible to win. I still don't have a sense for how long this goes or if I'm trying to get to some sort of end point or something. It's just starting to feel like kind of pointless or something. Don't get me wrong, I still kind of have a positive impression of this game. It's 
you know, the graphics are cool, the gameplay is, you know, satisfying, it's got a nice retro appeal. It's just, uh, it's just very kind of pointless feeling, unfortunately. <laughs> wow, we really blasted through that level, didn't we? Yeah, a bit of a bummer. If, if it was just something was added to the game that let me know why I'm doing this, like an intro cutscene and some sort of goal to strive for or something like that, I'd be perfectly fine with this game. It's really cool and neat. Like, uh, in a kind of, like, retro appeal and stuff, but, yeah, at the moment, it's just starting to feel like, okay, this is getting really repetitive, I'm quitting, unfortunately. But for what it's worth, it was fun while it lasted. It was, it was interesting, really professionally, like, done and appealing and, like, you know, very polished and stuff, but, yeah, just, uh, kind of got a little bit repetitive. <laughs> but, uh, for what it was... Well done, well done. Doink. All right, next up is Hyper Jump by, what was that? Edgar. <laughs> Move, jump, don't die. Hey, okay. sounds good to me. <laughs> Proper retro game I got? Oh, what the fuck? No function or function signature mismatch. Oh dear. Please tell me I can play this game. Uh, let's try refreshing. Oh no. <laughs> um, shit, really? What the fuck? Uh, let me try some stuff. Maybe maybe if we like unplug my controller or something like that. I don't know, I'm just trying to think of anything. Refresh. Nope. Uh, okay, let's try... Um, what other options do I have? Maybe like a new incognito like a uh, thingy. Let's try new grounds. Uh, what was it again? I was about to play. Uh, hyper jump. That's right. Hyper jump. Uh, hyper jump. Okay. Oh, interesting. It appears if I play it through uh, an incognito window. Okay. Weird. A little bit of a bummer. It's got metals and stuff. Hang on. If I, uh... If I go back... Refresh... Fuck. Why does it do that? Is it something with my account or something like that? Hang on, let me just take a little... Blah 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 blah... Something something... Huh. Nobody's complaining of the bug in the reviews. Huh. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that, but uh, yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's just we'll just we'll just play it in the incognito window, I guess. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. So, da -da 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 -da. Z, sure. Ooh, already it feels uh, <laughs> you know, for such simple graphics, it feels so juicy. The way the the buttons are lighting up, you know, when I'm using them. The, the great use of uh, squash and stretch and stuff for jumping and the little subtle lean for moving around and stuff. Well done, uh, positive first impression. Uh, let's see. So we got this. Get it? Okay. Oh, geez. Oh, okay, this type of game. Sure, sure, sure. I played a, uh, a couple games like this from, uh, what's his face? Uh, why can I not? Ah, shit! Wait, what? Wait, I thought that was a pellet I was supposed to pick up. Was it like colored differently or something like that? Okay, R to restart, sure. Click log. Uh-huh. Oh, log, as in, I see, we pick that up. And that means, oh, shit, okay. So it's the yellow pellets. So we're picking up, we're actually in the midst of picking up everything. When it says grenade and log and bomb and stuff, those are obstacles that are being added. Uh, those aren't like, you know, usually when you think of when you get like laser, it's like, oh, I got a laser gun? And it's like, no, the game got a laser gun. Okay, I, I get it, I get it. Yeah, it's one of those games you just keep on going. You know, something kind of like a disc room or something like that. It's just a room that just continually gets more and more, whoa, complicated as you keep going. It's intense, I like it, it's fun, the movement feels really smooth and juicy, good variation of obstacles, 
uh, yeah, good, uh, you know, screen shake, nice little effects, a really, really freaking juicy game. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really dope. Uh, I like it. It's fun. It's just simple, awesome, arcade fun. Let me just keep on going. The only thing I'd say it's, ah, really lacking is like, come on, no music or something like that to really get you, you know, in the action, some action-packed music or something. Bit of a, bit of a bummer. But, uh, yeah. Really dope game, not that bad. Uh, I do really wish the, uh, you know, the icons for the bombs would be differentiated a little bit more. It is kind of lame that they're just like, I mean, look at those two things. Which one's the bomb and which one's the pellet? I knew it was the one on the top on closer inspection, but come on, you're gonna lose that in a rapid fire situation. I know, I know, it's like, that's the point. We want you to lose it because that's part of the challenge, but like, I don't know. That just feels like a little bit kind of like bullshit, like part of the challenge, like intentionally being obtuse or something like that. Like, come on, I want to lose in a fair match, not this kind of like stack the deck against me unfairly. Whatever. Maybe that's just me being a salty Sandra or whatever. I just think it would work a little bit better if when the bomb spawns, it looks different than the collectible pellets because already the collectible pellets are kind of like whoa geez. same thing with the grenade and such you know the logs and the lasers do a great job at being you know obviously different <laughs> all right all right anyway i'll stop yapping for a bit i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get into this game have a bunch of fun because uh that's what it is it is quite fun whoop, whoop. oh geez that's the bomb oh son of a bitch Achoo! Fuck! Oh my god, I can't believe I got out of that. <laughs> I was distracted by that sneeze. Woo! That was a close one. Rotating log. That's a bomb over there. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can go for... I want to see if I can get 50 points. That's probably actually going to be pretty rough to get. But we'll see what we do. Come on, 50! Jesus. Huh. No! Oh my god, I got lucky there. That was that was just a Hail Mary panic jumps. Definitely didn't deserve to uh, live from that, but it is what it is. I will keep on going. Splitter, and oh sh I thought that was a friendly pellet. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, that's rough. Again, just feels a little bit unfair. Okay, let's go, let's go. I feel like I've already pretty much like said all I can about the, the game. It's just really fun arcade fun. Uh, some of the obstacles are a little bit unfair. I'd say. Uh, but that's pretty much it. It's really dope, really fun. A little bit, uh, obviously, a bit annoyed that, you know, my high score and achievements aren't going to be there because I can only run this in an incognito window for some reason. I wonder, oh geez, that's a bomb. I wonder why that is. I wonder if it's, uh, I wonder if it's like trying to, ah, fuck, read my account or something like that and it can't. I don't know. <sighs> All right, I'll stop there for now. It's difficult for me to focus and such. But uh, yeah, really fun, arcade fun. Well done, juicy, simple little game. You know, a little bit lacking in some respects, a little bit unfair. I, I really wish it had music and uh, I don't know, maybe some sort of like goal or something to strive for. Like, can you, like just like challenge the audience, like can you get to 50? Can you get to 100 or something like that? There is a high scoreboard and medals though and stuff. So I guess that kind of fulfills it there, I guess. Actually, oh yeah, 45, 50. Oh, I guess maybe it just expects you to go up to uh, 55 or so. Where did we get? I feel like we saw a homing bomb. Were we at, I felt like we were at 40, maybe? Oh no, we were at, <laughs> it says it right there. Literally right there, 35. Okay, yeah, don't pat yourself on the back too hard. You only got to 35, not 40. <laughs> okay, but yeah, cool game. Doink. <laughs> Except for that. <laughs> All right, next up is Run for the Hills. Is something something <laughs> by Plufmont. Kill them. Well. All right, I thought we were running, now we're killing. Okay, let's see what the hell's going on here. Oh, Run for the Hills, your favorite Newgrounds users are coming for you. Made by Plufmont, Liva Ramirez, and Zizo. Zizo. Well, I'm not sure, should <laughs> say. Why do you guys always have to have these words, that could, names that could be pronounced two different ways? Well, whatever. 
right click if playing on computer, left click, tap if playing on tablet, it's landscape, oh, okay, uh, right click. All right, run for the hills. Levi and Benny. And Zizzo in the background, yay. He doesn't get a name tag. He's not important enough. <laughs> okay, uh, right click again. Uh, left click. Oh, okay. Why did it say right click if it... Oh, jeez. What? This... Game done. Andy struck you to death with merch deals. Oh, no, not Andy Land. He did the really fucking cool art for, well, several things. <laughs> Okay, is it just, uh, I guess we hit that, click. Is it just these people, ah, oh, jeez. Fuck you, Acaric, Acaric, is that it, Acaric? Sends you to hell forever, gee, that was a bit of a bummer. It's kind of weird because uh, I, I thought that all of them were gonna start all the way in the back, but it seems like some of them start like straight for the middle so they can kind of get an unfair advantage of you. Okay, I'm guessing the gist of this game is that it's just, it's a very simple, ah, eh, blow them all away or something like that. And in the meantime, just have fun looking at all the various uh, fatalities that happen when you let them through, I suppose. Nokoi cut you to bits and pieces. Damn. <laughs> bonk, bonk. Hey, there were two voices by Corey. <laughs> That's a little bit like... I don't think you should allow, like, you know, clones to be on the screen or something like that. Look, I just finished playing Soma. I got a big problem with clones at the moment. I don't know if I want to... <laughs> Game over. Pop Taffy has gone feral. I don't know if I'm familiar with uh, Pop Taffy. Someone I will undoubtedly need to uh, follow shortly. <laughs> see what we got. Plufan, look. Ah, jeez. See? Damn. <laughs> dead Zizzo. That's it? Just dead. Doesn't even say like he did something. I mean, it's implied that we might have got a little butta 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 butta. Anyway, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can actually like. Maybe I should just. <sighs> Damn. You're fucking dead. <sighs> it's apostrophe R E, but <laughs> the uh, the goofy handwriting and goofy art excuses the uh, poor grammar as intentional. That is fine. It kind of weird. This person, um, I feel like I saw the name briefly, but they don't get a name in the end or something like that. Also, it would be kind of cool if whenever you get killed by someone, it would, one, uh, I wish it was a bit more consistent, it would show their name, and two, it'd be really cool if like you could click on them and then their profile would pop up. You'd be like, I got killed by who? And then you could click and then it'd be like, Oh, he does this and this and this, and then what do you know? You get maybe they'll follow or something like that. Come on, <laughs> get your head in the game. You gotta get these links out. <laughs> anyway, Epic John. I'm not familiar with that. Droid, maybe. Damn. Yeah, again, a little bit of a bummer. He made you die in the horrible events of 9/11. It's like I understand maybe if I was able to, but really, whoever it was. I wasn't able to see their name tag fast enough. It's a bummer the name tag isn't here. It just happened so fast. It's a bit of a shame, cause yeah, this seems like a funny like, I mean, maybe it's not intended for public use. It's probably, you know, just like a personal game for people, you know, in an inclusive type of group, i.e. the uh, Plufmont Discord. Just having fun, damn, really good drawing. But yeah, see, it's weird. This one's a great example, like game over, Levi is eating your flesh. I feel like all of the death scenarios should have followed this type of template, where it shows their name, it definitely should have made it so you can like click on them to go to their profile or something. And then yeah, it's just kind of weird some of the other ones, like the Zizo one was, was funny, I suppose, as a nice little exception, but it still followed the rules where the names and such popped up. But yeah, just straight, ah, oh, damn. Got sussed out by, I was able to capture it this time, some ape. L-O-L. <laughs> Alright, hang on. I think we've already gotten, <laughs> I think I've already delivered all the feedback I can get. This is just a fun little goofy personal game or something like that. It's fine. I I'd say, you know, it is not that great of a game. But obviously it's just intended probably not for mass appeal and criticism it's probably just meant as a personal little project just celebrating having all these great friends in the discord and new grounds and so on and so forth so 
I will avoid being overly critical. Uh, I think I've delivered all the feedback I can get, such as more consistency with the death animations, the, uh, you know, linking out to profiles and stuff like that. That would be great having that. But uh, also I think the game's a little bit unfair. Some people just spawn right on friggin' top of you. It's rough. Oh, Slick, fuck! It's over. Slick Ramen stared you down as you died. All right, all right, all right, hang on. Last go, last go, we'll do this for real, see how big I can get. Mm -hmm. Got a new person? Oh, jeez. Fuck, Psycho Goldfish Noob! <laughs> Damn, they really sneak up on you. All right, all right, <laughs> that's about it I got for this game. Fun little diversion, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> Doink. All right, next up is Soko Chess by Daisy Games, a minimalistic puzzle game about pushing chess pieces. Okay, so I guess it's going to be a fusion of Sokoban and chess. Unfortunately, I'm not really that much of a fan of Sokoban, and I'm really not a fan of chess. So this game is probably going to have to work extra hard to win me over. But actually, there are a lot of Sokoban games which have won me over. So, uh, yeah, take that as this. If I like this, then that probably means it's super good. And if I don't like it, probably just means I'm the wrong intended audience. So you get, like, <laughs> if the developer is watching this, you get, like, a free get-out-of-jail-free card <laughs> from my impression, I suppose. Uh, but, yeah, let's play it. Oh, nice little cute title screen. Interesting, you know, overlay. I like that the buttons react and stuff. Solid first impression. All right, let's just do a... Well, let's check the settings real fast. I will say that it's a little bit weird that just the way it's arranged, like we got this blank spot here. Maybe it's for like continue game or something like that. And it would pop up if I had a save game, but right now it's just blank, but it makes the whole layout look unnecessarily awkward. Whatever. I won't harp on about it that much longer. Audio, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Basic type of stuff. Z and weird. R. Oh, okay. R and Y or Z and B. Space, enter. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Makes sense. Game. Sure, 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 sure. What happens if we click on this type of stuff? Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Language. We'll stick with Englas. Uh, yeah, let's hit it. All right. Press left mouse button to select the rook. It's this sucker, right? Press right mouse button to deselect it. Push the black pawns into their destination. Oh, so this is going to go down and knock into them. Good animation. I was kind of worried that it was going to be that this rook instantly teleports here and the black rook instantly teleports there. But I like there's an animation. I wish it was a little bit smoother. I wish the rook, like, when it got here, it would already be pushing it. It looks like it gets into the space and then there's a little bit of a delay when it pushed like when they kind of overlap and then unoverlap each other like i would prefer it if it was like if this is the rook and this is the pawn if it went like you know like side by side but instead it kind of goes like overlap and then move or something like that it's it's a very minute thing it's not necessary i i just feel like it would be an even more satisfying animation if it had that but it's perfectly fine what it is i'm glad you put an animation in the first place to make it a lot more smoother and stuff like that a lot of games would just do teleportation you know instant transmission movement of the pieces and that's kind of bad because then you don't get to see exactly you know what is happening i suppose anyway Solid work so far. If you make a mistake, press Y or Z or the hot icon to undo. Take back, you could also restart the level. Okay. So, I guess it's like, if we go like bop, bop, then that one moves there, and then this one's kind of stuck without anywhere to go. So we need to be like bop, 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 and then bop. Oh, shit! They fight back. Oh, fuck. That's interesting. So do we need to go bop? Oh, shit, but we can't go bop. Oh, we can. Oh, I thought as a rook... Oh, wait, no, that's not as a rook. Why did I think as a rook that I always needed to travel the full distance or something? It's not like I'm a pillar, like an ice pillar or something like that that keeps sliding. Not sure why I thought that. Hmm. Anyway. 
Okay. Interesting. So they fight back if I'm diagonal to them. <laughs> Curious. <laughs> Didn't realize that, but that's uh, that's cool. Okay, so what happens if I do... If I do this, I'm going to get smoten, right? Wait, shouldn't I be smote because these guys are diagonal to me? I really thought... Uh, oh, now it works. Hang on. What about if I move here? Do they only move downwards? Do they not move upwards? Yeah, that doesn't work. But I can maybe move them again. Yeah, because I'm here and it's diagonal. But they only go diagonal down. I guess because they're black pieces? Is it like the black pieces are always on top of the board, so they're going down? I'm, I'm a little bit confused. I'm not sure. I think that's what's happening. So is it like bop, and then bop, and then... Uh-oh. Have I screwed myself? Oh, wait, no, 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 because I can get on top. Okay, I was about to say, it happened again. I thought I was going to get on top, and it was going to be like, uh-oh, it's diagonal, it's going to kill me. But no, it needs to move downwards. Okay, and now I can just push this thing, and we're fine. Okay, so they can only go down at me. Okay. Huh. Well, this guy, we can't move him up because he'd be stuck. So this guy's future, it has to be going down here. In the meantime, let's see. We can't go down here because we'll get knocked out. So I guess we need to move this one. And again, we can't get around this one because we need to do that, right? Donk. But then, if this guy's here and we try to move up and around this guy, then we're going to die right there like that. So what we need to do is move, give us a little bit of breathing room. Uh, so we can go, uh, up and over here, maybe. I, I think that might be the case, actually. I think, and then we're going to go all the way around, and then we'll move this guy into position, and then we'll move, we'll, we'll take care of that once, once we come to it. Hang on, because I'm pretty sure this person, they got nowhere to go. They need to go there. What matters now is what we do with this person, which I think is, wait. Ordinarily I'd say that, but then, yeah, I think uh, we'll die if we head over here as well. Um, hmm. Have I fucked myself? Maybe I just need to go all the way around again? Uh... Give me a little bit more breathing room over there. Let me go back. <laughs> I'm certainly not doing this uh, level under a turn, a turn limit or anything like that. And then move up, move up. And now we can move over here. Move left, move left. Yep, just needed to shove people a little bit out of the way to give us space, but there we go. Okay, a noble sacrifice. Oh, we pushed the white pawn up. He takes the blow, he's there, and then we're e e easily able to push him. This is just a nice little tutorial level, I guess. Oh, we don't even push the white pawn. We can just control the white pawn. And then there he goes, and then we move up, and then bam. Interesting, a nice little tutorial level. It's got other stuff. Each opposing piece has a capturing priority. A piece with a value of one will capture before a piece with a value of two. Ah, I see, so if I move this here, that one will be the one that goes. This is to help resolve uh, deadlocks, which didn't, which might have come up in the previous one if they were able to go up. There was a couple occasions where deadlocks, but I don't know. Okay, so it's like that one will move there, and then, whoops! Oh, jeez, right. Um, hmm. oh, jeez, he can go both ways. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Am I doing this wrong? Maybe move you first. Uh, then move this. And then move this. And then move... Uh, then move what? <laughs> now I'm stuck. Shit. This is... Hang on. 
This will probably be the last puzzle I'm solving. I just need to maybe move both of these. And then move this. And now we can move this. And then that moves down, hits that. And then we move this to the side. Snap! Yeah! Okay, okay. Uh, I'll probably end it here. Um, all right. Well, I actually am really enjoying myself with this. It's a nice little uh, Sokoban chess type game. It's got nice, chill, like, you know, graphics, smooth animations, nice little, you know, pace. It's slowly introducing more and more mechanics, getting more complex. It's just like fun to move around. There's little sound effects that are nice and satisfying. Yeah, this is a this is a dope game. Well, well done, well done. You know, I don't know if it's like the greatest thing in the world or anything like that, but it's it's a solid Sokoban game. It's a it's a creative, clever concept. Everything's constructed really well and smooth and intuitive. Uh, slowly builds up and stuff. I'm just repeating myself once again. Uh, yeah, you you won me over. You won me over. I thought. You know, it's Sokoban and chess, both things I don't necessarily like, but if a game just presents it well itself, starts out simple and builds up, it's just such an effective hook that, uh, yeah, I'm hooked. I definitely want to come back and uh, play more of this. I can see it's just so Moorish. I could definitely see myself getting hooked into this. So, uh, yeah, good work here. Good work. Not sure if there's anything... I'm not sure if there's anything that... Really, I can say bad against the game or something like that. Only, like, really superficial stuff, like, you know, the stuff about the title screen, like, clean it up a bit or something like that. In fact, I'm kind of curious. Let me hit refresh um, and see if I'm right about that, that continue button. Oh, yeah, and it did pop up. I would maybe make it so that the continue is there, but just, like, grayed out or something like that, so there isn't that awkward leftover space. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, I, I don't really have many other complaints. I can think about it, I guess. You just hit continue, you go back. Oh, I would kind of like it if... Uh, it's a very minor thing again. But I would kind of like it if you hit continue. If it wasn't just... You get there. Like, I don't mind the fast load times, of course. That's very nice. But it would be nice if there was a little bit of a transition. You know, like... A fade to black, then a fade in. Maybe a little uh, square pattern comes in and kind of like wipes the screen and then another square pattern wipes in. You know, like square tile pattern to mimic, you know, the chest or something. Little touches like that would make it seem like even more like professional and smooth and awe-inspiring and stuff like that. Yeah, it, it could it could maybe use a little bit more juice or something. That's, that's the only big thing, but the core is really solid, really cool. Well done. All right. All right, next up is Little Mother by Save Sloth Studios, the primal fear of the unknown. Okay, what do we got here? Is this going to be a horror game? I'm, I'm not really good with this type of stuff. I just got through Soma, and that was a bit of an ordeal to go through, so I don't know. Be careful with my ticker here. <laughs> I'm guessing this is going to be like a little bit of like a nature game or something. It had a little, I'm not sure what it was, like possum on the thumbnail. Maybe like a little nature game. Maybe we're getting like Endling Extinction is Forever or something type gameplay. Who knows? Let's see what we got. After it's done with this inordinately long load time. Now, of course, I will wait for it because, you know, I'm here. I'm committed to the review and stuff like that. You got me. But, uh... If at all possible, try to uh, reduce um, <laughs> it as much as you can. Because uh, I wouldn't blame other people that are coming at this. They would just go, is it broken? Eh, moving on. And then you've lost a potential player. So, uh, yeah, whatever you can do, like, I don't know what it would be like. Compress the sounds. Audio always adds a lot to it. And I see you're already gotten some music. Maybe there's some way you could compress it or something. I don't know. Sometimes it's not even the developer's fault. Sometimes just users have bad computers or browsers just get fucky. So whatever. I won't be too harsh on it and harp on. But uh, yeah. Cute little uh, title screen. I wish it had like a little bit more like 
I don't know, animation to it or something like that, but it's fine. It's lovely little custom graphics, looks kind of like a cute storybook. It is a little bit difficult to read. I really wish the text was highlighted or not highlighted, outlined with maybe black because it's really difficult to read that because it's kind of blending in with the colors or whatever, but I won't harp on about that. Let's play the gameplay. All right, okay. Mouse doesn't do anything, WASD, okay. So we're a little something moving about. Okay, rocks and such, bushes. Uh, graphics are a little wonky there. Clearly the, uh, you know, the my like point that determines whether I like overlap with these graphics, it gets a little bit offset and that makes it look really kind of goofy. Luckily it's almost kind of excusable because of the, uh, the cartoony graphics or something like that kind of help you excuse that type of stuff where it would be really really bad in like let's say like a more professional 3d game or something this bush doesn't seem that bad this bush like it kind of overlaps quite soon it's probably just because it's not as fat as this one where you can really see the legs overlap it's got like a very small like trunk which makes it like whatever Let's not harp on about it. <laughs> it's fine. It could still be. A, there's plenty of like AAA and other games with, with similar type of like graphical problems, but they're still wonderful. What do we got here? Okay. Um, space bar. Oh, space bar worked. Okay. Don't go, little mother. Your sons are already lost. Fuck you. They're not lost. I'm moving on. Probably get shot by some hunter or something. Changing. Maybe to signify the change of seasons. Like, it could be that we're just moving to a different part of the forest, or it could be signifying that we've spent that long in the search that it's already another season. Chestnuts, turn back, turn back, save yourself. Not happening. Weird chestnuts with actual voices. Fuck you. Okay. You know, it's kind of like an artsy game. It's kind of interesting. It's a little little kind of bland it's just kind of like a walking simulator but you know i'm kind of i'm kind of intrigued i'm intrigued to see what's going on everyone don't listen to the nameless one you know i'm intrigued a lot of people are dropping this weird stuff i guess i've lost something i'm marching on all right all right where the hell is this going music's also changing with the uh the season change it looks very cool Mm hmm. -hmm. Alright, talk to the tree. Don't continue there with him now. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Hey. Are you one of mine? Hey. Oh, cool. Okay. They're following me now. Well, fuck those guys who said they're with him and I can't get him back. Fuck you. I already got one back. Let's go for a twofer. Okay, water, sure. Sidestep. Whoop! Hey, frog. They've eaten him. They, they've eaten him alive. Eaten who alive? I'll just punch him in the stomach. If it's my son that's been eaten, I'll just punch whoever ate him in the fucking gut and get him to spit him out. Watch your step. He watches you from the dark. Okay. Ah, whoa. Crossing this bridge. Spooky. You know, maybe I should just send this little guy, like, home or something instead of dragging him along. If he falls through, it'll be really bad on me as a mother. Oh, hey. You want to mine? Oh, dear. Not looking that great. Should I be walking back? You know, I almost want to see what happens if I walk back, but I feel like I need to keep pressing forward. I'm kind of surprised that the game doesn't, like, stop me from walking back or something. It is an option. It allows me to do it. I wonder if actually I can walk back far enough to get all the way to the start. I wonder if it would actually do something with that. Would it, be, would it give me a multiple ending if I actually, like, you know, an alternate ending if I actually walked back now and just got back to the start? Whatever. We'll, we'll keep on pushing on. I'm going to assume that the game doesn't really... Oh, I can't talk to this spider? I'm going to assume that the game... Wouldn't do anything significant if I... Oh, jeez. Hello. You're the fifth one who comes, and you'll be the second to depart. Oh, yeah? Fuck you. 
I'm sorry I keep cursing at these people. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I'm just trying to get in character or something. You know, defiant, ever-walking parent figure. Keep going, keep going. Ooh, another one. Hello. Okay, you can come with me. All right. We got a great big convoy. A hey, roach person. They shelter us, they coddle us. Who? Humans? Damn, music's getting pretty creepy. It's just an eerie thing. A hey, bad person. It'll make you live again. Man, what is this game on about? <laughs> oh boy. I'm just letting these guys catch up. Oh jeez. It's like it's like a very muted, like underwater like music of the original music, I guess. Or the you know, the constant like whatever you call it, the motif or something like that. Alright. We'll just keep pushing on, I guess. Oh! Stopped. Cinematic. Huh. Like a... Like an elephant or something? Maybe not. It's just been stabbed. Oh, jeez. What the hell? What just happened? I can't move. Whoa! Okay. I've been seen by something? So you've come, little mother. I'm glad to finally meet you. Change has come to you. See it laying before you. What do you feel, little mother? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm kind of getting confused by what's going on in this game. I guess I'm supposed to feel, like, angry or betrayed or something. It's like, is he dead or something like that? Am I annoyed? Oh, I see. I needed to hit space bar. <laughs> I, I wasn't aware, actually. Pain, suffering, torment? Feel the change. You know, I, I feel like as cool as this is, I don't feel like the game has uh, fully fleshed out the story and given enough build for this kind of whatever the fuck is going on to work or something like that. It feels like it's kind of like, feels like it's kind of skipped a couple of steps and is like speed running this type of story. And it's, uh, I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know. I can offer you something. Live amongst your sons freely or suffer the change. What? I don't even know what you mean. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll just say live. Okay. All right. Oh boy, did I get fucked. I probably should have picked Suffer, right? Because that's probably the more noble option or something like that. But is that it? I don't know. It just seems kind of... I don't know. It's like... I mean, I could just be fucking dumb and it's like... You know, playing with some themes that should be of it. I guess it's just, okay, I'm some sort of mother. I go out searching for, I guess my sons are missing. And then I find, and then everyone says like, don't go, don't go, don't go. And then I find my sons bit by bit. Some of them are okay, some of them are a bit shaken up. And then I get to the end. And then I'm met by some eyeball guy who speaks in overly wrought metaphor things about change. Like, so, I don't know if it's trying to imply some sort of metaphor about fucking... I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it's yapping about. <laughs> and all of a sudden it's like, do you live or do you suffer or something like that. Like, I don't feel like that type of choice has been, like, built at... I don't know. I don't know. The, the, maybe I just need to play it again to see what happens with the suffer, and I will admit, like, as much as part of me is, like, okay, I think this is just, like, dumb. Someone's just trying to be, like, whoa, spooky, overly wrought themes and stuff, but it's, like, 
it didn't take enough time to really build it up that it just feels like what's that what's that quote from like Yahtzee it's like if if you like uh you know, doing like this like fancy sort of like metaphorical shit is like doing the backstroke. Uh, if you do it before you're immersed, you just end up looking like a twat flapping your arms in the air. <laughs> Something like that. I've kind of built it. And that feels like what's kind of happened here. It's just like, I feel like the author has some sort of intention, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's trying to be clever, maybe it's just like really super vague and you're supposed to figure it out or something. And, you know, I'm a little intrigued to go back and check out The Suffer, but another part of me is like, it's not going to be worth it. Like, this is just like, bleh. This is just like, gah. And it's not going to be worth just going through the incredibly boring gameplay of just walking and walking and walking. So, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it was it was an interesting experience, and it definitely hooked me and wanted to keep going. But uh, I don't feel like the payoff was that great. I, I feel like I was just kind of confused, uh, and not like confused in a oh you just don't understand the richness of the story built. More like confused, like no, it was just written poorly and didn't have a good payoff. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I could be dumb. I could be dumb. Maybe other people have better impressions. Maybe I'll see. All right, enough yapping. I'm talking in circles. Jeez, I'm talking about bad writers when I'm a bad orator. Sorry. <laughs> All right, moving on. All right, next up is All Right on the Night by TMST. Or maybe Timst, perhaps? Dragons descendeth upon thine kingdom. Art thou knightly enough to survive with? <laughs> all right, all right. All right on the night. A little bit... Graphics are a little bit kind of... Like, on one hand, it looks like it's kind of going for like a really old school, like Atari type of look, and I'm down with it. But what kind of makes it look kind of cheap is like the font. The font looks a little bit like too high def to fit with this kind of old school Atari theme. So it just kind of looks like uh, the juxtaposition of like the fancy font on like the, like just makes it looks awkward and kind of unprofessional, but whatever, whatever. It's just a title screen. Let's uh, march on. Okay, so we're a little guy. I can move around with, uh, I could also jump and Am I not focused in the game? Oh, that's really weird. Maybe if I use WASD? Okay, WASD seems to work. For some reason, if I try to use the arrow keys, I end up scrolling the screen. Uh, let's try pushing left. It's over here. In this castle. Respecteth and kowtoweth unto the king and if applicable queen. He obeyeth all the laws of his majesty up and including the laws of alchemical dynamics. There be dragons. Okay. Bless this fortress. <laughs> Liveth, laveth, loveth. All right. Hmm? Oh, this is a little awkward. We we can't jump from this pillar because it's uh it's got a tablet on it. Oh, maybe we can. How was I able to do that? I actually didn't think it was possible. I thought that was going to be like the whole point. What's your business? Oh, are you just uh, a springy board? Okay. Go forth, brave knight, on thy quest of righteousness. May thou find us great treasure. Oh, God damn it. Is it... I'm just trying to fucking jump up. God damn it. Jeez. That's really... Yeah. Make interacting with tablets another button, like down or Z or something, instead of the jump button. Otherwise, you, that's, that's really fucking awkward to do. Oh, Jesus. Now I gotta go back and hope. Okay, I just gotta do a really late... Looks like the game actually has, a uh, Coyote time, I guess? It kind of lets you to, uh, really late time your jump, even after you've already left a platform. That's the only reason we can, uh, get past those tablets. Alright. Yeah, I can do really late jumps because of the Coyote time. Just say, Prithi climbest not upon yon chandelier's knave. Sorry. <laughs> What's down here? 
Oh, jeez. Crumbles away. Oh, what the hell? Is that a bad? Alright. And we have this. Okay. Oh, and it, it comes back. Okay. Kind of pointless. And also weird that that thing stays even though the ground has yawned crumbled beneath. Huh. <laughs> Alright. Well, so far, general impressions. I kind of just feel underwhelmed. Like, it's definitely funny and charming, the tablets and stuff. But like I said, the whole uh, jumping where you need to jump awkwardly just so you can, you know, force yourself not to read it. And also, that felt like a bust. We just went around and really got nothing other than, like, a few jokes. So, whatever, let's press forward. What do we got here? Just a little farther. Oh. What was that? We picked up the treasure chest, but it looked like there was stuff beyond it, but now we've been teleported somewhere. Propathetic words. This quest will be nothing more than a stroll in the park for any night that be sufficiently adroit. Okay. Oh! Wait, really? I thought I was moving as fast as I could. Think, think, think. Uh-huh. That's weird. I don't know how I got hit the first time. Thou art supremely adroit. Oh, thank you. No loitering by order of the princess of the realm. Find one chest full of treasure. <laughs> ah, I tried to jump over to see if we could get something like from that. Okay, so it's like a platformer, but I don't really know. Okay, okay. It's getting a little bit more complex now. We got, you know, jump down, springboard. Okay, fine. Oi, 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 oi. Hmm, well now where? Maybe just to the right? Oh. Prithee, good adventure, stop not to read at the sign, danger lurketh. Yeah, but the chest's right there. Well, it's kind of weird. Again, these levels look like they have more to them, but I, get, I, I think all I need to do is get the treasure chest then goes on. It's kind of weird, too, because... The first level, like, let you go into the castle and, like, read tablets and stuff like that. So I thought it was going to be, like, I don't know, like, an open world adventure or, like, a Metroid game or something like that. But now it seems more like it's level based. So the first level gave me kind of, like, a false impression what the game was going to be. And now it's more like, no, it's just, like, a little challenge platformer or something like that. Linger not upon ashen ground for it be not stable. Sure, sure. Okay, drop down there. Nope. Ugh. Kind of a bit frustrating. That kind of feels like a cheap thing. Like, I can't even look down to see what's below me, so... It's kind of bullshit that I just need to do trial and error to get past that, you know? Um, okay. Doink. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Linger not. Doink. Whoop. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Eh, goeth. Should it be goest? Not to be confused. Whatever the fuck that is. It looks like maybe, uh, whatever text file you put the script in might not have converted correctly over or something. Does all that will remain if thou keep stopping to lollygag? I'm actually really surprised I didn't get killed by that guy. Can I push past this green speckled stuff? Oh, indeed I can. Okay. Hmm. Only the dragon from on high decideth that thou art worthy to pass. It's decided that thou art indeed wordiful. Proceedeth. Okay. So they can hit those switches or something. Fine. Ouch. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Hang on. I just need to jump a little to the right of that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So again, I'm going to sweep by, he'll go up, hit that, and then hopefully it'll be in time so that I can land on that. Oh shit, I guess I fucked up. Yep, yep, just needed to keep my uh, pace up. It is kind of weird because it seems like <laughs> the game, you can kind of just get past things by just holding, holding the direction. You know, you don't even need to like stop and go or something like that. As long as you just keep your momentum, it kind of solves itself. Yeah, like that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just holding right. Hang on. If I just hold right here.
All I had to do was just hold right there. It is kind of weird, because a lot of the levels have been built like that as well. Like, is this... Is this supposed to be like one of those Super Mario Maker auto... Auto, like, you know, conveyor belt levels or something, where you don't even touch the controller and it just does everything? Let, let's try again. I'll just hold right. Oh my god, it's actually working. Wait, is that maybe like the secret of the game that you need to like figure out or something? That like, cause it is called All Right on the Night. So is that, oh my God, It. I think it seriously is. Just as long as you're holding down right, everything just automatically gets solved. Uh, but then, uh, what's the point of the gameplay except for, you know, Obviously, like, uh, duh, duh. I mean, I guess you can go off the beaten path, like, to read this, perhaps. Death be thine ally. Right, I guess I gotta kill myself. But again, so that's really weird. I just told right. Oh, my goodness. We actually had something where holding right didn't turn out to solve. Oh, wait, maybe it actually did because I got killed and then I respawned and still that's part of the holding right. Oh, interesting. I got hit there. Let me continue holding right. Up, oh, but still holding right works because I died and now it's perfectly fine. This is so weird. I, the lever of this mission, have bravely and valiantly wandered through these, conquering many knave and slaying many a dragon. And foundeth all my strategies, all my skills that have serviced me reliably thus far. I giveth up. This quest be impossible. Oh, is this supposed to be like, the the solution is just to fucking go left, but so far the game has just been about holding down the right button to go right? Okay. The path of right be now the errand of a fool. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, now it's, now it's playing with its themes or something to be like, haha, it's like going right. Actually, ain't the right thing to do now, this time. Huh. What do I do now? Oh. Whoa. Just keep holding right. <laughs> Smiley face. And oh my god. T'was possible after all. Okay. What a weird... I I'm not sure what to, like think about it because it's like it's like there's no challenge in the game because you just hold right and everything kind of just solves itself but on another hand it is kind of funny to watch the system work and solve itself and it's also like uh, and it also kind of plays into it with that funny like goofy little you know, ending where it's like, oh no, I cannot go left or something. I just don't... I don't know. This is a really weird one. I, I kind of would prefer if it actually was a challenging game and you actually need need to puzzle it out instead of holding... I, I don't know what to think. It's like... I think at the end of the day what this is, is it's like... It's a bad game because I kind of would have preferred a challenging kind of platformer where I need to think and stuff like that. But it is a funny adventure and experience. So it wasn't what I wanted it to be, but it nevertheless was funny and amusing and interesting to kind of experience and it definitely plays around with it. So, hmm, quite a puzzling quest to decipher mind feelings on yon game. <laughs> I will just say, yeah, like I said, it's not what I wanted, and I wouldn't necessarily say it's a good game, but it's it's funny and tells an interesting tale, and it is kind of funny to watch it all go, so yeah, what a what an odd duck. <laughs> 
like something that wouldn't be in the top 10, but part of me wants to really give this like an honorable mention. That's kind of my feel on this, the weird tale that this game tells. All right, moving on. All right, next up is Jimmy Blitz and the Rock Something by The Good Owl. We're pulling the biggest casino heist in history with rocket-powered dice. All right, looks like we got another GMTK jam entry. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Jimmy Blitz, 3D and 2D art by The Good Isle, music by Mighty Musso, program by Melon, Samuel Jennings. Jimmy Blitz and the pocket dice, rocket dice, sorry. Start gambling, options, quit. Okay. Saw a little first impression. It's not the greatest impression. It looks kind of unprofessional how the title graphic is bleeding off the edge there. If you just, <laughs> it's fascinating, isn't it? If you just moved it down a few pixels, that would be the difference between your game looking very professionally done and very unprofessionally done. Just those little pixels or something like that. A paper thin margin. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's actually play the game. Da, 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 da. Sure, sure. Oh god, look at that terrible default button. You did so well with these buttons over there. And then, I don't even mind the sliders that much, the default font you go in over there, but that button right there, bleh, looks so bad, but whatever. It's a game jam game, let's not harp on. Let's play the goddamn game. Start gambling. Alright boss, we're it. Those dice of yours are gonna make us a lot of money. Lord of money. Oh. Obvious, though. We gotta keep it frosty, boss. All right, let's rig some dice. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so is it gonna be like, yeah, a four or higher? Okay, I like the idea. And then, yeah, it's gonna be like, oop. Oh. Oop. Uh, hang on, hang on. Okay. Five. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. I get it. It's funny. Roll a perfect six. Space bar. Oh, is that going to be like slow mo or something? Nice. <laughs> I like it. Goofy little funny music and stuff like that. Oh, change which one you're fixing with left and right mount button. Better than nine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a fun little concept. Fun little, uh, you know, physics-based gameplay. Good, good idea. All that. Oop. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh. Wait, hang on. <laughs> it does seem a little bit too easy to avoid suspicion, but we'll see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I love the little musical stings. So nice. It says corner to win, a little typo there. Okay, sure. Whoa, jeez. Ugh. Okay, I did almost blow it there with uh, the sus, I suppose. Okay, it's going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought, but I should have just used my slow-mo to immediately see that uh, the second dice. This is fun. It feels like it would be get really fun to get uh, slick at this. Each dice in a separate circle. Make sure not to let the dice sit for too long. Okay. Oops, hang on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Got it, right? Okay, good. I got a little bit confused because I was hitting the mouse to keep switching, but I guess it stopped me being allowed to switch when I checked the other mice. Also, I wasn't sure, like, maybe, like, the mouse should just, like, because I was like, wait, which one is assigned to the right click and which one is assigned to the left click? It got a little bit confusing there, but it's still good. 
I love the music and the voiceovers. They really add so much charm to this game. It's nice. Get a 10 or higher with a faulty dice mixed in. Ooh, I bet what I need to do is... So it's like, I can only control one of the dice, but maybe I can get our dice to bonk into the other dice to roll it. Or maybe I'll just get lucky and the other dice will roll a six or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Hang on. Uh-oh. 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 No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> that could have been real bad. <laughs> I can't believe people don't find this suspicious. Game's probably a little bit too forgiving, but it's, it's perfectly fine. It's probably better than it's forgiving because it's very amusing. Land in a circle and match the dice face with the number inside. Jeez. Roll this dice. Is it just one or what? Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, yeah. Ah, jeez. Sometimes the rockets are a little bit, like, different than I thought. Like, when I was rolling there and I, like tapped backwards all of a sudden it blasted backwards or something like insta flip and i was like shouldn't it just adjust it a bit I, but i think what's happening is actually one of these dice face I, I think what i was assuming is that whenever i hit the rockets it will it, it'll like roll always relative in my favor but i think actually what happened there was that the rocket was actually glued to a specific face so i actually need to account for that but i can't tell which face it's on? I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. I could be wrong though, just rockets are coming out. It's just... I don't know. Alright, so we're in the circle. That wasn't that hard. That kind of felt like... I feel like the levels, like, they were doing a good pace of, like, increased difficulty, and now it's kind of gotten a little bit wonky. It's it's still fun, though, because these are nice variety levels, but it just feels like, I don't know, we kind of lost the elegant thread or something. <laughs> okay, so now it's getting back to it. It was just having, and now for something completely different, and now we're back to business, okay. Less than nine between these three dice. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Uh, oh no, that one's already been uh, set, is it? Is that what's happening? Okay, so if I leave them uh, rolling for... Jeez, you'd think they would get suspicious. Was that less than nine? Okay, good. So yeah, that was my bad. I let those things rest too long, but it was just getting tough. And I wasn't sure what the mice... Jeez. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. What are you doing? We're gonna get thrown out of here. <laughs> Land a six. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's what you just said. <laughs> a little bit of a repeat or something. Okay, yeah. Uh, I like that a lot. Really funny, goofy game. Like I said, the, the levels were a little bit wacky in, in terms of order, but it, it was still perfectly fine. It told a funny story. I kind of even retract that complaint I had. Uh, rolling the dice was really funny. The game was just so bloody charming. I love the little musical stings and the little quips uh, from the dude over the radio and stuff. Uh, I love the way it was shaking things up. Man, uh, the only real complaint I have about the game is that I, w I wish there was even more levels. I wish it kept like amping it up and doing all sorts of crazy stuff because it just felt like you know, at that last level right there, I was just like, oh, it's going three, but I kind of like fucked it up and then I needed to scramble to fix it. I, I was craving, I was like, on the next level, now I'm getting even better with this dice, I'll bet I'll be do it perfectly or something like that. You know, like, ah, I wanted to show off and get better with this game, but it's already over, damn. Ah, man. I, I really hope you, uh, maybe keep going with this game, like, uh, Maybe revamp it into a final version or something. It's totally fine, though, if you just want to consider this done and dusted. But 
I thought this was really great. This is really fun, goofy, uh, all around really solid, really impressive game jam type game. Well done, well done. Doink. All right, next up is Torato Tamer by AP Love Studio. Fight or flirt? Oh, is this kind of like <laughs> Undertale's like cousin or something like that? All right, Torato Tamer. Ugh, press space to begin. All right. Disclaimer, features violence, sexually suggestive dialogue, and mature themes. Please continue at your own discretion. We're all adults here. I'm perfectly Let's see. Doink. Select a vessel, huh? Uh, well, maybe I'm supposed to pick a dude or something like that. But let's go with, you know, usually nowadays when I play a game... I just model myself like default or whatever the cover is supposed to be or something like that. You know, yeah, I'm that dude that just goes with basic ass, boring, buzz cut. Uh, what's his name? Commander Shepard. <laughs> so I'll go with the lady. Rawr. Oh, space. Ah, oh no, a monster. Submit to the wrath of the Scarlet Moon. No, I'll never submit. Your blood will be... Ow! Jeez, what is... <laughs> For some reason, the, the sounds of the fonts, they really kind of like drill into my ears. The sound of the font. The sound of the, the typing out... Like, for some reason, it seems to, like, crescendo and start drilling into my ears for some reason. It's not the worst thing in the world. I'm getting used to it. It's just... It's kind of weird. <laughs> All right. Not my young, fresh blood. I need that in my body. Oh, yuck, yuck. Prepare to die. Ow! Seriously, that is kind of starting to hurt. <laughs> Being ravaged. Uh-huh. I guess I can't do anything about it. What a shame. What? What's Stephanie Bonewolf, okay. Huh. Seduce or attack? WS, choose option, space, select, you'll figure the rest out. I can't even do anything else. I'll just try seduce then, I guess. Roll a dice. Five. Okay. Block or dodge? Uh, so I seduced him. I rolled a five. Does that mean five translate to 10% for everything? Block or dodge? I don't know. What happens if I block? Three. I'm not sure what, what happened there. Like, I rolled a three. He rolled a one. I almost thought it's like, oh... So I rolled a three, that probably cancels out his attack, but he still hit me for one. It, that, I don't, mm. Let's seduce him again, sure. Two, three. 67%. Oh, right, when I seduced him last time, I didn't roll a five, it was hit, he rolled a dice and, cause they can, I'm not sure. Uh, all right, what happens if I dodge? Okay. Seduce. Four. Alright. Block. Okay, so six. I'm not sure what blocking is doing. M maybe I can only block so much damage I can reduce it to one? Not sure. It'd be helpful if maybe, like, when the dice came up, if, like, the dice would then be, like, I don't know, like... Ding! Like, like, tell me some sort of significance of what the dice is. I don't know if it's like math, where it's like he rolled a three and I rolled a five. Like, does that mean, oh, I rolled a higher number, so I cancel him out? Or does it mean, oh, okay, I rolled a five and he rolled a three, five minus three, that means he does two damage or something. Or it means like, oh, he rolled a three, I rolled a five, that means three minus five, negative two, round to zero, or... I don't know. I'd love a little bit more details. Okay, I rolled a two, you rolled a three. I wasn't expecting it to do that much damage, but then again, I don't know what I rolled a two and he rolled a three. You'd almost think that, uh, whatever, what are you doing? 
You, I'd love if you told me. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> what a shame. I've got something you can eat. Let's just, uh, let's not be crass. Let's just uh, tease him a little bit. Whatever, I'm out of here. Okay, body count zero. Alright. Well, well, what do we have here? Okay. Lust heal. <laughs> and I still can only seduce. Okay, fine. Two and a four. Okay, 17%. Again, I really wish I knew what... Let's try dodge again. Okay, I rolled a four and they rolled a three. Okay. Was that like I rolled higher so I dodged or something? Maybe? Two and a five. All right. Because I, I feel like what it should be is that, like, if blood... Like, I'm going to assume, like, let's say, like, dodge is, like, you need to roll higher for it to, the dodge to work. Otherwise, you'll take full damage. In that case, like, if that was, and, like, block, if block is, like, it does, like, some math to, like, you know, you subtract from their damage with your dice roll. Then that kind of make might make sense where it's, like, oh, I shouldn't use dodge here because there's no percent chance of dodging this unless, like, I roll, like, a perfect six. But that's so low, I should probably go for a block hoping I get just reducing the damage a bit or something. Well, let's see if I'm right about that. Oh, I rolled a six, but I'm still going to take one damage. Well, shit, that means maybe I should have dodged because I would have... Unless dodge means I need to get a higher roll instead of just an equal roll, I, I don't fucking know. Okay. And I don't know how to seduce works, I don't know. So maybe I should try dodge, you know, because there's a high chance I'll roll higher. And I guess that means a dodge. Again, I really wish this was explained. Seduce. I'm not even meaning, like, that the game needs, like, a how to play. It could just, like, say, like, you know, once the dice come up, it could be, like, show the math or something like that. Or it could say, like, uh, you know, not higher than enemy dice. Like, it could just flash that really fast. Dodge failed or something. I don't know. Uh, so it's a three. Let's try block real fast. Okay. So we equaled it, but we're still going to take one damage, I guess. Roll a seduce. Guessing that doesn't do that much damage because we rolled a three, they rolled a big number or something. Let's try block again. Four. So we still take one. Uh huh. One and two. Alright. You've been seduced. Those are looking pretty heavy. <laughs> Mind if I hold them for you? Flirting with me? That's my roll. Too bad. If you're going on hit to hit on me, at least come up with a better pick me line than that, right? Did it hurt when you fell in heaven? Body is seventy percent water, and I'm thirsty. Jeez, do you have room for an extra tongue in your mouth? Jeez. <laughs> Fine, we'll go with this one just because themed around it. Boo, bath. <laughs> All right. Oh, but we still moved on. If we actually gave a better line there, would there have been like an alternate ending? Would something have happened? I don't really know. No way, mortal human. You'll be removed. Stephanie the Void. Wait, have they all been named Stephanie so far? <laughs> Seduce. Okay. It seems like 17%. That number seems to be coming up a lot. Is that like the minimal we can do or something? Let's try dodging. So we, we dodged, right? Okay. It's just a bummer because I'm never 100% sure if I understand the rules. I think I do, and they seem to be working out. Okay, does equal numbers? Wait, I got hit for three damage. But why three? He only had a two. Maybe it's like an extra penalty because of another extra hit point because 
I, I chose to go for a dodge instead of a block or something, and uh, the failure adds an extra punishment. I don't know. All right. So blocking. Go to five, so we should just get hit for one, I guess. All right. So, dodge. Hopefully we don't get a one. Okay. Uh-huh. So, dodge again. Okay, so we should dodge it, right? And now this should finish him off. Stop squirming. Mm-hmm. Sure, why don't you put those tentacles to use? <laughs> oh, body count. We go, oh, we, we have someone on our team now? Weird. Superior magic. Oh, okay. Oh, so now we can seduce or attack. What's attacking do? Oh, so we send out our person. So maybe that might make things easier. So what happens if I dodge this? So I'm gonna get hit for like the full, yeah, I'm gonna get destroyed, right? And now I can only seduce, unfortunately. Yeah, 17 is definitely the minimum, I suppose. Let's try dodging this. Nope, we're toast. <laughs> okay, it was about 10 minutes, so I figured I needed to uh, stop there for now. Okay, uh, cool game, I guess. If I start, do I need to start all the way back at the beginning now if I uh, do that? Okay, well, it'll be interesting to see what the other uh, examples provide or something. Oh, okay, I totally forgot it had Tamer in the name. I figured I just needed to keep going, but I guess if I kept answering correct responses, I would have gotten them on my team and then more options for combat. Although I kind of like doing it solo the whole way. I don't know if the whole having a partner is that necessary, but whatever, whatever. Uh, interesting game. Like I said, my biggest complaint is that it doesn't explain the systems well enough. I know it does that whole cheeky, like, you'll figure it out. And I think I did, but I really didn't like the kind of confusion and experimentation I needed to do. Like, I was actually like willingly putting myself into danger, picking like bad choices, just so I could scientifically examine like the results to try to figure out. I shouldn't need to do that level of homework for this game. It should be self-explanatory, intuitive, with pop-ups and like animations and like readouts and stuff like that, or something. <laughs> I mean, I figured it out, but I was doing a lot of legwork there. I don't feel like that was necessary. But, uh, it's a charming, weird game. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to coming back and replaying this and seeing how much farther I can get. So, uh, well done in that respect. You know, I'm kind of curious. Let me try going down to, uh, got down here, turn-based. No, it doesn't seem to be saying anything uh, specifically. Okay, never mind. I will say for G GMTK, it is a little bit weird in that, like, part of me is like, okay, it's using dice, so I guess it works, but I'd say it probably doesn't use the dice roll as the strongest. I mean, it's like, you could make this game, and it's like, dice don't feel like central to its theme, you know? So, I, so I'd like, even though I'd say it's like a good game, I would say it's using the theme of, you know, roll of the dice very, very weakly. I mean, it, it's just RPG combat. It's just RPG combat and just showing graphic of a dice. It's like, it's very, very weak. It's like just enough to get accepted to the jam, but I feel like it should be doing something more important with it or something, but eh, I'm probably being way too fuddy-duddy about it. Still. Solid game. Doink. All right, next up is Oddwood by Froggrammer. 
a chaotic arcade game with inscription vibes for GMTK 2022. Ah, this is actually a bit of a bummer because uh, I hope there's not kind of spoiler type stuff. I have inscription, but... I haven't been able to play it yet. I've been saving it for like a really, really good like you know weekend or something to power through it. Ah oh, man, I, I really hope I, I get the general gist. I, I'm seeing the thing where it's like the the creepy guy and maybe like a dice game instead of a card game or something. All right, enough of me yapping. Let's just let's just play. Just saying. Uh, I hope there's not spoilers. Also, I haven't played Inscription, so I won't necessarily be. Uh, um. Uh. I won't be using, like, the nostalgia or references, just something influenced my opinion. So actually, that's kind of good. I'll be coming at this totally blind. Let's see if it works out. Oddwood. All right, really good uh, title screen so far. Made for blah, programming art, art, music, SFX, kick, anywhere. Okay, that kind of <laughs> good first impression, and then the typo kind of made it dip down. Okay, don't be dramatic. It didn't make the impression dip down that much, but still, it does make me a little, like, come on. Player movement happens automatically. Oh, your next action is a roll of the dice. Click to play your action and roll again. Timing is everything. So my character moves about and then a dice roll happens and we got an action. So it's kind of almost like an endless runner or something. All we can do is action and jump. Okay, let's, get, let's give it a whirl. So yeah, I'm moving around like a ping pong ball. But we got a gun. How do we aim? Oh, the arrow is not our aim. It's, uh, this... That thing. Okay. Huh. Yeah, not bad. Oh, and now the arrow is an aim. Okay, a little bit confusing. Bam. Okay, cool. It's certainly, uh, pretty neat. A little bit confusing at first. What does this one mean? Oh, and this one's like a shotgun, so it's like a cone. Ah, I should have fired earlier. Damn. Bam. All right. And now I can, like, dash. I probably sh All right. And that's, like, reload, so that's, like, a spread around me. Is it just a pushback? And what's this? Hmm. I'm not sure what that was. Oh! Did I die? Uh, was that good or was that bad? Did I die? I, I dashed into something, but I wasn't sure if that was going to count as an attack or something, or whether my shield would help. Oh, I was really hoping when I hovered over them, they would tell me what they were doing. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. This could mean, like, a different dice. This could mean an extra dice or something. I, I don't know what muscle up. Is that, like, health up? Damage up? I, I don't know. Uh, let's try the dice to see what happens. Blast, range blast, and reload. I don't know, just range blast? I don't quite get it. I mean, we've got range blast now. All right, now we've got reload. Blast. Oh, I got a twofer there. Shield. I'm not quite sure if I understand the shield thing. Do I just hover over myself and then I get a shield cast upon yon self? Alright, and now we got sprint. I guess I can sprint to pick that up. Oh, I thought I almost got a twofer there. Okay. Oh, geez. Well, that sucks. Wasn't really able to get out of that type of situation. Okay. Gotcha. Dash. So does that hurt them? I think it does. No. Shield, I guess. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. Oh, I think I got like a three for right there. Was that me? Again, I thought I died instead of... Okay, let's try the muscle now. What's the muscle do? Oh, okay. Is there any way I can like right click to like go back? Ah, uh, that's a bit of a bummer. It would be nice if maybe... I get it now, it's like we have two different types of rewards. Dice rewards, which I don't really understand how it works. Is it just like, you pick that one dice? Like, that seems kind of like... Really? Like, I, I don't know. Or, or maybe it's like loading the dice more in that favor or something? I don't know what the dice power up. These I understand, it's like passive things, bigger bullets and stuff. Like, you know, this is obvious. Add ammo, we're gonna have more chambers. I'll just go with like bigger bullets or something, I guess. And here we go. Bam. Oh, those are bigger bullets. Does the reload mechanic do damage? Uh, I'm not quite sure if it's just a knockback or whether it does damage. It's kind of just like so chaotic. I could barely pay attention to all of it. Ah, oh, jeez. Needed to put the shield over myself. Ah, I fucked myself. All right, push back. 
Uh huh. Shield myself, I guess. Dash over there to get that. Okay, blast. I really wish everything would die in uh, one hit. It's kind of frustrating that I'm just like, I feel like I'm just bouncing them around and they're not just bloody ass dying, you know? Let's, uh, let's go for the passive upgrades again. Um, yeah, just bigger bullets. Let's, even bigger. Let's, all right, got the blast. Uh-huh. Music's good as well, I like it. This very cool. Almost got him. Alright, alright, alright. Dash into him. Dash into him again. Get those guys up there. Oh, shield myself. Reload, push him back, shield myself again. Uh, go! Get those bats. Uh-huh. Get that. Fuck you. Hit that guy. Alright, alright, alright. And then... BAM! That was a good combo. You know, I can't really tell, like... I I'm surprised I have 4 HP. Like, I'm really getting kind of confused. Like, I'm having fun, but I I've completely taken out, like, me being, like, damaged in the equation. It it's too difficult to keep track of it. I feel like I should already be dead. I feel like I've been getting hit tons of times, and yet I'm not dead yet. I don't know how. I, I must be somehow replenishing more health and stuff. Oh, right. I totally forgot I had a jump button. I forgot about that. I, I like actually glanced down right here at this little description and I saw that I did a jump. I was like, huh, how do you do that movement? I totally forgot I had a jump. I thought it was all just uh, the dice. The, there's so much importance about the dice. I forgot about jumping. Maybe jumping that could help me uh, avoid stuff more. Cause I felt it was just like, I, I felt like what was happening was that I just needed to move fast enough and make quick decisions uh, in order to avoid damage. Not that I had, like, a jump button or something like that to help avoid it. Well, now that I have a jump, I'll try to put that into my play. I'm still not sure what this dice does. It's like, okay, am I just gonna get a shield right now? Oh, I, I didn't even get a shield. Huh. I really don't know what it, uh, what it does then. So now I can do something like, oh, jumping allows you to go any direction you want. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, jeez, I'm really dying here. That's kind of funny. I, I've been totally playing this. I totally forgot about that whole aspect. I, I don't know whether... I almost... I, I wonder if it like it better or not. Oh, really? It still says kick anywhere instead of click anywhere? Like... I, I was forgiving you for the title screen, because I said, okay, they only forgot it one place. But why is it consistently an issue or something like that? Is it intentional? Anyway. Roll again. Uh-huh. So now I got the jump. You know, I don't know if I like the jump. I almost like having that... Oh, jeez, what the hell? We're getting these guys already? Doesn't that feel like way too early? Like, previously they only showed up after we got, like... You know, a good amount of, like, stuff done, you know? Okay, now we'll do second playthrough this time. We'll try using more of the jump attack. Hmm. Well, this definitely is a, uh, a lot better. You know, it's kind of weird. Like, uh, there's so much... That, that noise right there, the... Like, I feel like that kind of effect, that noise and that screen shake... It, it almost makes me think I've been, like, damaged. <laughs> like, I almost don't like it. In, in the chaos, I think that's what was happening to me when I was playing. I heard that, and, and I was like, ah, shit, I got hit. That's probably why I felt like I was being hit constantly, because I don't really think the dice rolling and then the dice coming up needs that. Like, you already know based on the symbols or something. I don't mind one, but... Maybe not screen shake. Maybe it should just play the sound. And it should be like a different sound, just like dice, like, like, you know, them rattling or something like that instead of that. Because that sounds like damage. I don't, I don't know. I still don't know what this does. I'm, I'm just going to focus on this. All right, all right. Bang. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, reload. Dash into him. Uh-huh. Okay, well definitely this works out a lot better now that we have the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the, the jump. 
the jump. Because now it actually feels like you can be kind of in control of how everything goes. Whereas before I thought it was just up to the luck of the dice. Which I was, I was fine with. It was just like, I thought that was it. You just kind of need to make the most out of your situation as you ping pong ball around. Like, do you save up like your dice roll? in order to make like an effective play or do you just shoot a lot of it out immediately so you can get a better dice like quickly or something i don't know without the jump button that strategy got a little bit more but obviously the feeling of it being all up to random chance i i, th I think i do prefer it with the uh the jump button it's just food for thought i, I wonder if the developer had those uh types of thoughts when they were making the game where it's like all right do we Maybe, maybe like initial testing or something in the game jam. They were like getting complaints and testing was just like, ah, it just feels like you can't, you know, do anything. It's like, we probably should put some sort of like player roll or dodge or something in there to help them out. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. I still can't tell. I think reloading is still just a, I think it's still just a pushback. Again, I'm kind of surprised. Even though I'm dodging, I still feel like I'm getting hit a lot or something. Again, that might just be the pseudo that there's so much screen shake, it's hard to determine whether it's a screen shake of getting hurt or a screen shake of blah. Anyway, I'll pass on, uh, I'll, I'll stop for now. I think I've already kind of delivered all the feedback I need. Uh, this is a really dope game. I really like it. Cool concept, great graphics and uh, visuals and effects and stuff like that. It's a real juicy game. It's a real interesting concept. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's super dope. I like it. Like I said, the only problem is that maybe the special effects can be a little bit overbearing. Like, there's just so much shake and so much stuff for every little thing. I would prefer if, like, there was more consistency, like only use the shake for when you're taking damage or something like that. I don't know. And, uh... Yeah, also, maybe somehow, like, uh, I wonder if a lot of people would be like me where they don't realize there's a jump button just because the game puts so much focus on the dice and the ping pong ball that kind of naturally leads you to think that you can't do something like that. I don't know. It's food for thought. But anyway, yeah, uh, overall, real positive on this. I think this is really cool. I I'm surprised to see so many cool, like, uh, GMTK games. I, I really thought, like, uh... Gimiko was going to be the only like one I really liked, but this and uh, the rocket propelled dice and Gimiko, god damn, you guys are super impressive at these game jams. And there's probably even more coming up next. Well done. Doink. All right, next up is Glassware by True Narwak, a fast-paced rogue like where you break everything in one hit, but so do your foes. Oh. Okay, where you break everything in one hit, but so do your foes. All right, all right. Let's see what we got. Okay, so WASD and mouse click. Ah, <laughs> a good little, uh, maybe, uh, it's obviously, uh, they don't have a patent on it or something like that, but it very much reminds me of a, uh, a stuffed wombat game where they kind of uh, have you hit all of the buttons in a rather juicy spectacle to make you learn the controls. <laughs> Funny. Okay, whoa, jeez. That was fa- I'm actually, I'm actually really surprised I got hit there. I felt like there was actually still a good amount of distance between us. I wonder if this is a case where like, uh, it's just like a bounding box around my character, so actually there's a considerable... I don't know, let me let me try that again. Get hit. Okay, maybe it's not that bad. Uh, sometimes I like it when like a character, even if their bounding box is quite large, like the hit area should just be like, you know, more, more inside them, like at their core. You know, kind of like in a bullet hell type thing, you see where bullets can fly past like your character but it's only when they hit like dead center do they count all right, all right whatever let's uh let's play the game okay so all right we're like this we can jump we've got oh, okay so we got an attack oh so it's breaking flows bleh, breaking bows throws an explosive pow and this protect your extra high it's kind of weird I, I would expect to hover over them not walk over to them but yeah Protect your extra high jump with a lily pad, but you're pretty slow in the air. What does that mean? I don't know if I understand. Alright, ouch! Oh, 
well, that was fucking bullshit. I, I mean, I just spawned and I didn't get to do anything. It, it just like spawned me right on top of an enemy. How the fuck was I supposed to react? All right, whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Break break foes or you will fall on vanquishing a foe. Hitting it gives you a boost. Swing a heavy baseball bat that reflects projectiles. Sure, we'll try that. Okay. Oh, Jesus. All right, all right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What's this? Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, interesting that the first level, like, gives you a power-up so fast, but now all of a sudden... Uh, why am I not... Hang on. Shoot again. Do it. Ah, I really wanted to reflect at him. Do it again. Yeah! That's... Something about what was happening here with... It's like... I was trying to do, like, something, but my jump, like, my jump wasn't going out, or something like that. Maybe it was due to the so- <laughs> God damn it. Uh... Yeah, 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 please let me skip this. Like, it, it's very juicy and nice, but please let me clip, click just to have it psh, go to this part instantly where the receipt is already out. Don't make me wait. I want to keep playing. Alright, kick him, kick him, sure. Press down. <laughs> it's really weird that I need to walk over to see what they are instead of just press down midair to slam down. Okay, hold left and right to charge an uncontrollable thrust. I'm not doing that. Let's just try the slam down. Sure. Uh. Ah, there we go. Okay. I happened again. I, I jumped up and I was trying to like then jump again, like right here, but. I don't know what was happening, it was like, eating my input. There's something kind of wonky about the controls, I don't know what's going on. I, fuck! <laughs> kind of silly that the power-up still came even though I was dead. Oh, is that what it is? I click hurry up? Okay. You'd think I would just click on the screen to just hurry it up. Grow tentacles, they'll attack anything near you, sticky cups might pull you around though. Throw beach balls every other attack. They'll bounce you too. All these power-ups sound fucking terrible. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa, jeez. God damn it. I really hate how, like, freaking. Okay, so do I click that hurry up to hurry it up or something? Feels really weird that it's so hidden or something like that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the text is looping over each other. Okay, let's try the pin, I guess. So now I'm supposed to hit the pin? Okay, whatever. Whoop. Eh. Oh. Ah, son of a bit. Fuck! <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get used to these controls. Okay, so definitely when I click the hurry up button, that's fucking hidden for some reason. But like, why was it? Uh, whatever. whatever. I protect you with a lily pad. What? I hit him! Ah, come on. Yeah, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Why when I click hurry up, does it not just... Just come out already. Just skip to it immediately. Swing a heavy baseball bat. Yeah, let's go with the baseball bat. This is like the only, like, good power-up. Every, every one of the other ones, like, unintentionally, like, makes things, like, harder. But then, like, the baseball bat is just like, yeah, it's just... It reflects projectile bat. It's like, no real downside. <laughs> Replace your jump with flight, but it only lasts a little each stage. Huh. Okay. Really? It's just gonna loop levels like that? Have we really already, like, seen, like, all the levels that the game has to offer? <laughs> okay, sure. Grow tentacles. Ah, son of a fucking bitch! <laughs> we got lucky because we had tentacles. Uh-huh. All right. I, Jesus. Yeah, the limited flight kind of screws me over when I'm... Ah, fuck. I'm trying to go for... Wait. <laughs> Am I still flapping even though I'm dead? I don't know. Let, like, I kind of want to... Oh, wait, what is this? Credits. Oh, okay, gotcha. Can I hit the balloons? Hey, nice touch. I like that. 
Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, skip. Skip, please. Uh, I just wanted to take a peek. Skip. <laughs> Alright, fine, if you're gonna fucking be like that. <laughs> like, like, I get it, but... <laughs> uh, I did ask for it, I suppose, but still. Uh-huh. Hang on, let me just die real fast. It's a wonk. <laughs> yeah, 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 hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. What's the catalog? Oh. <laughs> Interesting. I thought maybe it was actually some sort of, like, that you can look all the power-ups, or maybe you can buy, like, upgrades or something like that. But it's just a, uh... <laughs> it's pretty funny. I like it. Oh, it is. So it lets you... It's like a little, like, uh... It's like the... You know, like, it's like an old-school instruction booklet, done in kind of like a catalog. It tells you how the enemies work and stuff like that. Huh. Not too shabby. <laughs> Weird. Wonkiness. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I've seen enough of the game for now. I feel like I've spent about time. It's a little, like... When it gets going, it can be kind of fun. Like, you know, it's just like, huh, here's the next map. Oh, think fast. Like, bam, bam, bam. Next map. Oh, think fast. Bam, bam, bam. And when it is like that, it does work quite well. When it keeps up the flow and you're going, it, it gets crazy and you're just like trying to react really fast. That is kind of cool. But one, the, uh, the controls feel really wonky. Like I was having like jumps like not come out when I swear I was hitting the jump button. Getting used to the kind of weird, like, uh, you can only, like, air dash once, or... Uh, wait, actually, maybe you can, like... I don't know, like, inconsistent, like, air dashing. Like, I would expect... Okay, so I've used my air dash, and yet it still allows me to dash sideways? It just doesn't allow me to air dash upwards again? Like, I understand what it is. You don't want to have people just fly off screen or something like that, but... I prefer it just be like, maybe it's trying to be nice by saying like, yeah, you can't air dash twice upwards, but you can still air dash to the sides, but it feels really kind of wonky when it does that or something. I don't know, like, I mean, I guess it's not air dashing, but I don't know. A little bit of confusion with that. I also hate when it switches screen and you land right on top of a fucking enemy. Also, there's just not that much variation. It feels random. I, I kind of... Uh, I kind of hate the power-ups. Like, some of the power-ups are nice, but... Uh, I understand what they're doing. Like, they add more chaos to the game, but it just feels kind of frustrating. But then again, I guess it's a necessary evil because the game is so shallow in that uh, it's just recycling the same levels over and over and it barely changes things up, I suppose. I don't know. A bit mixed on this. I, I, I feel like, in concept, it could be really cool. And uh, I really like the whole, like, aesthetic it's going. It's very cute and charming, and looking at the catalog and stuff was cute. It definitely just feels a bit rough. The whole switching level to land right on top of an enemy. The whole, like, uh, just kind of, like, general, like, wonkiness. Like, why can't I just, like, hover? Why do I have to stand under instead of hover, like, my mouse over it or something like that? Uh, the controls just being kind of wonky, my jumps getting eaten, acting really weird on slopes. There's just a lot of, like, subtle jank to the game, unfortunately, that's bringing it down. But in theory, like, in concept, I, I think it could be really cool, and it does have a really nice aesthetic to it. So I will give it, like, you know, a, a good attempt, a good try. It was, it was fun for while it lasted, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Doink. Alright, next up is Weeble and Stony by Dylan Brown Games. Save Stony from the tornado. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, so I guess that's Weeble. And he, he loves his little stone. Oh, do I need to, like, click? Uh, maybe not. Click. Uh, enter. Oh, okay. All right, and then there's a tornado all of a sudden, all sorts of shit, and he's like, oh no, there goes Stony. Maybe if I hit Z, okay. Uh, yeah, there goes Stony. He's like, oh, Stony. And now he's crying. It's kind of weird, like, shouldn't, I don't know why this panel is necessary. It's like, we already got that gist from the other thing. It's like, it should just be this panel. It should be the third panel. Anyway, okay, so he's crying, Stony's flying away. Weevil's left alone. 
Ooh, it's backwards. That means it's action time. Uh, oh, this wasn't quite what I expected from the game. Okay, we got WASD. Z is a jump, as well as space. Okay, I'll use arrow keys and I guess Z. Okay, those block our way. What if we do that? Okay, we die if we go in the water, fine. Get to the end point. Jump over uh, fences, okay. All right, thin roads, okay. Kinda neat, I guess, a little little boring. It's not really wowing me at the moment, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Oh, those are prickly? I guess they kind of look a little prickly, but really, I can't even jump over them. It's kind of weird. Uh, okay. Over, over here, I guess. Jump over the fence. Okay. Uh-huh. Shortcut. <laughs> hmm. Oh, what the fuck was up with the graphics there? Did you see that? What the? Why didn't it? Yeah, you see? It's like my character was like behind the bush, even though like, I mean, isn't he jumping over the bush or something? Graphics are a little wonky there. Okay, jump over here, I guess. Jump. What the hell? Why am I sometimes able to jump over the- what? I don't understand. I'm trying to do I have like another button that can do something? I why do I keep getting hit by the ball? I was just able to jump over it earlier. What am I doing different? Maybe like I need to jump from the middle, so like what the fuck? I Alright. I mean to be honest, like, just gonna be honest. If I was playing this, and uh, <laughs> it was just, and I wasn't, d you know, giving it the 10 minutes, like, do and stuff to make, like, a review and stuff like that, I would have just quit by now. One, it's kind of boring. It's just walking about, jumping on platforms. Two, it's really frustrating and weird. Three, graphics are all wonky and stuff like that. L like, it definitely had a charming first impression. I like the story and everything, but... What the fuck's going on? Why... Why do sometimes I run into these bushes and sometimes... I can't figure out the method to the madness. What... What is happening that sometimes I jump over the bush and sometimes I don't? What... What is supposed to be done here? Am I supposed to like... Huh? Like that or something? Oh, actually that... That worked better than I thought. Is that seriously what I'm supposed to be doing? Huh. No, but I can't make that jump by doing it like that, can I? Son of a bitch. If if this is really what's happening, that I can't just jump over these bushes and I'm supposed to move in this weird, absurd way, that's a that's crazy. That's a hell of a fucking like difficulty boost all of a sudden. Oh, that was weird. Why'd I it almost looked like I landed on them for a moment. Oh, I can land on them. I can land on the ducks. But for what purpose? Maybe, maybe later on it's used to do something? Into the nether zone. Okay, weird. Alright, going. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, so now it is introducing us into the duck thing. What's up with the balloons? I just popped it. Okay. Well, this is kind of cool. I, I do like this whole jumping onto ducks mechanic. You know, that's that's nice. That's that's a good mechanic. Yeah, I kind of like this, where it's like, oh, now you gotta avoid the bushes or something like that. Okay. Okay. It's starting to get a bit better. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, I would have. Absolutely. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I guess the game like shows a little bit of like forgiveness with the jumps, but Wait, what am I supposed to do here? I mean the the fence is gonna oh Well, that feels a little lame that you could just go on the edge like that <laughs> Okay, jeez. Ah, fuck off 
Now that I know I'm supposed to go around these bushes, although that doesn't explain why sometimes I was able to go through the bushes, so that kind of really fucks everything up. Anyway, oh, jeez, that was close. But, okay, sure. But, what was I saying? I felt like I kind of lost track. I was saying like, okay, it's getting a little bit better now. I like the, uh, you know, the duck themed uh, obstacles and stuff. So it does pick up, but like I said, it, it already would have like lost me at the start. I wouldn't have had the patience to get this far, which is a bit of a shame because actually now I'm starting to like it a little bit. Like it's changing things up. It's getting a little bit cooler. It's challenging. Yeah, it's all right. Oh no, Stony! I was just fucking- Bad end? Fuck you, bad end. <laughs> Hang on. I wonder if it's like, uh... Maybe now that I know how this game works, maybe I can do it really fast. Maybe we got a kid cool situation on our hands where it's like, the faster you go, the, uh, the better of an ending you get. Let's see what we got. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> This is kind of funny, like, uh, I went from, like, absolutely hating the game just because it was very unclear with its mechanics and it was very wonky to now I'm actually- alright, well, fuck that, I don't like that part, but now I actually kinda like it a bit. And that's kind of, like, tough because it's, like, in my review, what would I say? Do I say, like, it's really bad because there's absolutely no way I would have had the patience to make it that far to enjoy the game, so... Or would I say, oh, well, I had a really rough patch, but, you know, eventually, like, I kind of liked it a little bit once I learned to deal with its, like, you know, jank that it wasn't that shabby. Ah, fuck off. Ah, damn it. I don't know. That's, a uh, that's a confusing part of this, uh, review process, I suppose. <laughs> Come on, come on, I'm trying to get to Stony, goddammit. Alright. Duck, duck. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. We're close to the ending, right? Uh-huh. Ah, fuck you with these fucking bushes. Uh. Uh. The graphics are kind of like... On one hand, it's got like this chill, like vibey kind of like atmosphere, which is very nice. But then on the other hand, you've got like the bushes, which are just like overlapping and really like kind of like uh, unprofessional, like shoddy kind of ways. It looks like they were just like kind of copy pasted, like not really properly like placed and such. I don't know if I'm really explaining what I'm getting at with that very well, but like, uh, yeah, it just looks a little bit like I don't know, like an MS Paint job or something, where it's just like copy paste, copy paste, instead of like elegantly like structured <laughs> with like I don't know a tile set or proper positioning and overlapping or something. What? Bad end again? But I did it so fast. Oh well. Fuck you then. <laughs> Why do I give a fucking care? Huh? That's weird. I don't really know what else I could uh, what else I could do. I felt like I did that pretty fast. I mean, like, two minutes compared to, like, what? It was, like, five minutes first time? How much faster are you expecting just to get a good end? All right. Well, uh, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> anyway, like I said, game, a little bit of a mixed bag. I was, I was kind of enjoying myself at the end there. Like, once I learned how to deal with its jank, but that was some pretty severe jank. And I, I would have absolutely quit the game before I got used to it. So, like, uh, yeah, like, it's only kind of good because I've got this weird sort of, you know, give it 10 minutes to give it enough time to breathe when really it kind of didn't deserve it or something. I, I don't know. It is a good attempt. Like, it's charming, it's chill, it's got something going for it once you get used to the jank. But yeah, that first impression definitely needed to be fixed up. Anyway, so, good attempt. Bit of a mixed bag. Moving on. Doink. Alright, next up is Dice Catcher by Cultisti. Magic Dice. Alright, me thinks we have another GMTK jam game here. I will click here to focus the window. Mm -hmm. Cultisti, Dice Catcher. 
what we got in the settings. Really, no uh, palette chop like there usually is? <laughs> All right, normal or endless? Well, let's check out normal. All right, everything's looking good so far. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know why we need to have, oh no, sad face, and sad face again. It's like, I don't think we need this extra sad, he's already said, whatever. Okay, so he's lost his dice. Very cute little story. My magic dice, tink. I, I like the little uh, animations. Like, even though it's very simple, it makes it quite lively and charming. I must catch them back. Oh, and here's the other guys just like, rah, 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 rah. they're just snatching them up. They picked them up faster, I guess. All right, so here we are. How to dice, okay. What's up? Collect dice with mouse left. Okay. Doink. All right. Block attacks with shields. Okay. Hmm. I'm not quite sure if I'm understanding the challenge. Are there gonna be like bad dice mixed in the dice there that I shouldn't pick up so I need to be careful and maybe there's like a time limit or something? Let's see, we're still in the tutorial phase. How to roll. Huh. Reroll dice with mouse right. Oh, maybe these are like bad dice so I can re-roll them. Okay, sure. So that's kind of what I was fearing that there was going to be like, uh, yeah, bad dice mixed in. We quick the timer is still. Oh, okay. It turned out exactly like I thought. Okay, good, good. Okay. Got it. Oh, interesting. We don't regain the timer uh, as we go. So maybe there will be a time where it's like, you know, I want to re-roll and keep doing that, but it's like, oh, just take your lumps. We got to keep going. You know, there's no time or something like that. Good luck. Okay, cute. I like it. Let's see what we got. Blob. Dice. Sword, sword, shield. Can I actually, like, click this to change it or something? Okay, maybe not. Um, do we just pick them all up? Okay. Then we do it. Sure. Four. Oh, right. We should probably, like, re-roll these to get shields. Because we also need to think about the long term, because they always hit us first. Immediately there, my first, my first reaction was... Oh, well, why do I even bother strategizing? Let's just let's just slam them with the attack dice, and then we'll be dead before anything. But then I was like, oh right, but they always attack first. So actually, shielding is important. So I I, I don't. It's not always re-rolling the evil dice, but you need to re-roll your good dice as well occasionally to fit the situation. Clever. Okay, so there's this saying. I, I really feel like these arrows are like. Can I click on them or something? Like, what happens if I hit like left or right? Nothing. Okay, so I guess the dice, they're heavily favoring enemy, which is bad, so... Yeah, it might be a bit more tougher now to get things going. So, like, re-roll these real fast. Okay, good, we got it. Uh-huh. Alright. Re-roll, re-roll. Uh-huh, re-roll, re-roll. Nice. Oh, but maybe we should have re-rolled for some more shields. Eh, we killed him. Maybe I don't need to worry about the timer that much. The timer refreshes each fight, right? Maybe? Let me check. Yeah, it does. Okay, so I can spend a little bit more time uh, doing this. Okay, shielded all of that. Shielded that. Now we just need to re-roll these for some swords, hopefully. Cool. I like it. Okay. They always attack first, so yeah, let's go heavy on the shields. Uh-huh. And then re-roll these for some swords. Good. Bam. Yeah, real satisfying. Cultisty, you are very consistent with just these great little games. God damn. I don't know how you're able to just like bang these out like so rapidly and they're always so cool. I guess maybe a lot of like asset reuse or, or something like that. You know, they always have a similar type of like look and feel. Shield Hoarder. I see, so maybe it'll be difficult to damage this person. It was saying stun zone. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it's... Is it like we can't pick up things there or something? Is that what's going on? Let's see if I can re-roll for some damn... Fuck. Right, what? Oh, nice. Okay. 
Jeez, so I can't pick up the- alright, this stun zone fucking sucks. I hate this. this. I can only pick up things if they're on the very friggin' edge. Kind of annoying. This... Keep re-rolling. Ah, god damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep re-rolling. Uh-huh. Alright, I think I'm kind of getting used to what it wants now. I know, I know, I'm running out of time. Okay, get it. Yeah, we had so much dice. Okay, that was good. Stun zone, annoying, but uh, I guess I see what it's going. Guess I see what it's going for. I don't always need to line it up perfectly. I can also, like, put it over the edge or something like that to increase the... or decrease the surface area. Okay, uh-huh. Uh, God damn it! This... Uh-huh. Fuck. This... Uh-huh. Fuck you, stun zone. Oh, nice. Ah, God damn it. Got it. Slam him. Now we gotta kill him on this turn. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, fuck you. Alright, roll them bones. Just make sure you don't always also roll that stuff. What happens if we roll this again? Oh, okay, so they get an attack card. I wasn't quite sure if we would just immediately take damage, they would get an attack or something else. I didn't know. Alright. Mm-hmm, roll them bones. Oh boy, this is bad. We're getting a lot of swords, which is nice, but oh boy, yeah, we needed to get more shields. Now we're gonna take... It's okay, we'll get one HP back at the end of this. Okay, so we need three shields. Let's go for that. Fuck! This... Okay, we need even more shields. Eh, let's just cash out. Let's just... Oh, dang it! I, uh... I thought I only had... I thought I didn't have any swords on the board. So I should have only cashed one of those. And then I had time. I should have re-rolled. Max health minus three! Jeez! How much health do we have? Pile of dice. Alright. Yeah, sure, let's cash out a lot of these swords. Now we need to re-roll these babies into shields. Alright, got it. Oh jeez, that's a lot of uh, attack. Okay, let's re-roll some of these buddies. Yep, yep. Good! Your toast! <laughs> the basic window. Alright. Da, da, da. Yep, yep, yep. Uh-huh. Okay, let's roll these things, see if we can get some uh, shields in this business. Alright, that should be good. Just come over here. Thank you. Uh-huh. Fuck. Alright, we don't need that many. Uh, yeah, let's re-roll, see if we can get some shields. Fuck. Shit. Ah, whatever. We take a little bit. Take a little bit of punishment. It's fine. You're dead. <laughs> Alright. Evil pillar. Oh man, it's heavily weighted in his favor. Oh boy. Shit! Oh man, this is gonna be annoying as hell. Come on, come on. I need some swords. Yeah, daddy needs a new pair of swords. All right, all right, good, good, good. Keep rolling. Can't afford. All right, I was ready to just like take take a hit right there, just because we're running out of time. Oh boy, and, it, and the deck is so heavily weighted in the favor. All right, all right. Oh jeez, this guy actually doesn't really make any attacks. It seems it's just uh, you might need shield cards to deal with just having to cash out with enemy attacks, I suppose. Oh, we got this guy. We got him by the balls. Oh, come on. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh, that's so fucking annoying. I would feel so angry if I died like that. Oh, actually, I could have gotten out of that if I just re-rolled, maybe to push it out of the zone. Final floor. All right, all right. Oh, man, I want to keep playing. I'm really addicted to this game and really having fun, but God damn it, I got to move on. Hang on. I'm going to refresh. Please tell me. It has continued. Please tell me it has continued. Like, uh, I wouldn't mind playing it over again, but I really hope I can continue where I left off. Normal. Ah, oh, come on. Well, maybe, maybe if I get past this. Ah, uh, well, I can skip the tutorial, but that's pretty much it. 
Okay, bummer. Ah, come on. I, I know it's a short game. I was already on the final floor. I guess it's not completely against. But still, it's like, if you can code it in, just code in a save, load, continue. Come on! I really wanted to come back and play this and continue where I left off just to finish it. Uh, now I feel like I should have kept playing, but I feel like, you know, I'm being unfair. A lot of these games, some I let them go on, some I don't, and stuff like that. I'm not even quite sure. I should keep a better timer. Maybe I haven't even reached 10 minutes or something. Anyway. Whatever. We're moving on for now. Really good game. Really addictive fun. Really creative concept. Jeez. This is, this is like the third time I've been in this thing where I'm like, I think I've encountered the best dice game so far yet. Jeez. Cultista, you're knocking it out of the park with these. Well done. Doink. All right, next up is The Saloon by Mamat Ugg. Oh, been a hot minute since we've seen a Mamat Ugg. Roll for your soul. All right, another GMTK jam, I'm assuming. But then again, maybe it's not rolling dice, I suppose. But yeah, The Saloon. Press space to roll. I shall. All right. All right. Whoa, oh, okay. Um, okay, so WASD. What's going on exactly? I'm moving about with WASD. Can I... What? Huh. Okay, okay, hang on. So I think it's... I have a yellow bar, and the yellow bar is like my attack bar, and I like roll to change, and it'll randomly pick a weapon. And then it exhausts the yellow bar. The aiming is done automatically, it seems. Yeah, I'm just a little bit confused, uh, I guess. Do I have anything else I can do? Oh, and also I guess space doubles as an evasion technique. So even if I'm not done with the yellow bar with something, maybe I would want to hit space just so I can dodge something. Okay, okay. Kind of- wait, what the fuck did I get hit by there? I didn't feel like I got hit by anything. Okay. I guess I kind of get it. It really just like fucking throws you in there uh, way too fast, way too crazy. But yeah, I guess I get it. I'm moving around with WASD and I press spacebar to either, I guess like roll the dice to switch my current weapon and refresh it to have like a full bar of ammunition or something like that. But at the same time, pressing space also dodges so even if like I have like a gun and say I really like a gun and I'm shooting with it and I haven't run out of ammo yet, I might be like, oh shit, an arrow's coming towards me. I need to press space even th to dodge this, even though, you know, I have a gun. So, okay, it's interesting. I, I guess, I guess. Oh, jeez, okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like, it's like they're multi, oh, jeez. Slash him, slash him, uh-huh. Oh, can I actually, like, pick up that? Oh! Oh, is this, like, my dice or something like that? So I can, like, swap the pistol and now I have a shotgun? Oh, okay. Chance of more shots, faster shooting, chance to one shot. Oh, do they have, like, health or something? Huh. Uh, just go for faster shooting, sure. All right, all right. Oh. Get some distance. Okay. Now that I kind of understand what the hay is going on, it's cool, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Slash him, slash him. All happens automatically. Uh huh. Extra weapon slot. I don't know, chance of more shots? Sure. Oh, jeez. Oh, right, I needed to reload there. Kind of weird that all of a sudden the game is, like, taking it easy on me. Just a moment ago, the game was, like, really hard because it was having, like, shotgunners and bow and arrows or something. But now I'm just getting these waves full of, like, really boring melee units. Chance of explosion. Yeah. I, the, you know, the tryhard in me says I should go for vampiric, but let's go for boomstick. That sounds more fun. Let's... Okay. Oh, right, I need to reload. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right, just switch that. Let's... You know, that is a little bit of a bummer, 
because like uh it's kind of like it might be, like, better if the weapon you have, like, you're stuck with. That way, like, if you get a knife... Because, like, I feel like something I can do, maybe, is, like, keep cheesing it where, like, rolling... And so I just, like, keep, uh, guns on me? Like, I don't like the knife. Whereas, it might be cooler if I was, like, forced to use the knife or something like that until it's been, like, depleted. That way it would, like, you know, because the knife is, like, kind of, like, a risky thing. Whereas, I could just keep rolling away until I get a gun, which is kind of like the safer bet. But then again, I, I think the game tries to balance that out by making the the knife technically, like, very powerful if you stick with it. So, maybe that's the idea. Alright, let's check the boomstick again. I didn't really get a chance to do that. Uh-huh. I don't know if I completed that thought I was just saying about the knife or something like that, about the strategy and risk-reward if you kind of force them to be stuck with it. But, uh, whatever. The, the system works perfectly fine with how it is, and the gun and everything like that is quite weak. I almost wish I did have more knife cards, because, man, they, they're super fucking powerful. <laughs> Alright. A faster movement, that's always good, yeah. Heck yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ah, son of a bitch. Keep moving. Ah, fuck! Oh, jeez, you could really take damage fast. I thought I would have a bit more of, like, a invincibility frame there or something. Yeah, it's really weird. I feel like the game should... Um, it seems to be totally random. I would prefer if the game was, like, uh... Like, it starts you off with melee units and slowly builds up in the later levels to, like, more gun units, more bow and arrow units. The total randomness kind of throws it off where sometimes you'll have a game that just starts out really friggin' hard, and then you'll all of a sudden you'll have a game that starts out really easy. Yeah, I don't really know if I'd like, uh, that. Let's try Vampiric. Mm -hmm. Not quite sure what the, uh... Golden gun does. Is it like. I think it's like piercing, but it's not really like piercing a lot. It's just piercing like one enemy. Which I guess is kind of nice, but I just feel like it could be a little bit better. Ugh, just give me a knife so I can finish off these losers fast. There we go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, faster movement, that's fine. Because, yeah, because it seems to just be getting random units instead of, like, slowly building up the difficulty, I, I kind of, in the back of my head, I'm kind of like, this is just pointless. It's just random. It's not really building up to, like, anything cool, like a boss or something like that. It feels like it has no direction, so part of me is just in the back of my mind just being like, What's the point? Why am I even playing this? It's obviously just like some sort of like prototype or something that they didn't like think out fully. I don't know. Is that is that fair? Is that unfair? I'm not sure. <laughs> it, it's just it's just the vibe I get, and I'm just trying to be honest, I suppose. Alright. Yeah, let's try swapping let's try going more knives this build. These knives are quite fast. Also, what is up with that? With the really delayed like last spawn. I don't really get it. <laughs> Slash. Alright. Well, we'll go for a chance of one shot, I guess. Maybe we need that. I just don't know the percentage chances of these things. For all I know, it's like 1%. Fuck! When they get on top of you, they get on top of you. Alright, whatever. I'll exit the game for now. I think I've given all like the feedback I can at the moment. It's It kind of throws you in the deep end right off the start, which is quite frustrating. But, um... It, it's a pretty cool game. Like, it definitely throws you in. Like, it's pretty overwhelming. But um, there is a little bit of interesting strategy to it. Like I said, like, swapping weapons and rolling is kind of like, uh, I don't know what it is. Like, it's it's got a strategic purpose because it's a single button for multi-use. So there's like a, I don't know. And then, you know, it has that fun little thing of progression where, uh, you know, you're getting new abilities. You're getting different loadouts and stuff like that. It's nice. The only problem is that the sense of progression does feel a bit 
wonky. The spawns are way too random instead of following some sort of like difficulty curve that gets more and more to let you feel like you're making progress. And uh, it can just be really frustrating. Like the invincibility time is really, really fucking short. Uh, maybe, maybe on purpose to make it good. And uh, I don't know, the, the guns and stuff like that can just feel really unsatisfying with how weak you've made them. Like a normal grunt takes like what, like three fucking shots or something like that. It could just be real frustrating at times. A bit of a mixed bag. On one hand, like, it's really cool, good concepts, juicy, it's really fun to, like, slash away, but on the other hand, yeah, it just feels kind of, like, shallow and repetitive and directionless, I suppose. So, mixed bag. Overall, I'd say nice. I'm assuming it's just, like, a little bit of a, uh, a game jam game or something like that, so perfectly acceptable given those, uh, scenarios. I would say it's a very good game jam game, just not a very good normal game if I was to take it out of that context, I suppose. <laughs> Alright. Doink. Alrighty, next up is Desynced Katana Jam Plus. I suppose that's implying that it was a game jam game that maybe has been improved upon afterwards by Blue Peanuts. Desynced Katana is an action game where you can chain multiple combos in a split second. Sounds good to me. Maybe some cool Katana Zero, Metal Gear Rising, whatchamacallit going on here? I'm intrigued. Let's see. Desynced Katana, Jam Plus version. Zero Death, select level. Okay. Lost Relic Games. Is that the name of the jam or something like that? Huh. I'm not really familiar with it, but whatever. It, it was this year. Okay. Hmm, our code mode off. Turning this on makes you die in one hit. Recommended for players who want a more challenging experience. Cool, cool. Okay. A little bit a little bit of a bland title screen, but uh, not too bad. It cuts to the chase. It's just a little dull, I suppose, in terms of uh, color, no animation, no, like, really fancy thing. But it does have, surprisingly, something that a lot of games don't is a reaction when you hover over buttons. So uh, <laughs> it's got that going for it. Anyway, who cares? Let's uh, let's play the gameplay. Chunk. Okay, that's us. Oh, cute. Look, we got a little blur. WASD, arrow keys, or ZQSD. Uh, I'm not familiar with that. Huh. Okay, oh, I guess we go to the right. Okay, left click. Whoa, geez, away we go. Then we got this person, slice, and then maybe slice and slice, three times in a row. Oh, interesting. So we we do it, okay, and I see a bar at the below, so we'll call that like our attack bar or stamina bar or something like that. But we can't do it multiple times now, but maybe since we hit the enemy it recovered or something. Enemies attack your shadow. Wait for... To deal damage? Hmm. Not sure if I quite understand. Oh, jeez. Ow, son of a... So I need to wait for them to glow like that. Okay. Like this. And then slash twice? Maybe not. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... It's a little oddly... I, I'm probably thinking about it too hard. I'm trying to get like ahead of the game thinking about what it means by like shadow and stuff like that. And also, it, yeah, I, it's just a little bit weird because the, their health is going down, but our, our shadows don't go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh until afterwards, but they're already... There's a little bit of a desync, I suppose, which, which makes it kind of odd, I, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know if I'm articulating it probably, uh, properly. Shink. Now hang on. Is that what the? Oh, did I not uh, recover my stuff yet? Oh, I see. I didn't have. That's what was happening previously. I thought I just wasn't understanding it, but th it's that my bar wasn't growing back. I guess because th they blocked the second hit, which was different than I expected. Successful hits will refill your dash bar. Right. Right, so as long as we're hitting, we get it. But then uh, you have those guys that were blocking. I'm just not sure what they were blocking. Was it just they always block the second hit, or was it because I attacked from the front or something? I I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, now I need to wait. 
It might be since I'm hidden from the front, but I'm just not 100% sure. Ah, I see. They attack your shadow, so if I try to swoosh through them, but uh, without stopping them, then they're going to hit where I originated from. So it's kind of like, so you can't spam or something, because otherwise you could keep swooshing by people and that would be dodging or something. I guess I get it. Let's uh, let's keep cracking, let's keep cracking. Sometimes I I think about these things too hard, I'm providing too much like feedback and stuff like that, instead of just playing the game, just following where my instincts take me. I really want to figure out if I'm doing something wrong with those guys where I can never hit them a second time. I guess, you know, they have a sword, so they're blocking. But then it's like, when I swoosh through them, should I just not do anything? Or should I... Yeah, those guys it works because they only have one health, I suppose. Okay, okay. Whoop. Oh, jeez. Uh-huh. Still couldn't hit him. All right. Son of a bitch. I thought I had it. Gotta wait for it to build up now. Whoosh. Yeah, I wonder if it's better to just swoosh through him and then not do anything. And then I guess I get that back faster. Because if he's just going to keep blocking, I may as well zoosh through, wait for him to attack again, and then zoosh. Okay. Just feels a little, yeah, <laughs> victory. <laughs> again, the game is like, it's cool, but it is very plain. Like, very plain. Kind of lacking in, like, juice. It's, it's quite dry. It has a little bit of juice, you know, it's very fancy to watch the, you know, the swooshing around and stuff like that. But, I don't know. Right, 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 I shouldn't do that. Wait for it. All right. <laughs> Are we going Sekiro all of a sudden? I'm down. Ow, son of a bitch. Ah, shit. I let myself get angry and did that by accident. Okay. So we zoosh past three. What's that mean? Did I hit him there? Or was that a miss? Two, one. Did that do it? Yeah, so don't bother hitting again. Just wait for it to recharge. Jeez! And now he's got that. One, two, three. Uh-huh. This is gonna take a while. Got a lot of health. One, two, three. Got it. One. And then just wait, right? Otherwise we won't recharge it. I hate having to do that, though. Just waiting. I wish there was something I could do, because it, it feels really awkward. It's like the game is screaming at me, you know, attack once again, attack once again. You know, you got stamina, but it's like, no, I need to wait for this awkward slow-mo period to end so I can actually attack, because otherwise he's just going to block, and then that will leave me. Whoa, damn. All right, all right. A little crazy. Oh, jeez. That's rough. God damn. How am I supposed to fucking react in time? Maybe keep it real close so I can... Shit, man! I don't know how I'm supposed to do that one. Alright. Uh, why is it not... Oh! <laughs> For some reason I was expecting to, that the one I'm over is the one that's white highlighted and the one that I'm not over is the one that's dull colored. Okay, a little, a little strange. This kind of reminds me of playing... Uh... What was the name of that game? That shooter where you slide around and stuff like that? God, what was it called? Vanquish! It reminds me of Vanquish. Like, it had slow-mo and stuff like that, but it had kind of an annoying thing where when you'd get shot, the game would, like, automatically put on slow-mo, but then you'd, like, get out of danger, but you couldn't turn off the automatic slow-mo, so you'd get behind cover, and then you'd need to wait as your slow-mo kind of, like, ran out before you could get back into the action. It was just really friggin' like kind of awkward. And that reminds me of this, where I need to slash through, but I can't slash through again, so I just need to wait for the slow-mo to let go. It just feels like, I mean, it's working, and it's it's gotta be what it is, but it feels like it shouldn't be what it is. It feels like it's wrong. It feels like I should be doing something like that, no? But, uh, I don't know. So, so weird. How am I supposed to deal with that situation? Maybe there's a certain... Maybe he always attacks me behind, like if I face this way. It's always gonna be that. Oh, okay. 
I feel like I just got lucky there and I kind of I had wide enough of a hitbox that I guess it counted. Damn! I really don't know how to uh, get past that. Oof! Did I hit him? It's hard to tell sometimes. It plays the same, like, sound effect in both, like, kind of, like, cases. Oh, got him that time, because he actually gave me, like, ample room, for Christ's sakes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really like the whole, swoosh, 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 I am behind you, nothing personnel, kid, whoosh, but it was just, like, damn, way too fast. I'm not sure what, yeah, I'm not quite sure, I feel like I just got lucky there. Anyway. We're already at about 10 minutes. I'll try like one more level just to see what else is cracking on. Oh, I was kind of hoping for another boss fight. But actually the game feels like it's probably at its best when you're doing a multiple opponent type things instead. What the? Oh, right. I forgot to uh, stall that guy. He was still going for my shadow. Right, right, right. That's why I took damage there. <laughs> All right. Chink, chink, gotta stop them all. That felt pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was dope. And then wait. Yeah. Mm hmm. Because he's not, he's not glowing. That's what the language is telling me. Don't attack again. Just slash him and then awkwardly wait for the slow mo to stop. <laughs> Moving on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. They're all going for my thingy. Whoosh, whoosh. And now you, what? Oh, jeez! Up, oh, did too much, too much, too much. That, all right. Did I do it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. Like I say, I, I like the concept. You know, really cool, like slow mo, high reaction. You know, fast reaction samurai combat and stuff like that whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. and like the special and even though it is not that juicy of a game you know it, it has some good stuff to it but like i said it feels really kind of awkward at the moment like some things it works some things it doesn't like the whole puzzle of like multiple people coming at you where it's like you slash through one but then everybody else is still coming at your shadow so you need to make sure you slash them as well while not slashing someone who's already been hit because then they'll block and stop your combo and that might allow someone to hit you those are actually kind of fun they're like puzzle fights or something it's cool but fighting the boss there that one was kind of awkward because like it it, it was all right like i liked when he summoned multiple like clones so you needed to like slash him and then he teleports a little bit and then make sure you slash that and stuff that was kind of cool but everything about where it's just, ah, I'm coming at you, then you slash him, and then you're just waiting, and then, okay, all right, let's do it again. You come at me, ah, slash him, waiting. It's just a bit of a bummer. It feels like you really need to play, like, super passively and defensively. There's no way that you can potentially break through with aggression in a creative way or something like that. You just, it, it's, it's a game where you need to do a lot of waiting unfortunately i'd say and you know as slick and cool as it is it, it just feels kind of frustrating i don't know like i said a mix like i think for the most part i'm positive on it it's a neat experience it's just a little bit blah, blah, blah. but it was a jam thing so obviously like uh what would be great is if they take this thing hopefully the feedback i'm giving isn't just stupid rambling and then they could be built upon it to make an even better version that's really, really cool. Because definitely the idea, the concept, is dope. So I'd love to see it more fleshed out. Doink. Alright, next up is... Oh, 2D and Top D Demo. By Diet Sribi or Diet Dai Trizibi, or... I'm never quite sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> it's like, am I supposed to... Is it just gobbledygook? Or is it like, maybe like Diet is it like some sort of German or something? I don't know. 2D platformer and top-down puzzler hybrid. Yes, 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 yes. I've followed this a lot. The game's already out on Steam from what I understand. They even have another game in the works, a little bit of a shooter. I, I mean, it's already out on Steam. It's out and about. Uh, I don't really know if I can offer any sort of feedback on this or anything. So for the most part, I think I'm just going to 
zip, just shut up and just play the game and just try to have some fun, I suppose. There's a demo that is available on Steam and Switch. Yep, yep, yep. Available here on Newgrounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, dope, dope. Yeah, I guess I'll just play the game. I'll try to grant my impressions as much as I can, but, you know, this is a big game. It's already on Steam. It's probably already got tons of things, so I'm just going to relax and mostly chill. I am curious if, uh... Oh, really? My PlayStation controller isn't really having anything. Does it not have a, uh... Controls? Mods, customize. Okay. I guess not. I guess it's only got a keyboard. Oh well. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, start. Uh, definitely a solid uh, title screen. Very cute. Boink. Left and right. Press Z to jump. You can also use up. Okay. The longer you hold Z, the higher you jump. Oh, okay, so it's got those types of jumps. Good to know. Uh-huh. Please do not feed the pig, so avoid. Alright. Whoop! <laughs> Alright, now we're on the top down. Arrow keys. Boxes inside holes. Hmm? You control where you're facing by holding Z. Oh, interesting. Okay. Tap Z to pick up. That, whoops. Uh-huh, another hole, you better find a box. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tapsy. Yes, I know, I'm not that... <laughs> not that bad. Got it. You can also push boxes by walking. Ah, intriguing. I was about to say, that's gonna be a real pain in the neck if I need to uh, pick up and carry boxes just for that four bridge. There's something really weird. It looks like... Like, the camera isn't, like, tilted properly. It looks like the boxes, like, aren't flush with the edge, but, like, they're a little bit, like, under this thing or something like that. It's just... Yeah, when I look at, like, this, I feel like I should see, you know, this top edge of the box, but I don't, like... The 3D graphics are just a, a little bit weird here. F for example, these boxes as well. Everything's, like, tilted. These should be tilted as well, but these are perfectly square tops when they should be you know a little bit distorted a little bit slanted it's kind of bleh it's throwing me off a little bit i i don't quite like how it looks but whatever it's not the worst thing in the world it's probably a perfectly fun game let's just play oh what do you know i am giving feedback i suppose well whatever okay and then they show up oh hi and it's like, oh, aren't you weird the way you're behind there and you're floating in midair? Oh, maybe not. Okay, they're just... Really? I thought they were gonna... Uh, whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey, don't be racist. <laughs> I don't know if I like this 2D. I think top D is better. <laughs> uh huh. Oh no. You don't have a language that has a forgiveness for missing semicolons? <laughs> what a weird story. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Top D is just so chill with this stuff and so nice. Okay. Alright, get them both into the portal. Alright. Fair enough. Okay, a little bit of a weird story. I, I mean, it's alright, but it's just like... What? <laughs> I push. Uh-huh. And there we go. 
Alright. Oh, I'm top D at the moment. Alright. So I can get this key on this side. Now I can switch over. Oh geez, I almost forgot that, uh, yeah, it's a little bit mind-bendy when that happens. And now I can go down here, move a little bit over. Alright, cooperative. Hmm. Ah, I see. Push these a little bit for me, would ya? Or actually, can't you just grab it? Oh, maybe not. It's technically... Oh, it's technically above him. I can see the uh, the shadow there. <laughs> Funny. Ah, what the hell? Jeez. Oh, I can't jump through the fluffy cloud? Okay, fair enough. How, how high can I jump? Pretty high, actually. Alright. So I can move this up, like, two spaces. I'll just move this down one space. Uh-huh. Cool. Alright, now we can probably just get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm frozen in midair, like a Mega Man jump. Let's <laughs> head through the uh, boss room. Cool. Alright, alright. Whoop. Oh, okay. Hmm. What do I do here? Oh, I think I get it. It's like, ah, I'm gonna fucking die! Oh, yay, thank you, you're such a friend. I get it. That's a cool puzzle. I like it, I like it. <laughs> uh, I don't know, something like that. Huh, there's not really enough to work with here. Oh, I get it. Take what we just learned from the last one. Hoi, oh no, I'm about to fall. It's okay. Yeah, ooh, jeez. Oh, do you have a... Ah, so cute. I love that. A little touch. I love those uh, hanging off the ledge uh, type animations. Away we go. Okay. What do we got? Huh. Is it just like... Because I think, I think it's a trap. It's like, yeah, we use that to free this person. And now we go over. Because, yeah, we need the box here in order to... Uh... Oh, right, I can pick up the boxes. I actually kind of forgot I could pick up the boxes. I kept just uh, pushing them around, I guess. Now we can do that. Oh, let me push it down a little bit. Thank you. Thank you for being a friend. Huh. Wait, maybe this is a bad idea if we do it too fast. Well, I don't really have anywhere to get to, I suppose. Uh, all right, just do it. And maybe we need to turn this mode so it gets gravity on it. Okay. And now we can go just fine. Okay, so I guess it introduced us to gravity and blocks or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do we have here? Well, I'm kind of stuck up here. Oh, wait. I might be able to pick up the, the down block, right? And then... Uh-oh, is that the right thing to do? What happens if I get this key? Or, but 2D is screwed, right? Huh. Hang on. Oops. I didn't quite mean that. Oh, is there no... I tried to hit R to get a fast restart. Do they not have that in this game? That's really surprising that it doesn't have something like that. Hang on. If I... Okay. So now I guess I can move, and get the key, and then refine. Okay, huh. That's cool. Yeah, does it really not have... hang on. Is it like... R? Or... Really? There's no... there's no quick reset? That's surprising. Anyway... 
Okay, I think I see what's happening here. But again, is there no? How do I? How do I reset? Oh, okay. That's a little bit. You can't have a single button to do that. I think what I need to do here is like that, and then. Okay. Cool. All right. Sometimes it's a little disappointing when you when you get those levels where 2D doesn't really do anything except serve as a means for you to switch uh, the, uh, the what should I call it like the world around I guess. Yep. Eh. Uh huh. Nice animation on the pigs, like, so many, like, angles of movement or something. Alright, <laughs> I think I've played enough of that game. I already thought it was a really cool game, not much to say about it. Like, uh, yeah, really dope, really neat. Um, yeah, alright game. The only real feedback I guess I can think of is that I'm really surprised there's no, uh, quick restart button. Feels like it could need something like that. And, uh, b but yeah. Uh, dope game. Good work, good work. Twink. Alright, next up is Gun Show by Spoik. Is that it? Spoik, yes. Spaghetti Western hex based roguelite in Pico 8. Ugh, that's a that's a goddamn mouthful. Alright, let's see what we got. Booty. I'm always partial to gun smoke, but let's see what we got. Gun show. Two tickets to the gun show. <laughs> All right. Entered bandit camp. Move. Huh. Select. And then actions. And then go. Is it like? Hang on. Moves one tile. Select a target to fire at or empty or reload empty chamber. Moves two tiles. Punches items. Bullet hail. Use all bullets and then reload. Skips a turn. I don't quite understand. Okay. So we're not on like a world map or something at the moment. We're actually on like, I guess like a combat map or something. So we've got TNT barrels, guys. Well, let's just try moving to see what happens. Move. Okay. Uh, maybe, hang on. Revolver? Okay, cool, I guess. Uh, revolver? All right, revolver, and revolver, oh, sorry. Wait, I don't quite understand what's the, hmm. All right, well, we'll play a little bit more. Like, can't I just like shoot them right now? Just like bang, I guess, and then bang. Bang. Wait, how do I... Can I not hit those people? Why not? Okay, uh... Move. Now, uh, punch. Oh. Why punch if I could just shoot them? Oh, wait, what? Huh? Why, why was I not able to shoot that person? Why did I need to reload? I still had bullets in the chamber? I'm a little bit confused. Is it like... Oh, I think I get it. I think. So, the six kind of directions, they represent where you can fire. So if I do this, blam, now I can't shoot directly to the right unless I, like, take an action that, like, cycles my, uh, my revolver or something like that. Yeah, because right now I can't shoot to the right. I'm kind of fucked. Uh, so I need to... 
Punch? I can punch any direction. That doesn't depend on that. Um, how do I get my chambers to a uh, cycle? Oh, I got shot. I... It's really weird. I, 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 I think I get what it's going with. This weird thing where it's like, okay, I need to like shoot. And the direction is also dependent on this kind of revolving thing. It's like, I get it. It's hard to explain, but it makes sense. But I don't... Oh, and that red area. Is that like a Fire Emblem thing? So if I move here, I'm going to get shot? Indeed. Okay. So stay out of the, the red. Okay. I, huh. Alright. So right now I'm in red. But I can get my revolver and... Oh wait, no, but it's behind, isn't it? So if I shoot this, I'm just going to die, right? Yeah. Oh, double die, I guess. Jeez. Okay. All right. Um, move. Uh, what happens if I just wait and just shoot these people? If they get close. So revolver, shoot to the right. And if they keep moving directly right, it's fine because it's going to keep revolving. Oh, jeez. I wasn't aware that they were going to uh, shoot the TNT. Okay. Want to talk about this yet? Yeah. Well, this is a fucking shitty situation to stuck in. Can I get out of this? Bang. Okay, it looks like I'm alright. But still, it's... Bang. Alright. What's up with this person up above? They don't have a red stuff surrounding them. So I'm not quite sure what they can do. The other one that wielding an axe, so I guess they can uh, get close to me or something. What does bullet hail do anyway? Just do it. Oh, fancy. Four turns. Does it just like fire once in every direction or something like that? Hang on. Use all bullets and then reload all bullets. Okay. It's got that thing going for it, I guess. So, revolver. Fire this way. Okay. Now with this person, I guess we just wait for them to get closer. And now, bang. <laughs> yippee ki -yay. Okay, so we cleared one. This is weird. It, it, it's confusing, kind of strange, but I don't, I don't, like, hate it. It's, it's just very odd, and I'm trying to get used to it, I guess. Shoot that person. I guess they're a trapper. Shoot. I can't shoot the TNT, but they're holding TNT. I wonder if it'll blow up and cause a chain reaction. Ah, nuts. That's a bit of a bummer. And that one... This is getting kind of dangerous. Hang on. So I can shoot here, and then it'll revolve once to the right. And then, yeah, it's going to be rough, because then they get closer. I might be able to... I think it's okay. If I do this, then punch, and then... Uh, so now, if I do a punch... And now I've bought myself enough time to... Shit! Can't... If I move like this, it will... Oh man, I'm really... Can I punch again? Shit, I cannot punch again. Um, Sprinting, I don't know if that does anything effective here. That's like moving two tiles, I think. Let's just try... Oh! Did that... Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha. Sure. Oh, fucking... Ah, uh, what an asshole! Ah, uh, you have AI that actually will commit suicide just to kill the player? Darn it! <laughs> I thought that wouldn't happen, and then I would have bought myself enough time. Although that guy that got punched recovered a lot sooner than I thought as well. Bang. Take care of this guy. Okay. Gotta watch out for the gunner, I suppose. So when I move, that revolves... The t oh, I see. It revolves it either to the left or the right, depending on where I move. This is so bizarre. Now let's move over here. They'll move up there, but I can shoot. Uh-huh. 
Oh shit. I can't. I need to get away from this TNT fucking barrel. Move like that. And that's fine because all of our bullets are on the left side. Bang. And now we just gotta deal with this creep. Hmm. If we move, we'll get closer, but that will also rotate the barrels. Maybe that's bad. If we, is there a way to, yeah, like revolve, like just a reload, I guess? Okay, so we can. We'll just wait for them to get in position, I suppose, yeah. Bang, fuck you. Okay. Really? I, w I was so confused at the fir at first, and I still am kind of confused, but it's really, it's really mind-bendy. I, I, I can't say I've ever seen anything like this before, and it's, I'm actually getting a little bit intrigued at how this whole, like, revolving, you know, denotes what direction you can take actions, and some movements actually also rotate, you know, the cylinder to allow you to, I don't know, it's really, it's really crazy. Oh boy. This is bad. Dynamite's right there. I guess I need to sprint away, huh? Okay. Oh, you fucker! <laughs> what happens if I just shoot? Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We don't have enough sprint. Maybe we should just, uh... Not wait, because if we're gonna wait, we might as well... Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, right. I guess it would chain react as well. Shit, these enemies are tough to deal with. Um, okay, okay. Who can I shoot here? TNT. Might as well take that guy off the fucking board. Fuck you, buddy. Uh-huh. Fuck you. And, uh, fuck you. That was, that was pretty easy. <laughs> Got real lucky there. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's, yeah, take you off the fucking board, you stupid mine lane, son of a bitch. Bam! All right. Bam! Okay. Yeah, bam! Okay, this is, once again, we're actually getting uh, quite an easy uh, route, actually. <laughs> Sometimes it just works out really well, I guess. Okay. Oh, can we hit that TNT? Ah, shit, we can't. What happens if we do bullet hail? Well, we don't have multiple targets, so I think it's a little bit of a waste. Let's just, uh... Shoot him. Yeah, may as well. Okay. Shoot him. I mean, he's a gun. Yeah. Oh boy, another gunman. But he's hiding behind that dude. I can't really... Uh... Move. Okay. Shit, we can't, because we're evolving that way, even if we, let's try punching, I guess. Okay, fucking hell. Moving. God damn this son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we have a, we have a wall. Okay, it's actually good. What? Wait, what we get killed by? I thought it was out of range. I thought the explosions only had like a distance of like one hex. Oh, what the fuck happened there? I thought I actually about some time to reload so I can get my right side covered. Ah. All right, whatever. I'll call it here. It's an interesting game. Frustrating, really weird, but bloody hell, it's really unique and really mind-bendy. Like a uh, even though I'm kind of having a frustrating time, it's kind of annoying, and also it feels like randomly you can get like easy maps or super hard maps. It, it is kind of annoying, but just the whole system with the revolver chambers and then the, them being revolving based on actions and you can only shoot in the direction you got the stuff. It's it's wild stuff. Like it It implores me. To want to keep playing more to try to master the system and rewire my brain or something. So, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Alright, and last on the docket is Greenwood Defense by Womart. Or Wombart, perhaps. 
Defend your king against the frog army and defeat their leader using your units. Okay. Shoot what we got. <laughs> All right, Greenwood Defense. All right, it, it, I must say, like, it is a little bit... I don't want to be too harsh, but it's kind of a bad impression. It's not a bad title screen, but just it's very, very... I got, you know, these uh, assets from, like, an asset pack. You know, I feel like I've seen this kind of, like, art before... Uh, and you got this weird, like, you know, obviously they took, like, an asset here that used to be small, but enlarged it, so it's got these ginormous fucking, like, pixels that look really weird, like they got some sort of weird, like, aliasing on them or something. It just looks bad when compared to the really good, like, more native-looking, uh, resolution-looking sprite work back here. And then you got this really, like, plain Jane system font here. You know, no actual, like, title screen, like, graphic or something like that. Just font. And then you got this really plain-looking uh, button that's in the same font. It doesn't even react to me mousing over or anything like that. It doesn't even react to me hitting uh, the button. It's a little, little plain. Actually, I like this screen a little bit more. It's actually got, like, you know, a more appealing font. Got all these buttons and stuff like that. Oh, look, you actually have these buttons reacting to being hover over. It's just very, very faint that you might not even notice. It almost makes me wonder if the last one... Uh, had like something god look at this what sound effect is that all right whatever let's let's play the game let's play the game i'm i'm harping on about all these little things uh, definitely understand it's probably going to be one of these games where it's just made out of assets kind of weirdly purposed and stuff so it's going to look really disjointed um but yeah let's just check out the battle and see what we got okay Protect the K. Okay, this is kind of a cool looking tutorial. I like it. Hey, these buttons are nice. You hover over them, they, re they react and stuff. That's a good button. This button, not so much, but, you know, it's nice. I like the whole, like, it's faded out. So, <laughs> oh, jeez. You didn't, uh, you didn't freeze anything while the tutorial's going, so the timer's still going. I can still scroll, which gets everything out of whack. I was about to say, I like how it's like faded black and it's got the highlight and the text and stuff. You know, good tutorial, but it didn't freeze anything. So, yeah, quite jank in that respect. Uh, let's hit next. Move the camera. Right, right. That, yeah, that, I'm already doing that. Why can't I hit next? I'm trying to fucking hit next. Hello? Oh, you want me to like click here or something? Uh, wait, whoa. Jeez, what's going on? Wait, hang on, hang on. Sorry. Rewind. I think I see what was happening there. It wanted me to scroll, not just show that I can scroll, but scroll all the way to the right, I think is what was happening here. Protect the king, yeah, move the camera. Okay, so now we're on the right side. Defeat the enemy to win. Sure. All right, next. Enemies sending soldiers. Okay. Next. Move the camera back, I guess. Summon a unit. Click. Units cost mana. Okay. Summon more units to defeat the enemy. Okay. Yeah, but what do the units do? It's just a chicken or a duck or something. Is, like, one more powerful than the other? Is one, like, ranged while the other is melee? I don't... Is, is there a big, like... I wish I had some sort of pop-up to let me know what I'm dealing with. But, okay. I guess we can just keep summoning. Maybe, you know, wait a little bit to get the, uh, the duck instead of the chicken. Maybe that much more powerful, I don't know. Alright, pecking at him. Sure. <laughs> it's just a bunch of freaking ducks and chickens just pecking away at some sort of... Wait, seriously? Aw, oh, come on, what was that? For the regular units, you at least had them, you know, go like, blah, and fly off the screen. That looked, you know, alright. But we killed the boss... And he just stands there, and then just disappears? Come on, that's lazy as fuck. If you've got a death animation for the little guys, surely you could make the same type of death animation for the big guy. Or it should probably be a more extravagant, like, uh, death animation for the big guy. I mean, you're clearly showing that you can use particles. The big guy, when you finish him off, it should be going like... 
like you won like not just peck him and then he just keeps standing there while we walk away and then just just disappear like bleh just really really kind of bad there it's like why would i want to play if it's just going to be as dull as dishwater anyway upgrades sure duck trunk bunny yeah but sure i can unlock it but oh okay next level shoot bullet okay i was about to say Every three attacks double hit. Every three hit received blocks next hit. Oh, so these are like the tanks. These are like your attackers or something like that. Then try yeah, it'd be good to get some ranged people. So do I click and then click upgrade or something? Okay. Shoot three times in a row. Uh someone weak rabbit. Tank unit, high health. Oh, okay. So maybe the duck isn't the tank. Maybe they can be like a tank in a pinch or something like that. Come super resistant for a short time, okay. What about hero? Mana max. Okay, okay. I was about to say earlier that I was worried, like, I was expecting when you hover over something that you would get this kind of informational pop-up, but you actually need to click on them. And I was worried what would happen is that I'd be like, I want to see what the bunny is, but I, I don't want to click on it because I don't want to unlock it until I've had time to read it. Luckily... It's that, yeah, you need to click here, then click down here. A little unorthodox, but it works. Uh, menu. Okay, uh, stage two, I guess. Sure. All right. I actually kind of wish, like, I didn't need to scroll the window over. I almost wish it would have, like, a kind of Advance Wars style, like, cut the screen, like, in half so you can always see where the enemy unit is or something like that. Let's summon some chickens to protect that guy. Uh-huh, thank you, thank you. Jeez! Chicken got his ass kicked. Chicken, get over there. Need someone to, uh... Yeah, take the hits for, uh... Our shooter guy. Just slowly keep summoning chickens so we can keep the trunk... ...going. Alright. We'll do one more chicken. I feel like as long as he keeps sending out the units that we're sending, we're slowly making headway. Uh, I just really want an opportunity to save up a bit more so we can get a little bit more of a tank unit going, you know? We'll try that now. Maybe we can save up for the rock, actually. Oh, but the rock might move slow. He might actually not be able to catch up with our front line. Shit, that might have been a bad idea for me. All right, let's get a duck in there, I guess. All right, oh no. And the rock's gonna take forever. The trunk's the trunk's totally dead, isn't it? Ah, the trunk doesn't have much health. Come on, rock, get in there! This... Shit! Come on, come on, come on! Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, thank goodness! Woo! That was close. Okay, so now we've got the rock in front, and the ducks getting in front as well. Okay, now the trunk definitely has something going. Okay, this is this is cool. It's getting it's getting pretty good now you know this is pretty exciting we'll get a we'll get a second trunk going in there and now we've got a pretty good meat shield up there mm -hmm -hmm. we'll just add a little bit more to the meat shield just in case just in case okay oh I suppose even though yeah I really wish like if I zoomed over here like on the right side there'd be a nice like picture and picture where I can still see what's going on here or something you know how games do sometimes where like uh they'll have like an arrow on the side of the screen and in the arrow is like a little window showing you like what's there or something like there like a little spy camera or something it would be nice if something like that was there but you know it's fine it's fine I right, duck uh, every three attacks double hit block next hit let's how about the chickens they're kind of our you know, basic unit that kind of needs to get out there a lot, so... And they're cheap, so it might be nice to uh, upgrade them. Alright. Oh, son of a bitch! That made the chicken more expensive? Oh, fuck, I didn't think it was gonna increase their cost! I mean, it makes sense, but that's kind of fucking annoying. Ah, shit! Well, now I don't have my cheap unit because I upgraded it usually upgrades just increase their abilities but not increase their cost at the same time well now i'm kind of fucked because i don't have cheap disposable kind of infantry to serve as a shield here well shit all i have are these fucking ducks 
I guess I just need to see if I can save up to get enough, but... Man, what the fuck? That's such a stab in the back. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Well, let's get the rock out here. Hopefully it can just get in front. Help protect our boy. Let's see if we can get the chicken on board shortly. Ah, oh, man. Well, fuck you. Fuck you. This... Can we go back to... If we go back to an older map... Can we grind? Is that what the game is kind of expecting us to do? Because, to be honest, that looked like a really big increase in difficulty just going up there. So, I'm not sure about that. Maybe we're supposed to go back here and grind up money or something like that? I don't know. Let's see. That going? Just get the rock out in front? Oh, jeez. He can't really survive that amount of onslaught, can he? This is probably a waste. <laughs> Well, let's see if we can save up for another rock, I guess. Now at least we've got the trunk. Just our king is going to have to soak up a little bit for us, but that's fine. He can do that. Let's see if we can get a duck in there just to kind of supplement the rock. Okay, we've slowly got our task force building up. We just need to get the chicken in there. Mm -hmm. Chicken, get in there. You're our fast double hitter. Uh-oh, Duck's getting a little bit uh, too ahead of the game. It's sucking up too many hits. That's bad. Whatever. Rock's doing all right. Let's just focus on the other thing. Oh, he got the double hit. Oh, he even has a little bar to let you know when he's going to get the, uh, the double hit. That's a nice touch. I like that. All right. <laughs> Whack. All right, doing well, doing well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's get another duck in there, sure. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And then just move on, and it's like, you're already dead. Nani? <laughs> okay, so we do get some cash, but only like a peasly amount from doing it once again, I suppose. <sighs> Still, it's just with this fight... I really feel like I kind of fucked myself by upgrading too early. I almost feel like I need to wipe my save just so I can get back, you know, my cheap disposable chickens. Just so I can stand even a bloody chance. Uh, let's see if I can just wait, wait, wait. And then just, like, uh, get something going, like... Doink, doink. Let's get him out there immediately. Is he shooting? I think he is shooting. Come on. Alright, get another shooter out there to supplement the uh, rock. Alright. Good, good, good. Okay, so we're moving up with our force. We got the archers in the back. We got the rock taking hits. We're getting some chickens. We'll just save up on chickens to make them replace the front line. That's just what we gotta do. I'd prefer the rock, of course, but right now we've already got our task force working. If we summon a rock, he moves so slow we won't be able to catch up. Oh boy. Come on, chickens. Get in front. Get in front. You gotta protect them. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, not too shabby. There's some interesting strategy here. I, I like the whole, like, strategy of they move at different move speeds. It almost makes you, in an interesting way, like, think of, like, logistics. Like, you know, I want a tank in front, but I need to think about the logistics of they're too far away, the amount of time it would transport to get over there. That's actually an interesting, you know, twist on the whole thing, I suppose. It's pretty cool. Oh, we lo uh, I guess because we sacrificed a bit of health of our uh, king in order to get everything done, sure. Okay, okay. Uh, I I guess we've already gotten the gist of it. That's about 10 minutes. That's, uh, that's interesting. It, it definitely had a rough start a little bit. Like, I really complained upon the title screen or something like that. But really moving on from that... Uh, the game went not too shabby. All of the graphics seem kind of, uh, you know, consistent and stuff like that. Worked in. You know, it, it is kind of silly that our units are like chickens and ducks and stuff. They don't really necessarily let you know what their abilities are. Like, if, for example, our chicken looked more like a ninja and our duck looked more like a knight and our, uh, 
um, tank look like? Well, actually, our tank looks like a big rock. That makes kind of sense. Just the chicken and the duck, they were kind of a weird ones. Like, I learned their properties. Eventually, one's a fast, kind of weak hitter, whereas duck's a little bit more meat on them, but a little bit slower and more like a less attack and stuff like that. I don't know. There's a lot to think about. I, I kind of ended up... This was surprising. I, I quite liked it in the end. Like, I'm a little bit worried about, like... Like I said, the upgrade system, that kind of annoyed me, how I can't, like, backpedal on those uh, things, that it increases the cost. That's kind of annoying. And, uh, you know, various stuff like that. I'm kind of worried there's going to be grinding involved in the game. But... I like the game. It actually had some interesting strategy going for it. Lots to think about. It's cool. It, it was quite surprising. Quite surprising. Very nice. Very nice. Dunk. Alrighty. And with that, we've made it through all of the games that were nominated as the best games on Newgrounds for the month. Now, I'm going to take a quick break and finish writing up all the written reviews for these games to supplement this video feedback. But we will be back shortly with my personal top 10. I will see you after the break. Alrighty, we're back. My personal top 10, or rather personal top 8, with the two remaining slots will be decided once we discuss the honorary mentions. Just want to leave a little bit of dramatic tension for people, I suppose. Eh, it's just a fun little experiment. Anyway, let's go over the top eight for now. We've got Dice Catcher by Cultisti, really fun dice-based game. Gimmico by Tomb Dude, awesome, really love this. A little bit of like a balance between like a, a bullet hell and a cool like dice-based game once again. Jimmy Blitz and the Rocket Dice by The Good Owl, again, another dice-based game. And Oddwood by Frogrammer, again, a really, really, it's funny, our, our top four is dominated by uh, some of these GMTK dice-based games. They, what can I say, they turned out really, really impressive, I loved them. So, uh, yeah, congrats to those people that made those games. I mean, jeez, <laughs> they're top in the charts and they were pretty much made in like 48 hours. God, you devs really impress me sometimes. But yeah, I loved all those games. Really creative and really fun. All right, and breaking the chain at number five, we got 2D and Top D Demo by Diet Strisby. I'm never quite sure to pronounce that. Definitely a really fun game. Part of me kind of didn't want to put it in the top ten, to be honest, because I'm like... Hey, he's already got it. It's already out on Steam. It's already big. Does it really need to take up a slot in the top 10, you know, that I could be using to celebrate other people or something like that? But it is what it is. It's a wonderful game, a wonderful demo. I think he deserves a lot of credit for making it. So yeah, it's a really dope game. Uh, I, I just got to give it credit. What, it, what can I say? Coming in at number six, we got Soko Chess by Daisy Games. Definitely a really solid puzzler. It took two concepts that I usually hate, and yet it somehow combined them and made a really fun puzzle game out of them. So incredible job there. Hyper Jump by Edgar at number seven. Uh, that was a really fun, like, arcade type game. Like, it wasn't the most complex thing in the world, but... What can I say? It was just really juicy and addictive. It was just, sometimes the simple things can be the best if they're just like juiced up to the max like Hyper Jump was. At number eight, we got Ember Skull by Cheese Baron. Really solid and fun top-down shooter with definitely really cool bosses to fight, tons of explosions and enemy types, cool power-ups to pick up. Yeah, it was really dope. All right, and now we come to the part where we decide number nine and number ten. With that, let's go over the honorable mentions I think might get those places. Let's see, we got a Maiden Cops. Maiden Cops is a bit rough, especially for someone who loves beat-em-ups as much as me. It definitely had some really kind of clunky aspects, the controls felt a bit rough and stuff like that, and I wish there was a little bit more like enemy variety and stuff, but for what it was, which was a demo, I thought it had a lot of really good effort to it, really good construction, it definitely seemed like a really solid game, so that's very tempting to put it in there. Uh, ah. Uh, 
Five Nights at Fulps and Morb Sweeper, I feel definitely could get in there, but unfortunately, they'll probably only remain as an honorable mention. Maybe. I really gotta think about it. Five Nights at Fulps, definitely, don't get me wrong, it's really cool. I really like playing it. Definitely a lot of, like, effort put into it, well designed and stuff. But part of me is like, uh, it's just, it's like, it's just Five Nights at Freddy's. Except painted over with a Newgrounds-esque, like, art style, and it's just like a remake. It hasn't really brought that much to, uh, I'm never sure how to feel about these things where it's just like, you know, Doom recreated in like Pico 8 engine, or Five Nights at Freddy's except done with a Newgrounds mask or something. It's like, I mean, there's a lot of effort and good thing, but it is just more Five Nights at Freddy's. It's like, we have it. It's the same thing I kind of feel with like Morb Sweeper. It's like, we have Minesweeper at home. We already have it. It didn't really add anything much to it. Like, both of these games have excellent, like, really professional construction to them. They're very charming and stuff. But both of them just feel really kind of, like, meme or pandering or something like that. I don't know. I might be really being, like, real elitist here, hoity-toity here, saying, like, uh, 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 puh, 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 puh. I don't fucking know. It, it might get in here. If if one of them was going to make it in there, I'd probably say Five, five Nights at Fulps has a chance of getting in here, I'd say. Let's see... Torado Tamer? That that was a pretty good uh, RPG, also a dice-based game, although loosely, I'd say. Mostly more an RPG game than kind of like a dice-based game. It was, uh, it was quite an interesting game, like uh, a little bit rough in some aspects, especially like a lot of the mechanics just felt like very underexplained. Also, it left a lot of it uh, just up to randomness and it felt super frustrating. I tried to fight the final boss and stuff, I was just like, fuck this. <laughs> Uh, All Right on the Night by TMST. Yeah, that's that's very, very tempting to put in the top 10. It, it is a little bit odd because it is a game that kind of plays itself. So part of me is like, it's not really a game. But on the other hand, it was a really mind-bending experience that really surprised me. And, you know, it's, not, it's very memorable in that respect. So... Yeah, a little bit conflicted on that one. That's definitely a candidate. A gun show, in a, in a very similar way to All Right on the Night. Gun show, man, I was really kind of frustrated at, like, the mechanics. I felt they were, like, just kind of way too fucking confusing. But on the same vein, they were really mind-bending and exciting and crazy and stuff like that. That it was, again... Even though it was kind of rough and confusing and such and such, it was really memorable and really fun to try to, like, master the controls. So that's very tempting. The Saloon, that was quite solid. A, a little a little simple, a little repetitive, but it had some solid, fun, like, shoot 'em up action in there. Like, and an interesting uh, double use for the, the space bar, both dodging and changing weapons and stuff, so it's an interesting strategy. That's definitely an honorable mention. And, uh, I would say Greenwood Defense would probably be our last honorable mention. That was one that kind of surprised me. I, I didn't expect to like it as much as I could. A lot of its design kind of makes it look kind of asset flippy and kind of lazy or something like that, but... Before I knew it, I found myself getting really addicted to just battling it out, despite the, the frustrations and the bad, you know, first impression. I ended up kind of getting addicted to that, so, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, those two final slots. I feel if I'm just going off of it... Let's see. It would probably be... We'll give it to... I gotta go with, like, what I instantly kind of found myself going back to play more. And what, like, really intrigued me and what was memorable. So, like... Maiden Pops probably wouldn't make it. Definitely still check it out and give them feedback so that they make a really good full game. But at the moment, it just felt quite rough. So that's probably out. 
Morb Sweeper, I feel, would be out, even though I definitely admire its kind of, like, uh, stuff it's got going for. Five Nights at Fulps, I feel like that's one that might make it, despite all my complaints. All Right on the Night, I feel kind of conflicted. It, it was a memorable thing, but I don't know if I want to give it to it. I think just an honorable mention. Mm, Torado Tamer, Gun Show. You know, I gotta admit... I did kind of find myself going back and playing more of Greenwood Defense somewhat, but I don't know. Damn. What would it be? I feel like right now it's probably down to... <laughs> God damn it. I'm thinking about this too hard. Just go with Gut Instinct. Gut Instinct is probably... <sighs> Ah, fine, fine. I'll, I gotta admit, they were the two games I probably went back to the quickest to test out some more. I'll probably give it to... I'm going against my grain. I, I feel like I should probably give it to Guncho or Greenwood Defense or something, but I'll give it I'll, I'll give it to Five Nights at Fulps, even though I said all that shit about it. And I'll give it to... Uh, Torado Tamer. I found myself going back to that as well, as much as I kind of disagreed with some of it. So yeah, there you go. That is my personal top 10 for the month. And, of course, all of the honorable mentions that I named. Thank you once again to all of the developers who made these wonderful, wonderful games for me to play. If you're annoyed that you didn't get an honorable mention, or that you felt that I was going to pick you for the top 10, but instead you made an honorable mention, blah, blah, blah. Don't, don't worry about my ranking too much. What really counts is that you were the best of the month in the first place. I loved playing all of these games. I had a blast. I hope I was able to give the devs a lot of wonderful feedback so that they can move onwards and upwards and create even better games in the future. <laughs> and if you really feel pissed off at me, Eventually, I'll make another game at some point. You can feel free to slam me in the reviews to give me a taste of my own medicine, I suppose. Anyway, that's it for this month. Uh, so, yeah. Cheers! I'll check you out next month for more Best Games on Newgrounds.